Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Montu's Multiplayer Madness number 11. We've got a massive prize today, um, as ever, donated by members of our community. Uh, $800 in total is the prize pool at the moment, but don't forget the total prize will probably be going up a little bit because we're going to be getting the People's Champion Award. We're going to try and keep track of that live on stream as well, so you can see. I'll discuss how People's Champion works in a moment for those of you that don't know. But I do first need to say a massive thank you to Dave Woodmancy, Sveroth, who unfortunately can't be with us today. He's got a family event. Uh, Mr. Barb. Uh, Mr. Barbe, uh, who is one of our players, and uh, SES Martyr of Individual Merit for their fantastic donations to the prize pool. If you would like to donate um, to the to the prize pool for the next tournament, which we'll be having in May, send me an email, uh, montuplays at gmail.com, and we can sort that out. Uh, I also do need to say a special thank you to Jörn, Jörn Sachs, who's been helping organize not just this tournament, but previous tournaments. As ever, we couldn't do it without you. Um, so very big thank you. A special thank you as well to uh, UK James, who hosted one of the, the prelims. And I want to say also, Mr. Barb, uh, Mr. Barbe uh, also hosted one of the prelims, but I may be misremembering. I'll have to ask Jörn in a moment, but I think you did, so thank you. Uh, we've already had a donation come in, two gifted memberships from iFix. Uh, thank you very much. Wow. Uh, we will have goals today. So, yeah, let's, let's briefly talk about how the People's Champion Award works. For every new Twitch subscriber and for every new channel member that we get on Discord, uh, on uh, Twitch and on YouTube, one dollar from your new membership will be donated towards the prize pool meaning that at the moment we've had three uh, new uh, two, two, two gifted subscriptions and one uh, returning subscriber dr nagy for a total of three new uh, twitch subscribers so there's three dollars already in the people's champion prize pool and i should probably mark that off briefly uh do, 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 where'd it go i'll be showing that in a moment let's uh, let's bring strat in as well strat's going to be co-casting today and we will be doing our utmost not to try and talk over each other. We have been guilty of that in the past, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we, you know, we're, we're going to try and be proper adults today and uh, and speak at the same time. Let's see if Strat's here. Hello, Strat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are you here today, Strat? Strat, can you hear me? Strat, are you there? Strat, I can see you. Say something. Say something. No, he's probably gone AFK. Uh, still can't hear you, buddy. No one at home can hear you. What have I... I think Strat's having some Discord issue. Or maybe it's me. Uh, I'm, I'm just keeping you company in the meantime. Uh, no, I've I got you. I moved him in here, sir. So. Uh, okay, maybe he's just AFK. You sound so him. alone, Manchu. I feel like... I'm so company. alone. <laughs> uh, so, so far, the prize you know. is... Oh, hello, Strat. I think you've come back. Hello, hello. Indeed, indeed. Hello, hello. It took me a while to connect. Holy crap. Uh, I was just informed that I cannot click the government tab. Don't do again. it. Correct. Don't do it. All right. All right. Again, the, the uh, easiest thing is to just move the tab to the bottom of the menu. Or do what I do and click. just don't do that. <clears throat> um, just try not to click <laughs> you that. Do what... Uh... Do what Mr. Bob did uh, through his uh, qualifier. He put a sticker on his screen, so his oh mouse, whenever God. it moved towards the government tab, the sticker would be blocking it. You know, that's actually one way to do it. Yeah, that's problem is really I get annoyed smart. with the sticker and I try and click under it. I'm like, oh, I don't, it's a stupid sticker's in the way. And I'll, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> if anything, it probably made me more interested in clicking the button. Uh, apparently, Strat, you're looking lovingly into my eyes. Yes, you are, actually. Your character does kind of... Or maybe what it's my forehead. Hell? If you look at my stream for a moment, you'll see that where you're positioned, it looks like you're kind of looking uh, up at me um, in, a, in a loving expression. <laughs> really. I think it's my forehead okay, that, your, it that your eye line's going to, though. Though, with pupils like that, I've got no idea where you're looking. Clearly, there's been a lot of drug taking going on with pupils that big, mister. you got to watch yourself. Mm. That's the four-eyed <laughs> lizard. Says to four I listen, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's actually kind of true, though. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Did, did we ever settle, by the way? I have heard fan theories that you actually don't have four eyes, but you have six eyes and no nostrils. I'm sorry, what? Can you confirm? Let, I like, can confirm nostrils. I have nostrils. Those are nostrils. Okay, Two nostrils okay. on the front of my face, yeah. 
What do you guys say, chat? Do you think that's four eyes and two nostrils or six eyes? I think it's just, you know, six eyes. Let's see what when he wears says. glasses, you know, you know, when people say four eyes, it's not glasses, it's Mantu. <laughs> six six nostrils. nostrils, that's a good one. Clearly six nostrils. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's not body horror at all. They're brilliant. I'm going to have nightmares about that now. Crikey. Um... <laughs> uh, yes, I think he's saying... Such times a lot Montu of security. Mo I think said, times Montu click government this stream, zero. I assume that'll get updated if and when it ever happens. Uh -huh, but it'll never happen. Never happen. I'm happened, just saying yeah. there's an easy solution, Montu, that you're refusing to use. What? So... Just move the bloody menu. What menu? It's easy. What menu? You have the men- or, or do you use her hotkeys like F3 uh, or whatever? I never use the keyboard. It. How dare you assert okay. that I would even use a keyboard? <laughs> but like, you, you have the menu to, to use the left. A keyboard. You can, you can click the cog in the menu and just move government tab all the way to the button. But that would change oh, yeah, the way to the the yes. hey, If I go away from the default, I might not be able to get back. I always like to leave things on the default setting like backgrounds and phones and, and that sort of stuff. So you would rather crash your client than move a menu for five hours. I I'm not saying you should... I have no comment on the matter. <clears throat> That's it. Okay. Uh, we've By just the way, hit you said you're going to five likes. Well. Pardon? Uh, uh, we've hit that goal, goal then. We like... have hit the five like goal. To be fair, um, that's 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 happened. Uh, well done, everyone! Amazing, thank you to iFix as well for donating a couple more memberships, meaning we've hit our first um, first Kajiga. Uh, let's set that goal then to uh, let me see. A hundred, now we'll set it to hundred likes and not be stupid about it. Delightful. Indeed, indeed, indeed. <laughs> I'm uh, just can going you guys down hear to... me, by the way? I am. Yes, yes I, I can hear you now. Yeah, I hear you now. You are a little right. robotic, though. Oh, crap. Beep boop. No internet for Strat. Right, let's go down and do the rules read. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah, we are missing one player as well, so I'll call in a lot. see if they're coming. Alternate. Otherwise, I'll call in an yeah. alternate. Yeah. All right, chat. Yeah, all right. Uh, not chat. Or oh, crikey. All right, lobby. You're live on air. We're Hi, gonna do chat. a news read. Welcome yeah. back. <laughs> I said the wrong thing. Um, we've had some changes since the last tournament, but uh, it's same as same as it wasn't the weekend for for those of you that played in the prelims, which is everyone here pretty much except the the, the winners last time. Uh, right. So let's go through the war rules. Um, year zero to ten, only pre-contact wars and expropriation wars are allowed. A pre-contact invasion and pre-contact bombardment of populated planets are banned all game. Year 10 to 35, animosity, claim, pirate raid, and despoilation wars are allowed. Year 35 to 50, subjugation, containment, independence, ideology wars. This includes total war empires declaring war on other total war empires are allowed. So total war empires at year 35 can fight other total war empires. Year 50 plus, all wars are allowed. So that includes the wars that total war empires fight on regular empires. From year 0 to 35, no system with a player-controlled populated planet or habitat can be claimed. From year 35, non-homeworld systems adjacent to your own borders before the war started can be claimed. But that's only from year 35 onwards. That's a change from last time. From year 50, any system can be claimed. If a planet becomes populated after a claim is made, the system must be returned if it is conquered before year 50 or before year 35 if it is adjacent to your borders. As a defender, you must reduce all of the above restrictions by 10 years when choosing a war goal or making claims. Subjugation rules. Diplomatic subjugation is banned. You can only gain subjects through war or by releasing a sector as a vassal. Subjugation terms cannot be changed. The basic terms dictated by subjugation policy must be used. If both the overlord and subject agree, and there's a note on this, um, you must get the agreement of the other player before you send the offer. A contract can be changed to a specialist vassal type, Scholarium, Prospectorium, Bulwark, but again, the basic terms of the contract must be used. Do not send the Stop, offer. Manchu. Stop. Sorry, yeah. What? Oh, it's just David specifically donated 10 subs to interrupt the rules. We said that's what I'm doing. Continue. What? No, that's not reasonable. Oh, oh, oh okay. Continue. I'll... 
Um, uh, where was I? Uh, uh, Megacorps can't use the hostile takeover policy. Integration can't be started before year 50, or if Overlord and Vassal have an active truce. Overlord must announce in public chat that they are starting an integration three months before doing so, giving the Vassal a chance to rebel. AI spawning origins are banned. Clones are banned. Here be dragons are banned. Catalytic processing or recyclers cannot be taken by Teachers of the Shroud or Geshed Out Empires. If taken, it must be taken at Empire creation and can never be removed. Genocidal Empires cannot be a member of a federation, guarantee others, be guaranteed, participate in joint wars, or have defensive pacts. Players cannot make pacts or trade with AI Empires. Players can only make defensive pact guarantees or federation with players whose borders are within five hyperlane jumps of each other. Shortcuts through wormholes, gateways, L gates, and shroud tunnels count if both the systems are on both sides of the shortcut are controlled by the team, and all members of the team have the ability to pass through it. Federation members must have their borders within five hyperlane jumps of an, at least one other member's borders. These connections must be in an unbroken chain. If a Federation member leaves or loses systems their borders, uh, so that their borders are no longer in range, the members in breach must leave the Federation at the first opportunity. Federations that have members in breach of the above rule cannot declare war, and at the end of the game, all members of the Federation have a points penalty of 10% per member. To use joint war, all attackers must be either within 5 hyperlane jumps of each other's borders, or within 10 hyperlane jumps of the defender's borders. Just a few more rules and we're done. Taking Become the Crisis makes you count as a genocidal empire for the purposes of diplomacy, and you cannot take this perk if you would break any of those rules. Taking Become the Crisis gives you a 100% score penalty. This penalty is removed from the first player to unlock the Aetherophasic engine. Each subsequent player to unlock the engine gets a 25% smaller penalty reduction, i.e. the first player gets their penalty entirely uh, removed, so they have no reduction. The next player will have a reduction of just 25%. Then 50%, then 75%, and finally 100% for all players beyond that. Blowing up the galaxy gives you a 100% points bonus. All scores are calculated right before the button is pressed. You can only have one leader with the Genius Armorer trait at any time, either on or off the council. You are not allowed to rival Fallen Empires. Jump drives cannot be used before year 50, and the Disruptor tech is banned. You cannot research or equip Disruptors. So that means... You also shouldn't be able to get it on your, uh, on, uh, what are they called? Um, God damn it. Um, the mercenary enclaves. Mercenaries shouldn't be able to get it because they shouldn't be able to get the technology. Rule breaking results in penalties and possibly disqualification at the discretion of the GMs. Repeated could lead to disqualification and being banned from future tournaments. If you leave the session without the approval of the GMs, you'll be banned from future tournaments. There's some fair play rules, not going to go into it. Does anyone have any questions before we get into the game? If you do, now's the time. If you want to ask later on, feel free to ask Yearn. If you also, before we I, I answer any questions, if you have something in the game and you think, oh, maybe this is a problem, ask Yearn before you do it, or ask Yearn what the outcome of doing it would be, rather than doing it and going, oh, I'm not sure. Because that is always going to be better than uh because you'll know rather than kind of firing blind and going going oh what's going to happen right any questions doesn't sound like it okay let's uh have we got we've got 23 that should be everyone um should we get yes. going oh, fire hyzer was the last one and just joined awesome yeah sorry i was running late no problem no problem when, at all. welcome when oregano and uh who else isn't ready Anger isn't ready. Prizes today. Uh, currently, the uh, the People's Champion is currently at $15. It's going to go up. But the other prizes right now are... Let me check. Uh, first place prize is $380. Second place is $180. Third place is $120. Fourth place is $80. And fifth place is $40. Good luck. May the odds be ever in your favor, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to click go? Cool. Uh, Yern, I'm going to jump up. Uh, we'll yeah, jump I'll down if there's an issue. Up. Yeah, exactly. Are there any galactic issues? Ooh, no, that one's fine. That one is... Let's one, uh, two, quickly three, confirm the spawns. Yeah, I'm looking at Saran Freeholders, but they're, uh, they're, they don't matter because they're not a player, I'm assuming. Yeah, they're not a player. Oh, yeah, um, they're all Hey, we're all fine. The one in the top north, the worst player ever, might be an Cat issue. They've got, a, they've got a way uh, out. Cat girl should be okay. 
it is that, technically five. It's not an maybe issue. Six. It's not an issue because they've got more. They've got many more than six technically. Um, because they're not currently, they're not even technically blocked in. There is a way around. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's all good. I think it's fine. Yeah. I'll tell the base we can go. First rap. Can we hear you? Are you alive? Hello? Uh, hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. So, who do you think is going to win today? Who's your money on? I have no idea. You, you know, it's like last game. Uh, last tournament I met when someone with Galactic first step won. It's it it can be anyone. But I guess for a safe bet it would be Lease Fire again. He's playing Galactic Doorstep right now, actually, as we are saying. Well it this. does still work. It does still Indeed. do exactly He's also what using a software in guardianship though. The the new civic, the funny civic. Guardianship. Well let's take a look. Where is uh, let's get the player map mode turned on. Just a moment, let's yeah, I have a player map mode. Okay, least fire, least fire, least fire. Right, we'll check out least fire's build to start with. Then shall we chat? Uh, so parliamentary system, parliamentary system, sovereign guardianship. So that's got the fantastic first citadel position, and it also obviously grants you a massive reduction to empire size from pops. Combining this with egalitarian, allowing you to reform your government to take a beacon of liberty. And also, if you take some of the other traditions, it means you can get to zero empire size from pops in the end, which is crazy powerful. Uh, is he? Yeah, desert I world? mean, yeah, he's desert. We, we are going to be uh, seeing yeah, a lot of desert. guardian cluster. Yeah, a lot of players. Very are, prevalent oh, in, the, in the qualifiers. Not no, well, sovereign guardianship. Isn't it? Not just guardian strength? cluster, because it's also the oh, bio taking it. Yeah. Uh, Wood Woodman C is saying, I think a government tab counter should be added to stream goals. Um, uh, oh, yeah, I can believe I almost pressed the government tab. Thank you for a mic. Oh, I, me. I actually oh, had forgotten God. about it as well a little bit. That's awkward. Oh, fuck you. That would have been bad. All right, should we start checking it clockwise from this file? Or? Yeah, no, let's uh, let's do that. Um. Let's uh, let's actually let's start at the top of the galaxy. It's always easiest. Let's start with Potato Shagger top? and right, jump right. around. Let's start with Potato Shagger and jump around. So, oh look at this! All right, all right, all right. Guardianship cluster. Mmm, and National Neural Network. I have not seen that civic for a while. I don't think I have either. Not for a while, at least. Yeah, it's usually just catalytic or void hive. You know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, it's it's just progenitor hive and guardian cluster and natural neural network. There's not much to say. So it is interesting to see why they're taking void hive. I've I've been asking the players because just when it came out, I think most people felt like it was kind of weak. But what it actually does it is frees up a lot of minerals early game, meaning mm. they can push a little bit harder into uh, research, or they can get up their colonies a bit faster. And because you have so much pop growth as a hive, you actually need those extra minerals to build out your planets. True. True. We've got a mess. Sorry, which one did you go after? Uh, I missed that momentarily. Which one did you look at after Potato Shagger? Uh, we were just talking about Void Hive. Oh, uh, you weren't looking yeah. at a different player, just bringing up Void Hive's existence. Yeah. Oh, okay. We next to yeah, Potato, yeah. though, if you look at uh, Grishan, uh, yeah, Grishan, we have Void Dweller, He's Worker Cooperative, worker Gospel cooperative? of Massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this gives a really interesting good? trade pop. Is that oh, even good? I clicked the government tab. Oh, for uh -oh. God's sake. Are, are you fine? No, I, well, no, the guy. Oh, so, oh, so much. Oh, so, uh, oh. I'll just hot join. It's not a problem. Uh, well, let's set my counter up by one then. <clears throat> that's that's a, that one's my bad. That one's my bad. I uh, I apologize. That that one's my bad. Everybody, I I did that. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Manchu, I don't know. I don't know what to say, man. <sighs> well, we would. Uh, Sorry, sorry. Play buddy. Solaris for a living. Oh, well, it's just hard to not press a button. <laughs> it's hard to not press a button. <laughs> but it's Will not... you just tell them I'm going to be right back? I'll hot join I you. I have already told them. Um, they were commenting, by the way, Strat, that you are lagging quite a bit already. Oh, I think we'll have to get... God. You'll have to no! share your own screen, I think. Yeah. 
Not like this. Well, okay, rip. Or on my screen. Um, that that does mean I'll I'll just let the players know because that does mean I won't be in the observer channel if they have rules questions. But be right back. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So, Kudesti, thank you very much for your uh, Prime subscription. Ah, that was so stupid. That's so stupid. Stupid, stupid, Monty. One. Brilliant. Thank goodness the password today is super strong. No one is going to get in with such a strong password. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I have to agree. I have to agree. I've seen it. It was insane. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Right. Um, anywho, we've also had another uh, donation that increases the prize pool to $16. Yes. Yes. Good. Thanks for the government tab, says Antoine. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, great. Well, yeah. Ugh. Ah, 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 jeez. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. So, Strat, you'll just be informing me what I should be looking at, and I'll look for you. All right, uh, I'll do that. I will look at anything except the government tab. <laughs> okay, I was about to say. Anything? <laughs> anything. I see. So, Worker Cooperative gives gives you a, a great, uh, not just, a, it gives you a living standard as well. I can look at living standards. Let's look at that. So you have the employee ownership living standard. Everyone takes half a consumer good, which is expensive, but everyone gets lots of political power. Basically, slightly less than employee uh, than uh, than a utopian abundance. So when you have um, the faction spawn, but I can't look at the factions. I can't look at the factions. You're going to get lots of unity from them. So uh, what should I, I alt that for on in game now? Uh, yes, do that. You are red. Oh, right. Yeah, you're just dead. Uh, just exit yeah. your menu. Yeah, yeah, exit no, your menu, menu so it doesn't pause. Ah, there you go. Gospel of the Masses also is going to be giving lots of trade value on the home planet too. Uh, let's check that out. Yeah, 15 just from Pop's existence because the spiritualist Pops get lots and lots of trade value. Did you... Okay, no, disconnected. Interesting build. I'm. We'll have to see how that goes. It's not a common build, so yeah, concerns. Right. Let's look at the. If, if I recall correctly, it wasn't super strong in um, in the qualifiers, and he did. I, I think he didn't play quite optimally because his second uh, habitat was quite late. But it did give him a strong early economy that he used to uh, snowball some of his uh, economy. Gotcha. Washing as ever, playing slingshot to the stars. Uh, this is now called the Titan Defense System. So far, Washing has four planets adjacent as a rogue servitor. That's not terrible. Uh, quite a lot of extra space around Washing as well with some more planets he can comfortably pick up. Two planets at Escont. Uh, probably grabbing... He might be able to grab there before Pax. Maybe not, though. Uh, and, of course, that, that megastructure. This quantum catapult will probably be the only megastructure points we get all game. Um, yes, because of the tech changes, this might be an even stronger strategy. And if you notice, he's actually behind a single choke point with, with all his systems and planets. You can have five planets and this megastructure is behind a single choke. And oh, he's a bit yeah. out of the way already. Honan isn't actually connected. From my vantage point, it looked like it was connected between Avim and Hagawa, but then I moved and I realized it wasn't. Huh. But this is this is this is the clan. washing washing generally has played this build quite a lot. Um, should be quite powerful. I'm thinking this is not going to be an alloy rush. I'm thinking this is more of an econ strat. Sometimes he's gone for an early game alloy rush. Not anymore, it seems. Um, yeah, and it's worth mentioning he is a robot, so he can even use the tomb world. If I was him, I was going to macro up those four plant, the five plants as fast as possible and just never leave that cluster. Try to drive it home on uh, economy and um, and make a structure points. I think, what yeah, do you I think, think he, might, he might he he might just tack up what is it yeah just star fortress and just spam defense platforms that's it that's that's might actually be his play so the guardian cluster is going to be making um guardian cluster progenitor hive makes the what makes the warriors so so strong you get fanatic guardians as defense armies so big shroom planet already has 300 defense armies and that's with uh, that's with no 
Hunter Seeker drone. So that's basically, that's just base output here is 300. This is going to go up to about 1,500 to 2,000 garrison power just with one Hunter Seeker drone and the Progenitor offspring jobs. It's going to be wild. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to go end up into uh, unyielding eventually for even more power. Uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very defensive. I think that's going to really yeah. help Pax because Pax generally suffers a lot from not building defensive armies because he really maximizes his econo economy, really plays hard with the, the space game and often leaves his ground-based defenses a little lackluster. So this build kind of is going to be helping him out on not having to worry about that as much. Yeah, it, it only takes one moment of his fleets being off position and he can just straight up lose the game just, just like that. The reloading bay, along with so the offspring outlook and the reloading bay, just become crazy powerful for the for for, uh, for defense. Along with unyielding, you can make some really nasty star bases here. Pax well, is a really sure, nice spawn. Sure. Chat's pointing out how nice Pax's spawn is. Um, does he? Wait, there's an orbital habitat. Oh my here. god! What? Why is there an orbital habitat? Wait, what? Oh, it's the Wait, Star Mall. What? Wait, that plus 25% amenities, plus 50% oh, bombardment damage, plus two districts maximum. Huh. Damn. That's, That's funny. pretty nice for uh, Hive. They don't really like building amenities. No, they don't. No, they don't. Uh, right, let's take a look now at Mr. Barbie. Barbie. Even. That being said, he is doing the aquatic build. He's not doing the, um, the invasive species build. So he won't be that strong on a habitat. Hmm. So, Mr. Barbe Trading Inc. is playing Direct Democracy. I'm assuming he might switch into a Megacorp in a bit, because that's what the strat is, if I remember, for this is Void Dweller Bio. So, Catalytic and Parliamentary System. Uh, this is going to be quite strong. This is, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice build. We've seen, um, uh, I want to say... Ba, ba, ba. It is Gilthanas who is the brainchild. Behind yes, the exactly. But Gilthanas isn't playing today. Now, unfortunately, his Sunday was uh, occupied, so he didn't want to take a qualifier spot. Gotcha, gotcha. We have an overtuned hive, an overtuned void hive. Oh, wait, 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 what? This is void hive overtunes. They don't actually have habitats, but they've still gone with void hive for the extra minerals and stuff early on, I guess. Yes, that's what I'm understanding, that most people think it's, it's the meta. If you don't go natural network for the extra uh, tech option, you go void hive for a faster economy. Yeah. If you compare him to uh, the other hive, which is look at Pax. Pax has already built two mining districts, whereas Anger hasn't built any mining districts, so he's pumping out more research in Unity earlier. But it doesn't Pax have a much stronger economy now after those two mining districts? I, I don't know Pax what the correct order economy. is. Let's, let's see. But from what I understand, the idea is that you can pump out a little bit of earlier Unity and tech because you don't have to pump out as many minerals. I'm, yeah, looking at the Unity Tech, it was 50 and 35. Extra, uh, currently a bit more research of the same Unity at present. But I'm assuming those numbers are going to go up as... Wait a minute. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong player. We've got a player that's playing a trade ring. Give me a moment. We'll look at that in a minute. Anger Wait, trade ring? Okay. Wow, that, okay, that, is, that is really rare. Uh, sensorium site, research what lab. So just one extra research lab at the moment. I'm guessing that's going to go up to more. Uh, let's see, we've got Discovery as an opener. Huh, that's interesting. We, we've not really seen much Discovery as an opener. We're getting much more of so, it. We're going to see it more for two reasons. First off, it's been it's uh, more expensive to upkeep your research these days. So the third point into that chain is actually really good. And then the research alternative is really good. Yes, mind The less research you have, the more research alternatives matter because you don't want to dump like 4K tech into a useless trade. And if people aren't taking natural neural network, it then becomes a trade-off. You don't take now natural neural network, you're going to be taking one point into discovery. Of course, hives are always going to be taking domination as well. That minus 15% pop amenities is insane at the moment. I honestly cannot believe it, but uh, but yeah, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, amenities. Uh, what is it? Amenities usage reduction is usually the best thing for a gestalt. Literally, yeah. the best. Oh, we've Always, missed Jojo. I didn't time. notice that color. Jojo is playing. Oh, by the way, Jojo, can you change the resolution? Uh, it's, it's natural neural hurt. network presented to hive, uh, and again, guardian cluster opening. We've got aptitude, domination, prosperity. 
Mm hmm. Huh. I want to click government. Tab, looks like he's going for the aquatic bill style as well. Does he have an aquatic species? Yes, yes. Aquatic budding and natural engineers, fleeting, unruly. Fleeting and for he's right for next out. To Pax, by the way. Yeah, I saw that. Fleeting for guest out's not that bad. Um because your leader lifespan is already your leaders start much younger, so taking that minus ten years is not really as much of a problem. It's almost free. This is Jojo has a lot of planets next to them though. Crikey, Jojo has like eight planets here. Whoa, One, that two, is actually three, four, five, whoa. six, seven, eight, and the capital nine. None of them are good for him though, except his uh, guaranteed. It's Tundra and Alpine and Arid. Worlds, Arid Worlds. Oh True. yeah. If he is around Guardian the corner, Concert, there's a continental. He also want there's two continental planets. worlds just around the corner that he can probably grab next to the Singularity. That could be a powerful little yoink. True. That's desert. He's also next to Pax. That is never good. That is never good. It might not be good for yeah. Pax though. Like Jojo is the original high aggression mm. player. That is also true. Like a lot of people describing Pax's playstyle is that he's the new Jojo. So it's old Jojo versus new Jojo. We've seen Mr. Barbie. Let Barbe, let's look at Bebo Corp. Played by uh, Lequer. So Lequer has naval contractors, farm estate, megacorp, shattered ring. Huh. They're pumping out a reasonable shattered amount of unity. Ring? Slightly is all right on the research, huh? Let's see if they've got. Um, let's see. Let's check out the metallurgists and stuff. They're currently not getting any bonuses to metallurgists or to consumer goods. So I'm assuming they've just got balanced economy. That's weird. That would suggest to me they're not. They're they're a newer player actually. Um. Wait, gene likely. clinic. Oh, yeah, gene clinic. Gene clinic is because the I, farm estate. Gene clinic with farm estate's so. a bit better. So. You're getting seven amenities per worker before any bonus. Let's check out the species. Okay, nothing extra on the species there, but that's seven amenities per worker, which is almost the same then as uh, you know an entertainer. Not that entertainers are great, but on top of that, four more trade value. So they're better than a clerk by an order of magnitude. More importantly, that is they're true. quite that close to true. Mr. Barbie, meaning two trade builds close to each other is always a good start. Yeah, if, like if Mr. Need... Barbie goes down to like Urip Da, they can make a trade fit. But they probably won't do can mega. They? Like, Mr. Uh, are they switch to a mega corp, which is not as good. Two mega corps together is suboptimal. Mm. True. I mean, I mean, he can switch out of Montu's uh, retirement home. Mega corp. Happy play. What is this? Huh? What is this? <laughs> what? What is this? The happy Damn. place. I'm in this picture and I don't <laughs> okay. like it. Sven the Duck is playing Mont uh, Bean Space Pirates living in Montu's retirement home. They started with barbaric despoilers and relentless industrialists. Under one rule origin. This is a bit wacky. Uh, Titan of Industry. They've got level four. I'm kind of surprised they didn't start off with the, uh, the military civic. Distinguished Admiralty. That would have started their ruler here at level six, which could have been slightly better. Now, without clicking the government tab, Muncher, could you look at the ruler's name? Lord Prime Minister Jeremy... Cl what? Lord Prime Minister and something. Lord Prime Minister and Supreme Military Commander Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> what the hell? A man of culture, I see, says Crusader Gaming. Yeah, possibly. <clears throat> Let's have a drink. Uh, by the way, Jerns, uh, can you, was it, uh, check the DMs? What should I check, sorry? Uh, check DMs. Will do. So what do we think about this build then? So Barbaric are spoiler, they're going to be stealing pot. They also get access to that special Despoilation Cassus uh, Belly, or Belli. Um, that, and we've now brought that forward. So that's year 10 or is it yeah year 10 you can do despoilation now can't you uh i think so i mean it, it can be very good but it really depends on uh how bad his neighbors are <laughs> like if his neighbors are like one of, the well, most, one of his neighbors like, is the trade ring aggressive players one of his neighbors is the trade ring oh the other neighbor is fire kaiser fire victim. kaiser 
is playing Void Dweller Bio, which takes a bit of time to get going. So actually, the two neighbors are going to be ample targets for early Despoilation Wars. Uh, oh, and Mr. Barb to the North. All three neighbors are going to be, at year 20, juicy targets because their alloys will be going to habitats, not military. And That's I don't... wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be a bit <laughs> wild. This is going to be, uh, yeah. Let's take a look at Fire Kaiser then. Fire Kaiser is, uh, this is a, a similar build. Meritocracy, Parliamentary System, Void Dweller. Interestingly, has not gone for Catalytic Processing. Probably because they didn't want to keep uh, start off with it, but that means they cannot respec into it. Uh, it's still the most powerful way of doing a Void Dweller, I believe, so I'm a little confused about this choice. We'll have to see how it pans out for them. Also, it's Fire Kaiser. Look at his capital. <laughs> He's going for a unity rush. Temple. 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 Already completed expansion at year six and now is partway through prosperity with one vision for even more unity. Good lord. No tech, no eco, just full unity. He does have 14, I mean... 14 <laughs> ships. He seems to be prioritizing some fleet over the habitats. Building one habitat central complex already, saving up for another. I guess if he doesn't build lots of habitats, he could actually be a, a quite a strong defensive target. Um, those ships, I believe, are empty. Completely empty, Remember, right. He's, he's likely doing a crisis rush, meaning if he has habitats in all his systems, he can't be claimed while doing his crisis rush. And he doesn't need catalytic because he's going to be building ships using minerals. People can't oh, fight him Oh, that is actually really smart. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't actually realize that. People can fight him year 35. He also spawned next to two deck sites, by the way, which is If he's peculiar. genocidal, get inside. That's what she said. And uh, anyone home. That's what she said. Um, yeah, okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, anyone home's all right. Get inside is quite a good one. That one, it's quite low difficulty. You can get some artifacts from it. Sometimes a good technology or so, if I recall. That one's quite a nice one to have. Mm. Should we look at ETS Green then? ETS Green, Relentless Industrialist, Mastercrafted, Post-Apocalyptic. Weird. Let's take the species look. So Fleeting is offset by Survivor, making it kind of a free pick. Radiotrophic and Invasive Species. Radiotrophic then giving on this planet basically 50% off on the capital on energy upkeep. And I'm guessing uh, taking Relentless Industrialist means that you'll be trying actively trying to turn worlds into tomb worlds. For non-bio players, for machines and for hives, that makes him a very unpalatable target because why you can't use the Tomb Worlds. If you're a bio player, though, you can obviously just take him over and use the pops yourself. You know, you can. they might be a little bit unhappy. You could chuck a couple of your own rulers in and then just use these Tomb Keepers on the world. So, so the worlds are still nice to take for regular bio empires. Any thoughts, Strat? Mm. Sounds like a not really. I mean, post apocalyptic. <laughs> I, I I don't know. <laughs> I've never played that original, right? Yeah. Fair, fair. No, it's uh, it's not, it's not one of the most powerful origins. Well, let's let's go back and look at it. Actually, it's quite a weird origin because you only get just your capital is a tomb world, and nothing else around you is. You don't get guaranteed habitables as tomb worlds. I think you should. Honestly, I I think you should get your guaranteed habitables as yeah, tomb worlds. Yeah, I agree. You should. There's it's two ways I think you could balance and make this origin really cool. Either give guaranteed yeah. tomb worlds, or instead of giving them the survivor trait, give them tomb world habitability. Because tomb world habit habitability means you have, I think it's 60% on all other planets. It's the same thing Is that, that um, the Ratchet have. Is survivor like 40%? No, survivor 70% for tomb worlds, but it, tomb world habitability, is, as Yern says, it gives you tomb world habitability and it also gives you 60% or something on every other planet type. Basically, exactly. letting you play as a yeah. machine. That would have been, yeah, that would have been pretty cool, actually. I mean, it, it is actually just pretty much a machine in a new update, right? <laughs> it is. Strat, do you want to try they're, disconnecting and reconnecting? You're yeah. coming through at the moment as a robot, a uh, little bit. Ah, oh, crap. Say something again. Let's see if we got you back. Hello? Strat is an auto. Get him. Now, 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 people of Super Earth, calm down. He is not an automaton. I can assure you, he's clearly not a robot. Yeah, or a socialist. Strat the Robo Seal. 
It's fine. <laughs> Not yet. That's a bit better. Uh, uh, can you guys hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I don't know, man. It's 400 ping. I can't do much here. <laughs> Yeah, the internet is uh, is not being kind to you today. Maybe I could put the I'll put the thing somewhere a bit closer between us. What if we went to India? Hopefully, it'll be fine. How's that? Oh, seventy ping. How Where, is that? Where's my ping? I can't even see it. Uh, there is it. Oh, I'm a hundred now. Okay, That's now fine. now everything is just clearer. Can you guys hear yeah. me now? No, yeah, no you lag. Sound better. Much better. You sound better. Yeah, it's fine. We, we all right, fixed all right, it. All right. We'll stop being oh selfish God, and put bro. the center in Everything Rotterdam so and we'll nice. move it somewhere closer to you. That's that's reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's it's not like 20,000 kilometers now. Very yeah. nice. Right, let's we look at... Uh, Satana now. DM uh, I was going to do DMX. We can look at Satana. We'll Terminator Network. Yeah, sure. This sounds like automations. Uh, prosperous unification. Rogue Servitor. Yeah, clearly socialist robots. How could they? PU Rogue Servitor is no longer banned going to be interesting. We'll see how it does. Wait, what? It is PU? Oh. PU Rogue why, Servitor. Why, why is it not banned now? Is, they it, can't is it suddenly be, they worse? Can't be, well, no, they can't. We, we banned them being uh, catalytic processing, thus meaning it's not ah, overpowered. I see. Fair, fair, fair. So he's got radiotrophic on his pops as well. I saw one other Rogue Servitor doing this, and I have no idea why, because I don't think it's good. That it doesn't give habitability. Well, it, that it gives slightly. Though. Oh, maybe. Uh, sorry, no. It was this. The, it was Satana I saw doing this in the past as well. Sorry, and it's, I think it's definitely a mistake. My guess is he's had another build at some point and he forgot to change ah, this. Piece. I'm not sure it is a mistake. Yeah. You get fifty percent of your mineral upkeep becomes energy upkeep, and you get ten percent pop growth speed on Tomb World and ten percent Tomb World habitability. Does uh, he have Tomb Worlds? Probably um, not. That's the not real right now. Here. But but the main thing there oh. is you, uh, you, you're getting you basically it's 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 slightly you can't so he's a he's a crystal you can't take um, uh, the, the 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 plantoid version which is fifty percent of becomes energy the one pointer yeah. well I can't remember what it's called you can't take that one as a crystal but you can take radiotrophic phototropic you can't yeah exactly yeah. you can't take phototropic Still as a crystal so he's gone for radiotrophic instead. I don't think it's a mistake. I think that's on purpose. But, but th this could have been like free crystals instead. Yeah, it would have been yeah, free, but the crystals free crystals. Yeah, the free crystals aren't as good as they explored. used to be. If you're not planning on going Maybe. exploring, don't you don't need it. I guess so. The main thing you need here is you, traditional, conservationist, uh, and possibly docile, I would say, might be nice. Like, already at 124 empire size with only four planets. That's nasty. That is nasty, nasty, yeah. nasty. Robot yeah. science is hurting in this patch, especially because they've doubled. They've doubled the empire size penalty. It's uh, it's really quite unpleasant. Yeah. Let's take a look at Cyrax. So Cyrax is here playing Necrophage. Well, this is old fashioned, a lithoid Necrophage, fan materialist, catalytic processing, parliamentary <laughs> system. Uh, we've got the Blorg, who are aquatic traders. Momonga is the um, oh my goodness this is a this is a, a pig squad homage build how hilarious yeah <laughs> non-profit organization so necrophage is still amazing 80 years leader lifespan combining that with lithoid for another 50 years meaning his leaders will never die a 43 year old that will live for 210 years and that cost him zero points zero points for immortal leaders like it just makes the um the the venerable which costs four points and gives you 80 years it makes it look like garbage in comparison it's like uh it's it's like we have necrophage at home yeah, pretty much. and the necrophage they have at home is venerable and it's like oh no, no that's not that's not the same <laughs> not the same at all Trash here yeah exactly minus 50 percent upkeep on the pops amazing plus five percent ruler and five percent specialist outpost out, out, output amazing and all of that is just part of the origin that's like, you just get it for the origin. It's so good. The real question is, why don't people play it much? Because it's fell out of the meta. Like, maybe the restrictions are just... Yeah, got limited Necrophage just is just not quite as strong as it used to be because Teachers was just so strong um, at the moment. Ah, I see. Yeah, Teachers, if you're going to go Bio, teacher cat Teachers with Angler's Parliamentary System then reforming into Catalytic is just so overwhelmingly powerful. That's why we kind of nerfed it a bit by not allowing them to take catalytic. They're kind of on par with mm. a, a hive mind empire in terms of their power level. 
Um, I see. Fair enough, fair enough. By the way, an interesting thing we're seeing here, I don't know if it what she's going to do, but I've heard that apparently it can be a, an advantage to go a materialist instead of spiritualist while doing a psionic rush. What? Because Why? You get the because... um, you get the uh, you get the the, the, huh? the entity you get is going to be much more likely to be Whisper of the Shroud, which is hands down the best entity. No, that, no? that's actually not why. Oh, um, what? It, it's what? because we, we'll see if he does it. But the trick is that you can go into relentless industrialists with materialist, which you can't do with spiritualist. Ah. Meaning, if you go into relentless industrialist first and then you do your sarnic ascension, you get even more pub efficiency. Oh my so, god. I don't know if he's going to do it, but I, I've heard that that's why you want to go materialist with um, Palmentrisist, because you still want to spec out of it and then into Redentist Industrialist very early, and then still go for Psionics, which I mean, is possible these days. If you're materialist, days. you can still, if you build robots, and if you get the robots going, um, and as long as you manage your spiritualist faction okay and don't promote it, you promote the materialism, you can still stay pretty much totally materialist while being psionically ascended. It's not too big a problem. Very and because strange. of what they've done now, because of what they've done now with the way the ascension perk works, you get an agenda which lets you automatically get the technology. So you don't even like it doesn't matter at all um, that you are not. It's, it's guaranteed you, now. Exactly, it's, it's completely yeah. guaranteed. I can't see the perk. Why can I not even see the perk? What? Oh, I'm looking at Pax. I, I, I don't uh, think no, I'm, looking, sorry, I'm looking, at oh, oh. looking at the wrong person. I'm looking at the wrong person. Doing a singularity. Person. Yeah, I was doing a singularity instead of... Uh, uh, where are you? Direct. Yeah, here, sorry. Hey, uh, mine of Matt. Oh, yeah. he's democracy. Oh, wait, what? Uh, democracy. Uh, he's the democracy democracy system. Yeah. Start, yeah. And oh, yeah, if we look at him. the... It's I'm pretty the sure they, that he's just changed ruler, giving him... No, he's about to change ruler. I think there's an election ongoing. Yeah, there's an election ongoing. Yeah. Yeah. And he's changing ruler now. That means that it resets the timer for reforming government. So he can now change out a parliamentary system. Luckily, he has met someone. Something you can do which nerfs yourself is if you change out a parliamentary system too soon, you can despawn your factions, which is so annoying. Yeah, for the people who don't oh. know, the reason why parliamentarism is so strong is because you get your factions year one instead of normal. You can can't get it before year ten, but even if you get them year ten, you have to have met another empire. Yeah. So if you haven't met another yeah, empire and you spec out of parliamentary, then you lose your factions. That's a nasty trick to avoid. Absolutely terrible. Very interesting. So it and also there's no requirement like for what empire it is, right? It, it can just be any empire. It could be a machine. Yeah, I think it even has to be uh, like you just have to have met the space fauna. Is enough if I recall correctly. Space fauna? Okay, I didn't know that. No, I don't think space fauna works. I had it despawn the other day for me. Oh. I'd met space fauna. Okay. I'd met oh. the amoeba and it went. I see. It has to be empires. Yeah, yeah. It was terrible. Um, I don't play enough bios, you know, for sure. I must. Right. Yeah, I know you're a che uh, cheeky machine meta mainer. Right, so Singularity <laughs> is playing resource <laughs> consolidation. No, no rogue servitor date, which is very interesting. Singularity almost always plays rogue servitor, so we'll have to see how this goes. Yeah, that's... He's going high Yesterday in the qualifier, he played Hive. Oh, he must have really what? hated it. Yeah, he played Hive, Hive, Hive Guardian Singularity? That, that's insane. Sakuya today is playing an FT Origin Rift World. Um... Yeah. Uh... By the way, one thing to mention about Singularity's build before we swap off. Oh, yeah, okay. The hyperspace synchronicity is really nice on robot because you get so much early scouting done, you can yes. find a lot of planets. And you, yes. You want a lot of planets early as robot. You okay. can just beeline them. Uh, I this find is that be it is actually a yearn. pretty decent civic. 50% habitability is not good enough to take all those planets oh, yeah. early on. You... The changes. economic upkeep of yeah. having 50% habitability is diabolical. Um, I have no idea how it's, it's the biggest machine, nerf. I look forward to finding out. It's the biggest <laughs> nerf to machines ever, ever, ever. Yeah, and I'm really. planning on probably my main empire type going forwards is probably going to be individualist machine empire. Like, all the benefits of robots, but with consumer goods and all the goodies that you get as a bio, it's going to be so crazy. <laughs> and then we can virtually ascend. <laughs> yes.
Yeah, I have a suspicion that next tournament will include a lot of virtual players. Uh, yeah, it's going to make a lot of virtual. It's going to be like virtual empire, virtual empire, virtual empire, virtual empire. What's this? Another virtual empire. It's, it's all 150%. the matrix. It's the matrix, guys. It's, it's virtual the all the way down. Um, right, let's jump over to yeah. Sequoia. So Sequoia is playing Rift World. Rift World's a bit interesting. You get the archaeology site, ancient crater, and astral rifts have a 100% chance extra spawn. You get a massively reduced penalty. Uh, is this a fight? Uh, he just lost. He just That's lost his admiral war, right? scouting, I think. Yeah, yeah. Aww, oh, he sent him into Great Wound. Oh, Sequoia. Oh, Sequoia. That's that's painful. Ouch. Unfortunate. I'm wondering who he was looking for. Like, it looked like he was beeline towards another player. So maybe we can try and find out who that player was. Well, he's dead now. Um... So yeah. we've got Rift World. The the, the 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 economic part of this is going to be quite powerful. Nice doing Angler's Catalytic. It's still like this is still super powerful. Even though Rift World means you won't get the bonuses of something like Teachers, or you won't get the bonuses of something like PU. It's not that much worse to change the origin here, like the change in power level, because most of the power here is coming from the Civics and the Ethics. That's where the power of this build is, not in the origin. The origin is going to be a minor change. If he can get the situation done pretty quickly and get Rift Sphere technology, uh, which he's going for already, early Rift Spheres, and then if the RNG Jesus is on his side and he finds some of the good relics, he'll be cooking with gas. This is going to be just pray. Yeah, basically. Um, but we will have to see. He, he how needs it goes. to high roll, basically. It's, not, it's a high roll origin. Yes, yeah, as high you roll go to... as the gateway. Uh, no, no, I mean, Gateway is, is doesn't gateway ha no, Gateway's almost guaranteed. 90%, 90.5% 90 is pretty much a guarantee. This one is yeah, much lower chance. Just, you have yeah. to find mm -hmm. the right rifts, and then you have to successfully complete them. So it's a low chance of a medium chance, which is altogether still a low chance yeah. um, to get the good ones, yep. the, good, the good relics. Let's check out the... By the way, just look at the R, by the way. Uh, what is R doing? On, yeah, the, uh, there's border go between R and uh, Leash <laughs> Fire already. Oh, so sorry. Uh, Han tried to cut off Leashfire off from his uh, guaranteed, it looks like. Didn't succeed. Are you sure that was an, an early war? Or he just skipped over? Yeah, at least I just skipped over, I think. Um, probably gets another fight. Leashfire is going for, uh, for the Dolphin. He lost two stick sites. No! Or actually, just one. Just now. Let's check out Leashfire's build. Uh, Leashfire, we already have looked. Leashfire is playing Galactic Doorstep. How close are we? We've completed the rift. The gateway is not active, I believe, but can be upgraded. Not yet. He's just started upgrading it. There we go. Can be. Yeah, year 12. Okay, That's okay. quite a nice early gateway upgrade. Completed year 14. That means he should have the ship around year 20 to 25, which is pretty much as early as you can do it. He's having economic issues, yeah. though. Consumer goods and a food goods shortage. That is very nasty. Losing all that happiness, losing all that research, you, losing that unity, that's very bad. But but he's basically he's pushed his economy massively into getting those early alloys. And it, it will pay off when he has a 20k unkillable fleet because Scrand is coming. Unless that 10% Scrand chance <laughs> fails and then rip Lee's fire. Oh yeah, but sadly he can't use the jump drives though. That's the, the huge nerf, right? You can use it on normal drives, but just that's, not the that's jump why, drives. Yeah, that's why we... I mean, it's still a fast ship, but that's because of Scrand, we had to put the jump drive restriction in. Um, yeah, I mean, it would have been an auto win, like R and... That's <laughs> why, it, that's been why at least Fire's got so many points last time. He had like 20, 30, 50, 50 points even from like early early. Yeah, nobody wars. could fight him. <laughs> yeah. They just well, get Fire got lucky here. He, at least I lost his initial ships and he's had, got an asteroid heading towards Sirius Prime. I think his starbase is in range is shooting it. Nope, it, it's not. It's not. Oh, he, it's not. He has to in deal the with combat, it. Oh, but it's oh, not oh. firing. Yeah, he's going to lose two pups on Sirius <laughs> as well. That's probably because of our attacking him, actually. Oh my god, that's so funny, actually. No worries, he's already he's out of those two pups too. ready to die. Um... <laughs> I think it's, it's going to be important them. to see whether whether R gets off a second war before uh, Leash Fire gets scrammed. Because otherwise, Leash Fire is just going to attack R back. But if yeah. R can get a second well, war Fire off can't and declare... force Leash Fire to surrender, he's going to get a 10 year truce. R can't declare war because R can't declare rivalry because Leash Fire has a truce until year 20. At that point, 
If R has any ships, R can't declare the rivalry. Without rivalry, he can't declare a war because he can't claim any planets. As long as Least Fire doesn't oh, take a yeah. system without planets, Least Fire is safe. For now. Good point. Oh, now there's 16 ships. Is that the the Black Crown event attacking? Yeah, I, I think it yeah. is. Yeah, but Man, he's got a star lot of base. It <laughs> he's going to lose. Oh, actually, no, no. The that... star base needs a defensive platform. That's that's dead. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god, he's yeah, gonna knowing, lose. Knowing Least Fire, like he's min maxing all his builds. Maybe he's used to having three corvettes for this and knowing he doesn't need a uh, a defense well, platform. Well, but no, no, no. This, oh, um, this, this, this fleet is, is variable in size. This is pretty much the highest size it can be. So this is just very unlucky. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna lose and he can't build he's anything. He's not gonna kill a single ship. Oh god. You, you can't, what can happens you if you lose your own star base? Like well, you just have to upgrade a different one. It just one. goes to Newt. It Neutral, just goes to no, no. It, it, it'll, it, it, it'll be stuck with no hull points. Ah, uh, it doesn't wreck it if it's space far now. Pretty nope. sure it, it doesn't have it, any right? alloys, by the way. It's not going to go oh, away. Ah, crap! Plus Look, four. Now it's on one health. Yikes. Okay, and okay. And then enough. they'll Sorry. just now run around and shoot at things, or they're are they just... leaving the system? I think they're just chilling. They're off somewhere. Oh, they're not. They're going for the oh god! They're going for the construction ship, and they're going for the oh, no. army. That's going to completely <laughs> oh no! That's just going to wreck oh, him. Yeah, he needs uh -oh. he needs those strand, right? Yeah, yeah yes, yeah. he does. He needs. And them. he's not noticed that they he are not set them. to. They're set to. Oh, he's only crap. just noticed uh, that they're uh, dead. Too late. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh oh, very go round time. Yep, he's microing the ships now. So like, what? Oh, two two chairmen to go. Least fire had the god start where he got a ring world. This time though, no, this time he's going to be by Amoeba. That's the bubbles' revenge, right? Let's yeah. look at R. So R is running rogue server to prosperous unification with rapid replicate. It's a pretty normal build. Um, crystals rather than uh, the other thing, and also incubators for a bit faster in the growth. I think this is probably a better choice in terms of the, the bio trophies. Incubators plus scintillating skin. I, I do agree. I think it is better. I mean, I don't incubators think the... is the best, I think. Sorry, say again? Uh, I think incubators is like the best trait for, for growth. For yeah. bio trophies. Apps, yeah. It, for growth, it's like so good. Um... So an important yeah, thing to note about the really uh, Rogue Servitor that's changed with, with how they change bio trophies. Usually you'd want a bio trophy on every planet uh, and growing them. These days, you just want a simulation side instead. It gives you the amenities you need, and it gives you a similar unity output. So you're not as well, worried about growing you, your bios. Yeah, but it's bio robot pops. Give it's you bio trophies give you pops. so much stability. You know, 17 stability here from bio trophies. That's crazy. That too. That's an extra yeah, one bio trophy. 14 percent resource output. Good. But no, but but they're also more expensive to upkeep, and you don't get the free. Um, jobs to produce the consumer goods. Oh yeah, I forgot about mm. that. <laughs> That's yeah, weird. but you get you get bonus. So you're getting you, this. So these ten bio trophies. Well, I, sorry. So I think one bio trophy is all you want on a planet. Yes. Because one bio trophy gives you and, all the stability bonuses you'll you'll get. Doesn't really and, matter. And in the past, what? you would you would rush down a bio sanctuary for that exact reason. But I've mm -hmm. noticed for a long while that that R and other rogue services do not do this anymore because it's not as efficient as it used to be. I'm surprised that they don't turn on migration a... controls to prevent the pops from growing on the other planets because now well, you're going to have an issue. Um, uh, once they grow, they just move them back to the capital. Yeah, but you get a brief stability hit. Uh, I guess you can micro it, but it's just like a bit annoying. Month, right? Very brief. Yeah, I suppose. Very brief. At, at least this is how R has been playing for a long time um, and I tend to even though he's not as uh, doesn't play as much as he used to, I tend to trust R on Rogue Servitor. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, Oregano is here playing Guardian Cluster Void Hive Progenitor Hive. We've seen this build before with the species looking like invasive. Yeah, budding. Not many early wars at the moment. Tier 15. Oh, we do have a war. Singularity is at war, ladies and gentlemen. Singularity is at war Wait, with Oregano. And Singularity <laughs> has 2k okay. worth of ships. Oregano has nothing. It is a war of aggression. Ouch. I'm assuming taking a star base somewhere. Let's check the claims. Yeah, there's a claim on Pathavan. Yeah, probably on the back there. Pathavan. Oregano, I want the system back after the war. Sad face. Surrender, I kill all mining stations <laughs> in your capital. This is just aggressive. Surrender or I'll kill you. 
Um, Sven the Duck is also <laughs> oh, now at war. God. We have a second war. Sven the Duck has seen the first war, and uh, yeah, for 200 alloys, I'll give you the system back. Interesting, interesting. Trading is allowed. Very That's fair enough. Sven the Duck is at war with the Iron um, Potato Shagger. What they might not know is that I already got the first blood for conquest, though. So they're not getting as much out of this as they could. This is not a conquest war. This is a uh, despoilation. No, is it's conquest. I think it might be despoilation. Yes, despoilation. So this will be. This is points Interesting. for for Sven the Duck. The uh, the Montu's retirement home is going to be great. This is where all the... He's going to do raiding bombardment stance, isn't he? Let's check out the... So if you basically... If you don't surrender so to evil. Sven, gonna Sven is going to take your pops. Yes. Oh, my Lord. That is amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. That is nasty. It's just, it's just that, like... That's actually hey, why you. we allowed pops doing bombardments. Because a lot of people just never surrendered these early wars and dragged them out. Now there's consequences to prolonging a war you're losing. Where is Potato yeah. Shagger? Potato Shagger is... We, we don't even it's see Potato Shagger's stuff. the top of the galaxy, right? No, he's got a system down Wait, south. Where? Wait, what? what? How? Exactly? He's got a planet confused. down there. What the hell? How is he here? Huh? Why is he here? His Trade? capital is so far away. Huh? Maybe Anger traded the... something I with don't him. understand. M m maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I was like, hey, huh? Isn't Potato Shaga at the top, like the north? Progenitor That's a lot very strange. Of... That's weird. What? That doesn't allow them to do diplomacy, though. Like, they can't form defensive pacts, no, etc., because no. it's not an unbroken chain back to the mm. capital. But, yeah. Potato has no fleet. Confused. Potato's just going to die. That's just like, like, he should surrender the war. Yeah. Or he's gonna lose pops. Having said that, though, but actually, if, if he doesn't have any pops in those two systems, like yeah, he has one pop. He has a planet. He has a planet. Single pop. Yeah, but the sing last pop can't be stolen. Absolutely, but yeah, but Sven could just wait. Sven also yeah. can't really do much with that pop. It's a hive pop. It'll just die. It'll just get purged to death. Um, oh, I also, think, his, his, you know, just, uh, oh. the system he's in right now is Helito. Maybe that's why. Um, why Potato went down there because he saw Halito and he wanted to do the event. I don't know. I don't know. Like he wanted Maybe. the free planet. I mean, I mean, Potato Shaga is pretty safe. He's so far away. Like, uh, yeah. Anger can't do much. No, but it's Sven the Duck who's Anger. in the wall. Oh, right? oh, Sven. Uh, there's the rules, oh, Braveheart. Right. Yeah, Just, okay, uh, if you're is, wondering, it is. it is in the description, but it's there as well. Uh, did we have that war uh, end? We, we never... Yeah, we never we never talked about Divix's ability. If we just want to finish it that uh, up, then yes. I think we should just about I just want to check on the war. Singularity clearly sure. won the war. Yeah, uh, and has traded the system. Oh, he just won. Okay. Didn't get the didn't get the deal. first blood though. I don't have no deal. We reduced nope. the points that of first blood a little bit from six down to four as well, just for those who are wandering at home. So winning an early war yeah. is no longer worth nine points; it's worth seven, uh, which is still a good score. But we just felt it was possibly a little too many points for those first blood points. Mm. So, what's Divix doing? What's the rundown? I'm going to run to the little lizard's room. Do you want to break it down for me, Jern? Yeah. And, uh, strap? All right. So, we should probably Divix. go. Oh, wait. Resource consolidation and construct a bot. Very interesting. I mean, that's yeah. just the generic robo, right? So, five planets, though. What I've heard a lot of people say this is a stronger robot build now than Rogue Service Prosperous Unification. I don't know which way it's going to go. But it is, Rogue Service Prosperous Unification isn't as strong as it used to be. And, yeah. Like, just vanilla machine world is really strong. Yeah. Especially in the districts being uncapped, you can just, your builds are just so much less random and depending on the, on the damn, yeah. what is it? On the damn district RNG. So, one of the reasons why this is also a potentially viable build is because we're banning Catalytic for Gestalt Empires. Because, if they could go catalytic, they would want to do that. And I think Rogue Service is a better catalytic uh, empire than vanilla machines are. But vanilla machines are just good, strong start. Um, yeah, it's just all around good. I mean, uh, in the new update and with the machine changes, you know, we might we might see them be struggling a little bit, and we'll just see machine worlds everywhere. But you know, aside from that. It's going to be very interesting in the new patch how machines are just in... I think a lot of the game is going to change for a while at least. 
Um, yeah. and, and how the balance is going to end up on everything is going to be crazy. Yeah, I agree. I 100% agree. Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. The Korea also wants to be a part of uh, the beat up Least Fire team. But Least yeah, Fire he's, is he's... researching the ship now. Oh, that's why oh, uh... he's getting the war. He's gonna they chase need to off snipe. The yeah, ship. they need to. They need to snipe the construction ship and the armies. Yeah, yeah. If if they can inhibit the yeah. the scrap ship acquisition, they can just straight up destroy his build. He can't do anything. But I mean, it's just I a mean, that's smart. war, right? Least fire can just surrender. The question is if he's gonna mm. do it in time. I mean, he should do it in time. He's a good player. Uh, can you check least fire's uh, progression for the event? That's really important right now. If he's just gonna complete it before the battle starts anyway, he might just like go in. Just go in. Uh, uh, I mean, the situation log. That's where it is. So he's 50% oh, done. That is. Um, can he make it? I don't think he can make it. it. He can he just surrender. surrender the wall, right? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, what, what's, uh, what's happening with Lee Spice? Sorry. The Korea is attacking uh, Leash Fire while Leash Fire is trying to get Strand. Oh, he's gonna get no. so if Leash Fire could, delay, if Leash Fire could delay him, yeah, he can just surrender though. Like, but if he could delay him 700 days, he could turn around the war, but he won't have time to do it. He'll have to surrender. If he doesn't surrender, yeah. he's gonna mess up his build. Yeah, and the problem is it's on the edge of the system. He can literally just send one ship, one single yeah, ship. He made a mistake everything. here though. He shouldn't have engaged the station. People don't tend oh, to yeah. have FTL inhibitors early game anymore because yeah, of the no tech need. changes. And that's a surrender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just around. Ah, there you go. Yep. Immediately surrendered. Yeah. Yep. I will that remember that. Ten year yeah. truce. Now the ten year truce and Least Fire is going to have an unbeatable fleet that he can smack Sakuya in the face with in ten years' time. Like Sakuya yes, just yes. made an enemy <laughs> for no <laughs> good reason. No, no, I, yeah. I think it is specifically for the truce. Ah, uh, maybe. Because if he hadn't done this, mm. uh, Least Fire would have attacked. Would have attacked yeah, we all know that Least Fire would have just attacked. Yeah, him. yeah. 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 Let's not kid ourselves. He would have been the first. Yeah. Also, where's the did where did the gateway oh, go actually? Since actually, he reactivated it. Look, look at the truth with R. Oh, he's gonna get in six hundred days, and the truth with R is up in what? Lit two years. Two, I think it's perfect timing. It's, perfect it's timing. close. Like, Twenty-two. I think if if twenty, if it was like two or three months later, I think R would have been able to attack him before the truth. R's not in position to attack, up. and R's not moving into position. He's upgrading I, now. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Wait, as can, long as uh, John, fire, can you check the the gateways? That least fire has and click it just like where it goes up it go? to the north oh. to scissor to washing to so now washing is gonna get smacked in the face least fire is gonna come and steal the quantum <laughs> catapult uh -oh. oh no oh no uh -oh. Oh, yeah. and, uh -oh. and, and that, that's, not, that's not a planet system so he can actually he claim can just it. take it there's nothing there <laughs> oh, oh no washing. oh god that washing, is really my bad friend. that is really bad oh no buddy yeah. Oh. He always gets shafted. Does he Every realize? Every time Does he know? someone steals his <laughs> quantum catapult, I don't think he's ever gone through the whole yeah. tournament without his quantum catapult being stolen. And, and that's the issue with that build. It's so tempting to steal. It's like it, it puts a target on your back always, all the time. I'm surprised only Least Fire went for Galactic Doorstep. If like, this one person <laughs> goes for it. Like, everyone knows Least Fire is very good at completing it. So everyone yeah. would have to guarantee themselves that they are faster than Least Fire, which is going to be tough. And if you don't complete it, you are screwed. Singularity is coming as well now, by the way. I'm wondering if he's yeah, also going to be that one on, uh, on Least Fire. <laughs> yeah, I think they're all going to try and smash him once. Fire punching trade. Let's go. Oh, he's actually looking to attack R instead. R? That's interesting. Well, it's hard Maybe. to attack Least Fire because mm. Least Fire has no fleets. So you can't declare a rivalry and yeah. therefore can't really declare a war. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's why Sakuya attacked with such a tiny fleet. Yeah. Let's check out Sakuya's rifts. The first rift we've got is the opposing <laughs> faction one. This gives a good bonus when you get to the end of it. Um, Sakuya is Faf Deer Origin. Very real. I mean, look, uh, yeah. I'm what, happy what to be proved wrong with this origin. I think because of how RNG based it is to get it to be powerful, because of how heavy the RNG focus is, I, I just think because it can be F tier, I'm putting it in the F tier. Granted, there are times when it can I be like A though. or S tier. If you get the relic that gives you two years worth of production every 10 years, amazing. That is a multiplicative 20% bonus to your output. Great. But if you don't get yeah, it, it... Meh. Yeah, it's a high roll origin. It's like you you don't 
you can get you can be pretty strong just just pretty strong all right and can be useless straight up useless no origin so robin anderson in you chat know, yearn is asking does the scoring mod make sense to use in single player it seems like a way better scoring system than the villa than the vanilla one even outside of multiplayer i don't recall off the top of my head yearn that's why i'm asking you but it doesn't take AI empires into account, does it? Or does it take anyone that starts the game Correct. as an AI empire into account? Uh, we, we we disabled AI, so no, you can't currently use it yeah, in a single-player Yeah, you can't game. really use it in single-player because the AI cannot score. You just get all the points every time. So we, we had to do that because it caused issues with stuff like the Chosen, and, and there, yeah. there's a lot of issues we kept running into. Like, we don't want the Chosen getting mo loads of points for having a bo the best fleet in the galaxy, allegedly, um, even though they don't really exist. <laughs> Yeah, that would be very strange. Right, we had the first scoring round. Washing in first place, obviously, right. because they have the most the controlled scores. megastructures. Also, most controlled space. They've had lots of alloys. They've really pushed out their space. Plenty of economic power at the back of that, because they're a rogue servitor. So that's, uh, mm -hmm. and, and a little bit of fleet power. Not the biggest fleet, but a little bit. Singularity here. Just a little Biggest bit. economic power, biggest fleet power, allegedly. What's Singularity's fleet power? 2.2k. Is that it? All you need to get first here, yes. Oh, yes, he just decked on R. He just decked on R. He just decked on he R. He did just yeah. war declare right war now. on R. Wowzers. And is he jumping in? Uh, Not yet. Yet. Now he is. Now he's like, engage. How are we currently doing with the people's champion? So I should explain that. I didn't really get into explaining that too much, did I? So yeah. for, every, um, for every donated, or for every new member on YouTube and for every new subscriber on Twitch, um, those are the, the paid roles, uh, we, or I am donating $1 of the payment that I receive to the People's Champion Award. At the moment, the total prize pool is written as 16. Yeah, it's $16. You can see that on the screen down the bottom. Um, now, at the end of the stream, all of the uh, members on YouTube and all of the subscribers on Twitch will get to nominate one of the one of our lovely players here. Anybody, they don't even have to survive through the full game, but gets to nominate a player as the as the people's champion, and then everybody on YouTube and on Twitch gets to vote on who the people's champion uh, is, and then they get the prize pool, whatever it goes up to. Now we've had uh, last time we had a fantastic prize pool. Actually, it was more money than second place. Uh, second place, I think, was one hundred and forty dollars, and the prize got up to being like two hundred and something. It was crazy. Um, let's try and beat that again. But uh, but you should basically we're giving this award out on behalf of the audience. It's the audience award in essence for people doing fun, crazy things, things we haven't seen before. Um, you know, doing zany stuff in essence. Red King says, "Team Washing, wish him luck." Chat is that because he's uh, the Titan defense system? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> But could you check for a second if I'm lagging in game, or if it's someone else? You're you were briefly lagging. You're not anymore though. Ben okay. the duck is lagging now. Yeah, good. Good. It was a brief. Uh, Hazarat just gifted five new memberships. Thank you. Oh, I've changed. Harry can actually defend himself here against singularity. I don't think he's he interested in. Honestly, he yeah. just wants. Oh, he, he, just, he just he just up. He just beast up. Yeah. Correct. Uh, what he really wanted, actually, is just lose these systems oh, because oh, I get um, now Lee Faisal has to spend influence to claim stuff over here instead, instead of just taking these back. I don't think he actually minds yeah. lo minded losing this. I mean, it is, it's just like he, one He hasn't pieced right? out yet, actually. They're just occupied. Oh, really? Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, I, I no, no, he, he's, he's going to lay as long as possible, always. Again, this also oh. makes it more... Leaves fire by the way with his uh, big his big fleet is moving. Ah, oh, he it's oh. going for Sakuya. Uh oh, I hello, Sakuya. Here, yeah, but what, what oh, the hell? Why is this five more, walls? More screen, what, so... why is... Yeah, what the hell is that? Did he declare them or did he get declared? Oh, he's attacker. I he's see. attacker. He's the attacker mm. for all of them. He's attacking Very... every... <laughs> everyone. He's gone. I will t I'll take you all on. <laughs> he's doing a proper Optimus Prime moment. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> what how he was able to tell one Sakuya though? Is the Korea guaranteeing someone he attacked maybe? I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. S Mr. Barbie is Barbe is guaranteeing Cyrax. 
Uh, that's not a guarantee <laughs> war. Yes, the courtyard is everyone. guaranteeing R. That's a bit of a mistake. He's trying to farm points right now. With yeah, his, yeah. With his clearly trying to farm points. There's so many wars, I, I can't click on all of yeah, them. It, yeah, it, it is very confusing. The UI is not designed for this. Interestingly, oh, the war exhaustion is already at 7%. Korea. Does that Korea wipe out Sakura's had a perfect choice to avoid this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least Sakura gets another choice. Sure, sure. She should just zoom into the ship and follow it. That's, Singularity that's, that's says, I a ship with level, with, with level disruptor, you are all screwed. What? Hmm? That's <laughs> okay. What? Oh, the war form. Or maybe it's actually a random yeah, ship. Yeah, you have to delete is it. it. Is it random it's a random ship? No, it's just been created. What oh, ship? A, oh. uh, it's the SS war form. It has a disruptor. Oh, wait, what? Disruptors oh, the Paragon. Research the Research or having ship. ships. Uh, he, he can use that ship, though, can't he? I'm disrupted the band. It's, it's one component. You can make a ruling, Yearn. Technically, I think. Uh, I'm just double checking the rules. Check. I think we said we can't equip them or research them. He hasn't technically equipped them, has he? That's a good it, point. It, it's got spawn. It got spawn on his on his face. You know. Plus, it is just one, sh like one component, one. So the, the the wording is disruptor tech is banned. You can't research or equip disruptors. Not use them, correct? Difference. Gonna pop down and check on how everyone's doing, Yern. Um, Strat can just look at my screen for a moment. Will do. Uh, right. So, Least Fire is clearly winning that war. And by that war, I mean the Galactic War. He's at war with... Oh my goodness, I mean, look at that. He's at war with the galaxy. Anyone remotely close to him, he is at war with. Which is... Um, yeah, Ah, R, Sakuya, Cyrax, uh, Lequer, Sven the Duck, Mr. Barbe, Jojo, Grishna... Or Grishan, even. Huh. Is this going ham, man? What's the ship equipped with? So, in like see. 20 years, it's going to be useless. Like, the ship will be... No, the ship is always good. There. The ship's always good. You just put it in another fleet. Like, it's always a good ship. It's got loads Wait. of carriers, torpedoes, gauss cannons, point defense, loads of shields and armor. Like, it's oh, never wait. a bad ship. Uh, you can put it on another fleet. I I thought like the special ships can't um, like be put on normal fleets. Well, you could. Well, uh, whether or not you actually put it in a fleet, or I just mean you know put it adjacent, you know group it up with fleets, doesn't, doesn't really matter as long as it. Exists. Oh, I guess I guess yeah yeah. yeah. Um, you can have it. You know, you can build extra fleets and have it. Oh, somebody's invading his capital. I guess... oh. R has launched an assault and is taking the central star base. Everybody is losing their minds. And it's probably now going to bombard the homeworld, but probably not fast enough. Yeah, I mean, it is the 16 naval cap, right? And the ship itself. It's too I think slow. R should pull back. It's, it's going to take back. ages. Oh, wait, wait. R didn't peace out? Wait, what? I was not... Oh. R is at war with both Singularity and with Least Fire. And there is Scram. You... It's time to run away. Uh oh. Yeah. Wait, what? Adjourns, can you screen share? Oh then, no, killed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, that killed them. That killed them all. Nikito, thank you very I was much. Just for about to say that they, they can't use. Jump drive even defensively, so he should be able to get back in time. But he did get back in time. He just about made it. Yeah. How much speed does the the ship itself actually have? I actually a don't lot. Know. It's a fast ship. With like three hundred. I'll check. It is two sixty one for a Titan. Mm, that that's like that's like a battleship actually. That's pretty slow, man. Two sixty is faster than the Corvettes I mean, everyone has in the game right now. Just so you know, Strat. Yeah. It's the fastest ship oh, wait, in the what? galaxy. Ignore it even without the jump drive. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe my reference point is too, is too far, you're thinking too late far game. ahead. You're thinking late game. We're only at year 23. Uh, no, no, mid game. Oh, fine. Well, mid, <laughs> okay, 23. Mid, no, well, yes, mid game. Enough. Mid game of being what? Year 50? Yeah, yeah. Roughly then. 
Which yeah, at least I mean, is cleaning Corvettes house would be a right bit now. higher then. But destroyers and cruisers, 200 is 200 to 250 is pretty pretty normal for a speed at that point. Nikita, thank you very much for the super chat. Did you want to say something? Yeah. Or just ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. look at Lucifer's economy, it's quite bad, honestly. Yeah, negative, negative, negative four alloys and negative 18 minerals, that is holy, not good. What is, his, what is happening with his planets? Can you check the planets, actually, uh, Jerry's? That's going to be really important. Can he reassign pops to fix it? Everyone's unemployed, nah. or and they're all prosperity preachers. Why are they all prosper? Oh, because that's what the temples do now. So he's just got too specialized <laughs> in economy into unity. Um... Are you going for a crisis rush? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Egalitarian can't take crisis, can they? What's happening? Uh, uh, oh, uh. Secure desynced. Unfortunate. Resync button when? Next update. Next update. No one also, a rift cube. world in multiplayer causes these things. That's good to know. Oh, astral when when rift? when they completed uh, the, the they completed the astral origin? rift. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. Hey, wait, wait. What relic did he get? That's the real question here. Uh. Well, the 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 homeworld one is a special one that gives you a bonus, an empire bonus. I'll show it off in a moment. Um. When we get back in. But it, depending on exactly how you complete it, you can get a leader. You can get an empire wide bonus. Um, you know, you can get various different things depending on the path you take. Hmm, I see. When resync button, chat. When resync button, exactly, um, Unalund. Resync button, we need it now, damn it! Resync um, button, why didn't they add this like 10 years ago? <laughs> it, it, it was just so good for Hoi 4. So, okay, so he completed this one not by getting the bonus, but by letting everyone die and getting a free leader. The leader was a level five leader, which has now become an industrialist. Meh. But you didn't get a relic from it, or? No, you don't get a relic. What? No, you don't get a relic. You can come sometimes, you can get a, an empire-wide bonus. In this oh, case, partway through. Oh no, see, here's the empire-wide bonus. Spirit of our ancestors. 5% pop growth speed, 5% habitability, 25% astral rift exploration speed, Minus 50% Astral Rift fail probability. So that stacks with the Rift world. Inspired Rhetoric expires in five years. So that was part of that one. Um, granting more ship fire rate, more build speed, reduced war exhaustion gain. But without a fleet... Wait, why is Sakia at war with a Singularity? What? Singularity declared on, Sek on R. And Sakia had yeah. guaranteed R. Like, oh, Sakia has oh, thrown themselves completely under the bus here. It's a bit bizarre. Ah, oh, I... Okay. Understandable. Ah, uh, at least fire ship is already on near our capital right now. I just saw it. Yeah, it's gonna be on a rampage for a while now. Oh, it's on his capital actually. No, 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 not next to. It's on his capital. But that being said, like the the cost of doing this is big. Like he's got no research. He's got a terrible economy, and then like ten years or fifteen years, this is not gonna be good anymore. Horizon Seed, yeah. someone's got the worm? Yeah. I think so. Who's got the worm? It was, uh, I'm pretty sure. The biggest thing is, I think that the it's fact that the, the ship core, can't even use jump drives, the, the, which is the point farming. Which is the, uh, the ring world. Yeah. yeah, it's the ring world origin. What does the, what does the worm do if you have ring world? I like, think normally it's it can turn all your planets into uh, black holes, right? It turns all planets no, uh, into tomb nothing. worlds and the star into a black hole. I shouldn't yeah. do anything here. No, the interloper. Yeah, I... The interloper is a shattered world. That should turn into a planet. Wait, did that... Really? I I think huh? it might. Okay. I I don't know. Because so, it is shattered world, which is a planet type. It should turn it into a tomb that would actually world. That would be bad for him. No, it wouldn't be bad. He doesn't want another planet, he wants the minerals from the interloper. Oh yeah, 13 that's 13 minerals, minerals versus that's an entire actually... planet. But he's ring world. He can't settle it anyway. Yeah, but he can just, I mean, she can just do a migration treaty or, or whatever. Like, he, come on. He's fanatic well, xenophile. Give it I think him. he's trying to get migration. Doesn't have any. Uh, I'm surprised well, that him and Mr. Bar hasn't, uh, hasn't made a trade fed yet. That is a bit surprising, actually. Mr. Barbe, um... I would suspect would want that. 
they ha Mr. Barbe has diplomacy one, but the war. Mr. Barbe is stuck in a war with Least Fire, so they cannot make a oh, federation. Yeah, Least, least fire. fire is slowing down <laughs> everybody's is, game. Is without even necessarily having yeah, to yeah, win yeah. the war. It's just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. He's disrupting everyone, you know. He's the the game disruptor, not not the weapon. The, yeah. Just, yeah. He does have the issue though, because he's bio, his his war chosen does go up quite fast early game. So if he's not mm. actually finishing these wars, he might not get a lot of points out of it. And again, this is a big investment. His economy is terrible. His tech is abysmal. This might be a gamble that doesn't pay off. Yeah. I Without the jump drives rest restrictions, I think uh, Galactic Doorstep, uh, Rushing Scran is actually really good. But with the jump drive res restrictions, I think, I think Galactic Doorstep is admittedly one of the worst origins because you can't farm points fast enough. You can't just jump to people's capitals and force them to surrender. You can't do that anymore. Like yeah. right now, R has just running around him. Just gonna go through and see who's got the highest. Hey. Oh, uh, Mr. Uh, Firekaiser is doing his little, uh, oh. his he, little he trick. The, the, he, he already picked the yeah. crisis perk. Ah, okay. So we actually didn't see this in action. Um, and it's something I wanted to discuss with you, uh, Manchu, at some point. The way Mr. Bob does this is close to an exploit. <laughs> Because what he's doing is he empties his ship designs before he uh, enforces a rebellion. Oh. What? Montu Enterprises? Yeah, Montu... yeah that yeah, was uh, the rebellion. rebellion from Fire Kaiser. Montu so what Fire Kaiser does... Gone. Fire Kaiser Indeed. strips his own ships, so he has naked ships. Then he forces a rebellion in his own space. And because his ships are naked, when they spawn, they also spawn with naked ships because mm -hmm. their ship base is based on your design. Then he builds up a few proper ships, and then he go kills the rebellion, getting a ton of menace. Oh, it's oh, a oh, really he's fighting Sven the Duck. Trick. Uh, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. What the hell? That's a battle. Yeah, yeah. Sven it's the Duck came battle. in, and oh Fire Kaiser surrendered. He just... Uh, yeah. Okay. Well... And lost the oh, habitat. Guess, that's an yeah, illegal... We, we do have a yeah, we have a rule... Yeah, because when Sven the Duck declared uh, the war, the question is if he, declared, if he claimed it while the AI had the system. I'm gonna go. Matter. Afterwards, it's not a JSON, it's not a system he can keep. Yeah, he will have to trade it back, right? Whatever happens, he has to give it back, yeah. I'll go tell him. Fire Kaiser's called the Empire. I'm too weak! Please don't hurt me! Please! I'm too weak. I'm harmless. Exactly. No, no, no. You haven't seen Star Wars. It's a Star Wars quote strat. I, I look just yeah. Oof, no, no, oof. no. I, I understand the reference. Oh, you get a reference. Sir, Whoa! Boomer. Hold please, the phone. Please, yes. Hold the phone. <laughs> look, okay. I'm I'm not so so zoomer that I have not seen Star Wars. Come mm -hmm. on, come on. Have Did some he take weak as a trait? No, deviant and non-adaptive. Bloody Sith. They're called the Montu. What? He's he's called them the Montu. <laughs> Deviant, non-adaptive, yeah. natural engineers, incubators, intelligent. I mean, this is just the the, the meta, meta. And then Boy Dweller giving it a lovely fifteen percent output on habitats. Um, just straight up great. Mm. Why is does he have so many un unemployment though? Is that is that is that normal? Uh, look, he is a egal fanatic egalitarian. That unemployment uh, is research. research? And unity. Cool. It's the most efficient way of making research and unity uh, until later on in the game. Mm, I guess so. Well, for, for a total of 0 0.9 consumer goods, he's getting four and a half research and almost two unity. If he made Ooh, a researcher, that would cheaper. cost 2.9 consumer I'm a goods. Researcher. And yeah, like research is making five research, but costing two point two point eight sorry two point eight consumer goods. Um, yeah, which is true. oh wait no actually no the researchers are currently more efficient now. No, if if you look at just the research oh, wait, when you take the unity involved as well, then it's not. Ooh. Well, as in two uh, five point four divided by two point eight is a slightly larger number than one point five divided by zero point nine. Um, um, Manchu, uh, I guess the unity is like the mm -hmm. 
Do, do you want to join in on this rule question, by what? the way? So what happened is, Fire Kaiser forced the rebellion. Sven the Duck claimed the system from the AI and then declared war on Fire Kaiser. We agree that he has to give the system back to Fire Kaiser, but he can't do that right now because he's at war with least Fire. So the question is, should Sven the Duck <laughs> get a point penalty for this? Um, I would say that when he made the claim, probably. it was a legal claim. It was a legal the claim when he made it. it, but like... So what Firekaiser should have done is he should have not surrendered the war. Yeah, Sven I the suppose. Duck is out Fire of all right now by the looks of it. Firekaiser has forced Sven the Duck. Yeah, probably no penalty because yeah. it's not exactly Sven's fault here. Sven is, was trying to operate within the rules. Yeah, and Sven just and organized a surrender with or a status quo with Least Fire by the looks of it. So he should be able to trade back the system. I'll just go make... Yeah, he traded it back now. Actually, no harm, no foul, right? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't get a point penalty so. for this. Yeah, I think so. We've hit a like goal, ladies and gentlemen. Let's update the goals. We're doing the goals slightly differently today. See how it goes. Um, uh, we're not going to be filling up the screen entirely. We're just going to have the, the previous goal we've hit and then what the next goal is. So currently, for new members, our goal is uh, 20 new YouTube members in total. That's five more from where we are now. And, uh, and uh, 10 new Twitch subscribers, which is three more than we're at now, I think. We're getting out there. Yeah. Has it passed fifth place yet? No, 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 no. If the total is written on the screen somewhere. I think it was twenty-two dollars. It's one. It's it's just over half of fifth place at the moment. Uh, Michael Alexander, I agree. The shrinking font is fun. There have been some grumblings. We're going to try it out. I'm not let's, saying this is how it will be Lee's permanently. Fire again. What he? What is he doing? With his what wars? Least fire. Uh, least fire. With the five wars of least fire. <laughs> the five wars. It, the, it, it's the growing. Fights. It's growing. It's six wars now. <laughs> six? Good lord. Yeah. There's more. And he even settled one with Sven the Duck, so. Scrand is at home, well, though. He's like, what the heck? I'm just moving towards ECS screen now. I'm wondering if he's just doing these wars because, like, people know he's overwhelmed, so mm -hmm. he's hoping someone will surrender. I, I wouldn't surrender. And nobody is. I, because... I, I wouldn't surrender. I just let yeah. it tick up and then force status quo. Yeah, I mean, with like, jump drives, if you look at our friends, like, our space fast. is fully occupied, but his planets aren't. So I was just like, eh, I don't need my space. I got planets. Why would I surrender? I don't <laughs> exactly. think Least Fire has time to stay in the bombard and build. Like, his economy is terrible. He can't. Can he even afford to build ground forces? He's, he's like building Barely? a few. Really? Barely, I think. But the demand is. He's flying in with is, 180 now. That's not enough to take down robots, right? Robots, especially, are. Robots are immune. quite weak, actually, on their ground. So he, he will hmm? probably yeah. be able to take it if R doesn't build some more ground forces. That, does he have battle frames? That really depends. And on R's that. economy has... is hurting. Oh. Like, oh, losing out on the solar panels is bad. I mean, he is still building armies. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they're just battle frames yeah. and it's costing so much energy? I have no idea, actually. If nothing else, in two years, Least Fire will be able to status quo him and take the systems. Although he wouldn't get points for that. You want the points. Yeah, you guess. want the points. You want to force the yeah. to surrender. You really do. I oh, think Least Fire is trying to do that. But, you know. Did Least Fire just jump drive? That, did, did that auto Possibly jump drive? my mistake. Auto but it jump? could still be a ruled break. Yes. Yeah, it might be an auto jump because there would yeah, be no that, valid still, path. That, that, it that, just that's auto still jump. A rule break. Yeah, yeah, I'll go it jump. is. I can't remember what we agreed on the jump. solution to that happening. Is uh, he has to force him his fleet? That fit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Ah. Unfortunate. Which leaves him defenseless for a period of time, doesn't it? That's a shame. Yeah, yeah. It, that's a darn where's shame. Where's It's announced on chat. Like the, the main thing. The main thing is. Uh, if there's a way to disable auto jump, I, I, I would. So it's, it, sometimes you could actually lose the game because, like, e even without the rules, this you could jump just, drive like, has been used within the last two hundred days. Get destroyed. Yeah, it is. It's probably auto jump because, like, if it's bad, he usually like people, players of this level usually know. It, but uh, the auto click, like the, the auto jump. Yeah, they change it, it. So now, if you it right click, faster. it will sometimes auto jump. Yeah, yeah, absolutely.
I think it auto jumps if there's no valid path, either FTL inhibitors or exactly, yeah, yeah exactly. I and think I think it's we have base fauna. I think maybe we had an FTL inhibitor or something like that, or maybe the the land maybe. was just locked. No, the borders weren't closed. Not sure. Weird. Mm, I don't know. In his folly, he overextended his line, says Woodman C. Exactly. Um, but also, Ben Guella, thank you very much for your subscription. Um, the, 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 the People's Champion Award has gone up in value by another dollar. So at the moment, no one's really pulling massively ahead. Singularity uh, and R, uh, Singularity and Washing are in kind of first and second place, but not necessarily, they won't necessarily stay there forever. Singularity, I think, might be able to survive this. Washing generally has a tougher time. I'm surprised Least Fire isn't declaring war on Washing, though I, I suppose you can't use that gateway offensively, is the issue. You can't fly through it to attack. Yeah, without jump drives, you can't, like, like warp in, jump, jump to neutral system, and de declare war. Right? You can't do that without jump drives. No. It is so much dif more difficult to do anything. So much more difficult. Cool. We're all good. Least is saying this is dumb. Oh my god, dyslexia is so... Uh, how do you spell that? Is that appropriate? The letters in the right order? Appropriate. That doesn't even look like a word anymore. Um, ah! This needs a spell checker. Why does this thing not have a spell checker? Darn it. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to write in the chat, Strat, and I'm like... I'm having, I'm having a migraine trying to write the word appropriate. And I'm, it doesn't even look like words. There's too many P's and R's and I's. It's, like, it's all the same word. It's a jumble of nothing. Um... Are aren't you like 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 British? How do you not know British? I don't know yeah. if you already explained this while I was gone, Manchu. But Which why one? why he jumped by mistake? Uh, well, oh. we're not sure exactly because we don't think there was a uh, a blocker. Do you you know should say for sure that he didn't jump on purpose. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And like he's not Maybe got the memory from it. We've made him retreat no the ship. Yada yada. Um. He's saying it's not possible to control. Well, you have to watch it. And uh, that's yeah. why he's not had a penalty. All he's had to do is MIA the fleet. Exactly. It will be back so this, momentarily. I think it's a clunky mechanic right now that it will automatically jump drive. You like should that. be able to turn it on and if off. It can't, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's especially a problem once everyone has FTL inhibitors. Yeah, it can also happen in war. Like... Like what is it? Uh, fortress, fortress roll, and suddenly, oh crap! I just it's jumped. Jojo always. Everyone's uh -oh. always least far, aren't they? Even Jojo, crikey! How's Jojo's economy? Oh, yeah, doing? well, well. Five hundred research. Is Jojo just chilling? Hundred unity, hundred and fifty alloys a month. It's quite nice. Hmm. What? If, uh, what if we compare Pax and Jojo right now? How are both of them doing? Pax has more research. Pax has slightly more research, slightly less unity, basically the same output, wow, but a much bigger economy. Wow, fast, by the way. Pardon? Uh, Did you notice how fast oh, oh my God, it was my age until he got home? That's, yeah, it's almost it's a uh, an advantage. Well, are you allowed to force hmm. MIA your fleets? In the, or have we banned that? Uh, that? That's the ruling. 
That's the ruling no, no, when he jumped right Are you allowed me. to force MIA your fleets? Do we allow that? I can't remember. Or do we count that? Like, Yeah, I can't remember if we have it in exploits. Uh, uh, Aqua Helix, thank you very much for your uh, Prime subscription. That's another dollar in the kitty for the People's Champion Award. Chats demanding more blood. Uh, I'm interested in Lequer. They are really right at the bottom here in terms of power. And I can't see them getting up much higher. Their economy is just so much smaller than everyone else's. Yeah. Loads of unity, but what are they spending it on? I, I guess they're kind of got. They've, they've taken the Lord of War Ascension perk. I guess they're going for more mercenary enclaves, um, would be my suspicion. But they don't really have the economy to support that anyway. Not even the energy. Uh, yeah. Do you have the alloys to build the mercenary enclaves in the first place? I don't think so, right? You need like... First you need 50 so. nav cap worth of ships. He's only got a nav cap of 40. And then you need, what, 2,000 alloys? 500 alloys? I can't remember exactly what the number is. It's not that much. But combine yeah, them all together... You're looking at at least three or four k of alloys, uh, for you know, for for the ships and for the to press the button. Yeah. He's not got yeah, that. And to upgrade them, you also need to pay. Yeah. Oh, the champion pot grows. Need. Woodman Sea has just donated five new members. Hazard. Hey, can you can you switch to Pax and Jojo right now? We need to look at them. Yeah, I was just noticing that they're, they're really competing for the top spot here. So they're both running oh. basically the same build, right? Yeah. Yeah, roughly. Pretty much. And they're making. <laughs> look at their alloy production. It's almost the same. The numbers. One sixty-six. One copy paste. One sixty-five. The thing is, though, Pax, Pax, Pax has, has somewhat such, more uh, such a bigger production. economy, though. Well, more tech, less unity, but, but less then unity. Loads more minerals and energy. Whereas Jojo has far fewer minerals and energy, but slightly more unity. I mean, Jojo's got about as much extra unity as Pax has extra extra research. So Jojo overall just clearly has a smaller economy. Clearly. Mm. Fire Kaiser with more rebellions, it looks like. What? Another rebellion? Oh, he just keeps forcing these rebellions, does he? Oh, he, he can get tons of. What is it? Oh, uh, Sven got the system this time, though, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he, he, won, he won the, the battle against the. Rebelled rebels. against the I am too weak. No, no, no. Sven, no, Sven's at war now. Sven's taken it. Nice. Yeah. Mm. So this time, Firekaiser wasn't fast Fire enough Kaiser to get control play. of it. Yeah. I mean, really, Firekaiser should have grabbed the yeah. two systems adjacent to it and then closed borders with Sven. Yeah. There we go. Oh. How much uh, mana does uh, Firekaiser have right again. Now. Yeah. It's uh, almost like that DLC, the Astral Planes DLC, has caused no no end of issues. Every time Sakuya completes an Astral <laughs> Rift... Oh, look, desync. Yeah, like, the astral every time. With itself, it is. It's just. It's just cursed. Never touch astral planes when you're in a multiplayer game, man. It is just so suspicious. Breaks everything. They. They still haven't fixed it. I own the DLC and I've explored exactly one astral rift. On purpose, <laughs> or did you accidentally do it with the auto explore? Oh, okay, fair. Oh man, I got the. I got the smooth ships, and I just had to try it. Really, any any actual Rift stream should be sponsored by Manscaped, right? Oh, jeez, Louise. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You can get the smoothest surface imaginable with your giant spheres. We could call them balls. Um, and uh, <laughs> and then you can get them into. They can slip through the dimensional planes because they're just that darn smooth. Mm -mm -mm. Pay no attention to the fact that the um, yeah, pay no attention to the fact that the spheres themselves have, like, wires coming out of them and stuff and graphics on them. They, they're smooth, but apparently there's bits on the outside. I don't know what these bits are adhering to. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So if Chad is uh, confused, me and Moncho really hate that excuse of why you needed that smooth oh, tech. Oh, it's just so stupid. It doesn't even make sense. Like, wh Look, Moncho, you died again. What? The Moncho Serene Nation died. Oh, but stop <laughs> killing me. Stop killing my nation! How much menace does he have? Uh, probably loads. He's been killing you. He should have def- he definitely has enough. 
Like already after the first war, I think he had a thousand. Maybe level two? Level two, he has. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah 500. So been... every time you conquer a world, you get 400. Uh, so that's. And destroying an empire is 100. Ooh, so it's 500 for the conquest. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Level two, level two. That's pretty good since now he can use mineral ships. But doesn't now, have any minerals. No, his eco is very no minerals, sad. No yeah. eco. Mm -mm. What the hell? He's an eco. Yeah, he's on the struggle bus. He needs to shut down his alloys. He need he just builds using minerals. There's no need right for them, is there? I mean, I'm thinking yeah. he did test this, but I don't think this is better than his uh, subterranean version. Or maybe Sven's appearance was just a big enough issue. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. We've hit another Twitch sub, uh, sub oh, goal. Thank Sakya you very is much, getting everybody. slammed. Again. Thank you very much, T TDP Jan. That increases the prize pool. The current prize total is down, written on the, the bottom of your screen, if you want to take a look. So again, he's only won one war. That's the issue. I don't think this gambler is going to pay off. But his economy is starting to rebound, though. But his tech is still terrible. And he never got uh, to take Washing's megastructure. Washing's just spreading out. I'm guessing he's going to go for space and megastructures. Already this point. has, yeah, space and megastructure. Already got five points for space last time. Also, because of Washing is so wide, lots of economic power as well. A wide robot is a yeah. strong robot. And there's actually only basically like, like two entrance points. Well, technically three now into his space Mathelum, Chiban, and Stur. Stur. Strubius. Strobius? Strobius. I mean, yeah. he only cares about his core sector. That's up. I still think Escaron is where I would bunch, bunker up. I'd bunker up yeah, at Isis, same, same. to be honest. I'd it's... bunker up at Isis, not Escaron to start with. Um, and then I'd probably mm. put another I'd probably put another bunker at Escaron, like a secondary, like, a, you know, a compartmentalization. But Isis is just yeah. much better. You can get a fortress down there. You can get an FTL inhibitor true, on the true, planet. It is a uh, planetary inhibitor. Mm. Yeah. Planetary inhibitors are just better than the space ones because you don't have to control the space. You can yeah. still, you know, you can slow down a more powerful enemy with them. Um, yeah, yeah. My yeah. worry is that if he ever becomes dominant, he has Potato Shaka and Pex as his neighbors. They're gonna <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, not a fun time. They're gonna not turn around and time. go, "Oh, you think you're winning? Sorry, that means your space <laughs> is mine now." Mm -mm -mm. Oh, tasty, tasty. You're a winner. No, 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 not happening, bro. Not happening. It would be good for washing is that Potato Shaker does have maybe more tasty targets over here in Grisham and Thund. True, true, true. Mr. Again, Bob is hey, gone. They made the first federation. Where? They've made a sacred hmm? covenant. Who? Who? Thund Who? and Grisham. Huh? Oh, yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Thund really ended up getting locked in there somehow. How did that happen? Potato took Ostique? What? Yeah. What? That's rude. What the hell? How did how did that allow? I mean, I'm guessing war. Now, now those other two worlds of Thuns though are at risk because Potato has a system next to them. In four years' time, so how strong is the? How is the? I'm guessing they're going to the Sacred Covenant for the new uh, trade policy in. So uh, in that, yeah, there, Sacred right? Covenant at level three, mm. you get um the holy covenant trade policy it's so much better than the regular trade policies it grants you for every trade value you get 0 0.5 energy and 0 0.5 unity it's an insane it amount of unity. Twice the unity or... it's twice yeah, it's the unity of efficient. being a trade fed um and it's uh i think like uh like 140 percent better than just being unity focused trade trade gives you 0.25 unity focus i believe gives you 0.15 though it might be the other way around i cannot check because i can't click on the gosh darnable government tab <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, i've taken my hand away from the mouse check. while i talk about it so that i don't accidentally move that little mouse over and <laughs> click on it just to show off what i'm talking about um oh exactly you almost did it you almost did it again no, 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 no. I'm sensible and smart. Thund is playing uh, yes, Angler's Teachers. I don't think we checked out Thund's build earlier. Angler's Teachers Meritocracy, already, of course, psionically ascending uh, down onto Psycore. Does Thund have Psycore on the planets? That's the important question. Yes, no alloys, though. Plus four, plus four. I was about to say plus six. 
but it went down. Maybe Thun's relying on on uh, Grishin to be the bulwark against Potato. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. C can he do it? Does he have an eco? You're toasting in year 35 when the tribute starts happening. Yeah. I think that's also going to be the make it or break it spot for uh, for Least Fire. Least Fire can't make anyone a like tribute. He's doing a lot of war. He can't? Oh, well, he's at war the with war everyone that he would tribute has pretty much. Significantly yeah, exactly. Maybe ETS Green. He could grab ETS Green, I guess, probably. Yeah. Because he starts so many wars, he's going to have a lot of. Uh, Looks like he's finishing off R at the moment. He's just cleaning oh, up. His he still hasn't occupied any of our space. These wars, or any of our uh, planets. I'm pretty sure these wars that Least Fire is doing are um are the uh what's it called? Um, I'm Horse pretty sure they're despoilation wars because he's got Letter of Mars oh. giving him the pirate raid uh pirate raid ability. Yeah, I he has see. plunder. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Interesting. So, Interesting. this will help his economy if he can win the war. That's partly why no one's surrendering either. Least Fire here at 100% war exhaustion on uh, 94 days for, for, for the, the war against R, almost two years for the war against JoJo. That's a bit bad. The cat girls are now. I think all of his armies get intercepted. Actually, look look at the armies. I think that's being engaged right now. Uh, yeah, look, I look see the, in the Darius system. The no, no, they're not caught. No, no, no. no. No, no, R is not paying attention. He should have right clicked the, the armies. No, 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 no. Oh, huh? Oh my so god. Is getting if he targeted a bit of a lag the armies, spike, R would be. Oh. What is it? Am I lagging or. No, Sukuya. Sukuya is dark red to me. You should ask the host. Ah. Oh. Might be desyncing again because Astral Plains is a very functional DLC, by the way. Perfectly functional, yeah. I loved how you were like, Galactic Paragons broke the game. And I'm like, and I'm like, I saw the, I watched the video and I was like, uh, literally <laughs> still playable. However, Astral, uh, Ast then, Astral, Astral Planes, Planes made it literally <laughs> unplayable. Not broken in terms of gameplay, exactly. broken in terms of actually able to play the game. No. Yeah, mechanically, just, just no, no. The game is just not going to work. Just why, 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 why? The fact that the very existence of just like the the riffs actually break the game, so lore accurate, bro. It is. Oh my it is so good, you know. Lore accuracy, guys. You know. Now he crashed. It seems. Ah, oh, oh, secure, secure well. full crash. Well, thank goodness, astral. Pl this is partly why astral, uh, astral, the astral riffs origin is F tier, because it even causes you to crash <laughs> in multiplayer. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's actually what happens. That that's why, yeah. Yeah, three three point ten was a rough patch. I I do say like Paradox did a good job fixing a lot of it in for three point eleven. Yeah, but December and January was some rough months for Stellaris. Even even in the first, even yeah. no no November when it came out, they were releasing a new patch as a hot fix once a week because single player was even in single player games people were getting constant crashes to desktop. It's almost like yeah, even in single creation, player, just like yeah, it's almost like outsourcing the creation the of the broken. DLC to an external company had after they closed down that other studio that they had that could have made the DLC. Seems like there was some sort of negative impact there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, though. Who knows? Probably nothing. Probably nothing. It's okay, Manchu. We, we love you even though you're stupid. Yeah, well, you know, I clearly am an idiot. There's been no <laughs> negative impact from clo the closing the studio and outsourcing. Never can be. Outsourcing is always good, and you should do it. Your job should be done abroad. Stop complaining. So, so Manchu, by the way, are, are you drunk enough yet for me to be allowed to make the poll? I haven't had about? a single drink. I've been drinking water. I've been very sensible. Um, and I've been quietly trying to make the poll. Uh, yeah, right now, no poll. No one, also, no one super okay, no me poll. to have a beer, so so I can't do it yet. Two, uh, two, two, true, two true. drinks minimum before you can put that poll up. Okay, okay. I'm not going to pressure oh. you, chat, but you might want this poll. No, no, no! It's not not worth it. Yes, I went to see the football anyway, so I don't, I don't really feel like having a a big drink, um, to be honest. Because I may or may not have uh, consumed some libations the, the previous day. Can neither confirm nor deny. Have a beer or eat there a snickers. There we go. You know how I you always get. trust, oh, David. Sick. I've been eating Wattsits, actually, David. I've been muting myself and, like, munching on five Wattsits. I've got the giant ones, though. Uh, Wattsits are like Cheetos, but better, by the way. Um, 
if, if you're of the American persuasion. I, I'm eating pistachios because if I have, like, peanuts or something next to me while while playing stuff like this, I'll just finish it off right away. But, oh, but these things take a really ton of time nice. to eat. Yeah. Um, I, I always yeah, wonder why you can shell pistachios. I bought a pack once, and then I found out, because actually it's really... Once you deshell them, they just kind of get all weird and a un bit unpleasant. Yeah. Um, if you leave them in a bag for like a month deshelled, they're not the same. They're not the same nut. Wait, enemy troops landing? Is that the capital? Oh, uh, oh he just surrendered. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Just the capital. Mm -hmm. Oh, I said eat it. Oh, jeez. Was that a surrender or was that just a status quo? I think wait, it was wait, a status wait. quo, was yeah, no was points for war. Goal? Wait, no, no where's Lee's fire? Where's Lee's fire? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. He didn't, yeah. didn't get more points. Oh my Has god. Has one war three points. Yeah, I think Lee's fire uh, is screwed. Yeah. I don't think he's winning this one. I don't think he's winning this one, guys. So Woodman Seat and Dark Seat have both super chatted to have a beer. Um, chat saying that counts as two beers. You can put the poll up. Uh, technically, that's the same beer twice um, because I haven't had it yet. Now, I'll go and get it okay. and I'll be right back. So no poll right this moment. I have to actually have the beers first, all right? So let's all remain calm. Can I can I can I hint to the chat that that the yeah, poll is about hint. a stretch goal? Maybe. Yeah, you can hint. Okay. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. So I I really want Munch to do something, but I can only do it if you guys vote for it, and I can only like, let you vote for it if Munchu gets a couple of beers. Apparently, it's going to be fun, right, Strat? He's gonna he's gonna click the government tab because he's drunk. <laughs> that's that's what's gonna but, happen here, Jerns. But the poll we're talking about, right, Strat? It's the thing we talked about before the stream. Do you think do you think Chad is gonna like it if it happens? Uh I actually completely forgot what what the poll was. I'm like, it's what? about what, 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 what Manchu was doing yesterday. Ah, yes. Okay, I I think people would love it. Yes, people would love it. A hundred percent agreed. So what did what Flavik did Sakia get? Or did he not get it still? Because of the constant crashes and desyncs? Let's see, let's see. You could just control. I mean, he might uh, call it FG click. Origin, but he's still uh he's still sick top six. What do you say oh. I can click? I can't remember. Is it control uh, it click? It's discovery, discovery. Uh, control click on people on without the Ah, okay. So he hasn't got a relic yet. Yet. Damn, unfortunate. I don't know if he gets one. Really? Does he need to like defeat the, oh, the guy in the middle? He's still searching uh, a natural rift, apparently. Unfortunately, oh my God. we're out of beer. It's, um, I almost had a heart attack. Luckily, I do have a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's all right. The fancy. Just have a couple of glasses of wine. Can't go wrong, really, yeah, can you? With a nice, nice, nice bottle of... Verdeo. Assuming Spanish. Yeah, product of Spain. Don't drink if you're pregnant. Great, I'm not pregnant. Oh, no worries. Ah. Oh. oh it's... How classy raising yeah, pinky looking at, looking at the wars in the galaxy right now, like, it is just least fired war with everyone still. And yeah. It's such a peaceful in galaxy. Years, There's not much to talk about. People are waiting. Yeah, people are waiting we're going to start seeing stuff. Yeah. I think what we're seeing here is also like the weakness of spawn sometimes. Like, least fires a player that's really good at diplomacy. Oh, who died now? Coming out here, Frida probably want to fire Kaiser's vassals. Rebellion. Rebellion things. Maybe. I see, yeah, no one could have actually died. Probably, it probably no one is. is actually dead, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That puts Fire Kaiser up to 3,000 menace now. Level 3 crisis unlocked. Death from above. Misconfigured thrusters. Uh, he's still making only 11 minerals per month. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. Uh, ouch! Why is it so low? He's making more alloys? Why? Probably because everyone's unemployed. Huh? Like, the entire empire is just full unemployment. No one except the capital has employment, and he's purposefully unemployed the miners. The question is, why alloys, though? Habitats? 
mining habitats? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Maybe he's got enough ships and he doesn't care? I don't know. Maybe, I mean... But he's not subterranean though, that's the issue. He's not mm. subterranean. He's also having another rebellion? Is he trying to hit 10k minutes without even going to war, maybe? I think so. I mean... Punish revolt yeah. on R4? Uh, Where's R4? Nil Niffling, Niffling, Nil I mean, he Nilwing. can't auto-win with just with clicking the engine. He does not auto-win. Yeah, it's auto -win giving a lot anymore, of economy right? when he when it pops. And this might be a way to pop it earlier. And with less Ooh, investment. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, so it's Iron still year, year 34. Points. Okay, fleet power. Okay, unity was what we had last time. And then some tradition finishing. Not really very much uh, in the way of points though and i don't think gonna get many points they i, I think maybe he, he needs to pivot get it looks like his entire economy is collapsing though like he's unemployed well, have an unemployment on every planet but he's doing that on purpose yeah. everyone is purposely unemployed oh, because dark. they're producing unity and research mm -hmm. oh there pops another rebellion oh that and again all of almost so, all of so his this stuff is went. Part, this oh is my god that is, that is so many is that I, yeah, but this that's is far I'm wondering, is it a, an exploit that he's like forcing them to spawn zero fleet power ships? What we might have to do, so right now, no. What we might do is yeah. we might ban empty ships. Yeah. They might have to be, at, you know, we might have to, we might have it to might ban It might not be relevant ships. next patch because I think this is the last patch we're going to see Crisis Rush. Yeah, because now, uh, in the next one, if you remember from the patch notes, they're moving it to the fourth Ascension perk from the third, yeah, which is a quite a big change. change. Yeah, change. like that that means that year 50 probably is the minimum before you can take it. You're 45 to 50, even with an, a set of Unity Rush. Look, by the way, Sven the Dug is ready right away. He's claiming and attacking. So he's trying to get there faster than uh, Fire Kaiser. And almost succeeding. It All Sven like has to do is take the, the planets. System. Fire Kaiser shouting, yeah. wait, wait. <laughs> so the fact that people know about his strategy is backfiring now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. were waiting yeah. for him to do this and just harvest him. Oh, you, you've had a rebellion <laughs> and you've got no planets. That's a shame for you. Sure, That's a shame. Be a shame wow, if we can claim planets. AIs. Uh, he decked, he decked, oh, he decked on him. You decked on him. Uh, Bean Lord has declared war on. Bean Lord's declared war on the Montu Hive. No, no, Bean Lord's at war with the Montu Hive. I am too weak is not at the war with Bean Lord. They can't declare war on each other anyway. They have a truce until. Uh... Oh no! Until December. Who's got the bigger fleet? I am too weak does have the bigger fleet. In six months, Sven, uh, uh, Fire Guys declare war on Spend the Duck. Forcing his fleet to go air uh, missing in action as well. Have we got any galactic walls breaking out now at this point? Jojo's defending against Least Fire. Cyrax defending against. Okay. Cyrax. Yep, yep, yep. Singularity is attacking Cyrax, but Mr. Barbe is guaranteeing the independence of Cyrax. Not sure what Mr. Barbe can but do. But he's too far Wait, away. How, how, how are they guaranteeing on that big of a distance? Yeah, that's not. Do they have uh, wormholes? Wormholes or. I actually don't know. I think that guarantee might be a rule break. Just double checking the rules. We did also include guarantees right I'm pretty in sure there. we did. Double check though. <laughs> I mean, mi uh, Mr. Barb's fleets aren't there. So from that point of view, I guess it doesn't necessarily yeah. matter massively. It matters for war exhaustion though. Yes, yes it does. Just to be sure, there's like there's no wormholes around Mr. Bob, is there? I don't see any. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I'll I'll go ask them. Oh, these watsits look so tasty, but I just can't eat them without making like such a loud like. I'm so I have to mute myself. Unless everyone wants to have an ASMR <laughs> watsit eating stream. That would be an interesting idea indeed, though. You should do it. You know, just like uh, record yourself. Eating. I thought the hot tub meta was what I need to do next, right? That's what you're telling me. 
Uh, I, should be a, I should be a lizard in a hot tub. Mm-hmm. Just, just you know, show some skin, you know. I'm already showing skin. Look at my head; it's very shiny and head-like. Um, so packs at the moment: two sixty alloys, hundred twenty-eight uh, in terms of uh, nav cap usage. I'm guessing, yeah, they're all we've got here. A bunch of uh, cruisers, a mix of torpedoes and laser. That's quite a powerful design, actually. Unless he comes up torpedo against torpedo and laser defense. with what? Torpedo mixed with... So the laser is going to actually be really good. Laser does extra hull and extra armor damage. Um, though it is... Why not it missiles, will... though, do just in case against so PD? the missiles would help against PD, but people don't generally run PD, do they? I, see, yeah, I think I guess he's so they assuming don't. that he won't come up against too much PD, is the assumption. Two lasers are better compared to missiles, DPS-wise. Well, except for the minus 50% versus shields. If, you, if the enemy has lots of shields... It's going to be a bit tough to chew through. Though yeah, they have but lots I mean, shields, no, nobody armor, runs shields, torpedoes. right? Well, they do run... No. Yeah, you're right. I mean, they don't run that many shields. Uh... I mean, I... it's it's hard to say. Hello, yeah. <laughs> How's to it say. going? My microphone away. Oh, yeah. I talked to the players. Uh, they're getting a 10% point penalty, but uh, Cyrix just surrendered to Singularity anyway. Oh, wait. Both players or just Mr. Barb? Um, I mean, they both made an illegal in the, uh, guaranteed independence. Oh, because you have to now agree to the guarantee, don't you? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, and, gotcha. And they guaranteed each other. Oh. Oh, in that case, sure, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, should we check the galaxy? Would you check the galaxy for any other illegal guarantees we're now with? Just so we're not being silly and not noticing. That actually puts Singularity at the top of points now. Three wars won and a vassalized first blood, 25 points. Singularity is now ahead of Washing and Sven the Duck. Sven the Duck has won five wars, crikey, but no first bloods, annoyingly. Then easy way to see all packs is in contacts, maybe? Yeah, you can go to contacts and then as long as uh, you. On relations. Hmm? What? And relations, sorry? Uh, on relations, so top left, right? Uh, top left. Uh... Next to the status, Empire you effects, you're going to see relations. Status, you mean, right? Mm -hmm. Status, right? It like, tells you where the guarantees are. Mm -hmm. Relations is like plus plus minus how much they are. It, it, okay. yeah, it, yeah, it it shows all of the packs. Like whether what yeah, under have. status, not under relations. Relations yeah, yeah. is yeah, the yeah. number. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, but, but I think you have to go through the players to check it, though. Yeah, I'll go through everyone. I can't remember. What the what the symbol looks like for guarantee all of a sudden? I, I'm drawing a blank. I swear it looks a bit like the it's truce a symbol. Flag, or something? yeah. It's the weird it flag. Isn't that the truce symbol? The... I'm honestly having a brain fart moment. It's similar. It's similar. Yeah. Uh, Pax doesn't have any. Comrades in the chat. Hello, point. comrade truck. How can we get you to join one of these games? Are you still playing Stellaris? How you doing? It's been a while. Yeah, comrades are saying leaving Progenitor Hive alone for some time. What could have gone wrong? Yeah, Pax is now. Uh, Pax and JoJo are the biggest empires in the galaxy economically. They are just churning out both research and alloys. Uh, pretty much the biggest military, pretty much the biggest economy. I mean, main thing is the fact that they're not fighting each other. Well, I mean, that makes sense, but, you know. Well, uh, they're Pax just not could... being pressured. There's no point in fighting yet. You don't want to make the other one a vassal because they're too dangerous to be left alive, would be my comment, I suspect. Meaning that, well, <laughs> yeah. you probably want to full annex them. You can't full annex them until year 50, so just build up for year 50, and then one of them is going to punch the other one in the face. Pretty darn hard. Thund is lagging... Yeah, I like that strategy. Ah. Oh, it's a lovely day outside. Um, I can see it through the window. So, let's see. Pax is at war with washing. Wait, what? Pax has gone to war with washing. 
Oh, he wants the mega structure. Pax has gone to war with Washington Makes for sense. a tributary, and I assume has claimed the yeah, and has claimed the mega structure. Probably a little late on this one though. Maybe Pax could have done this a couple of years earlier, and that way he had a chance of completing the yeah. war before year forty. Yeah, he has. He has Which, two years. Two years to rush this before. I don't think two years. I mean, Washington be just like called the war. Yeah, yeah it's I mean, even even enough. if there was no fighting and you just tried to fly your fleet to the Avim system to fight there to take it. That would take almost a year or two. Just that movement across the space. And Pax has to yeah. beat all the star bases, beat any fleets Washing has, and then on top of that, invade some planets to be able to force the surrender. Yeah, pretty much. We have Singularity attacking Oregano. Washington Divix does not have is a fortress. A... Divix oh. is uh, attacking uh, the, the Manchu Hive. I think Firekai's are messed up and he's just the rebellions are just getting eaten now. He can't defend them. Yeah, this the, this uh yeah, Firekai's is lost, I think. Yeah, his tactic backfired big time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you should rename him Backfire Kaiser. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh yeah, Backfire Kaiser indeed. Bandit of Deception subscribe at tier 1. They subscribe for 5 months. Wow. I think that makes you our longest subscriber ever. Awesome. Michael Alexander is saying fired Kaiser, which I think is good. Mm. Oh. Da, da, da. Rule break, I think I'm paying 45% tax to a corpse, says Sequoia. Ah, okay, so uh, Lease Fire made an, it had an issue. Lease Fire forgot to change their thing, so they had to release them. Uh, oppressive isn't banned only if he's. Is, is he's he a, a megacorp. megacorp. Yeah, he's a megacorp. Oh, the issue is it oh. auto set to oppressive and he never holy crap on a cracker. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we can't pick. We've um we've hit what our sub Twitch we've hit our subscriber goal on oh. Twitch um just a little bit. Um so we've Oh we've we've Band of Deception has just gifted oh. twenty subscribers, amazing, and iFix has just gifted five more, giving us a further twenty five dollars into the um into the into the Kajiga. So the People's Champion Award is now fifty-five dollars. That is higher than first place. Oh no, sorry, no, no, higher than fifth place. That's fifty. It's not so higher than first you, place. Have, have you finished your first glass of wine then? No, and not started quite. the I'm second. I'm halfway through it. So we're closing in on the poll, it seems. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I guess. The, I'm, I'm mentioning this because these donations are very relevant for the poll we'll be making soon. Oh, they are, are they? Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Well, oh, so, uh, um, speaking of wars, Singularity is at war and Divix at a war. Is there any other new wars? Who's Singularity Fire at, war is... at war with Oregano. Uh, Oregano. I've never heard. Of, there's no player called that in the game. There's Oregano right over there, though. There's none of this Oregano nonsense. <laughs> Um, but again, sorry, massive thank you to iFix and Bandit of Deception. Um, thank you for increasing the size of the People's Champion Award. Your generosity is amazing. Thank you also for supporting this channel and supporting this tournament. Pax is winning the war with washing quite comfortably. The washing's... What's that? A subspace anomaly? How annoying. Yeah, washing's definitely going to be able to score these points um, before the end of the round. There's nothing Pax can do about it. Where's washing's fleet? Where are they? I think it's gone. It got destroyed. No, it's in Pax's space. Okay. Oh wait, what? It's 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 in Pax's capital. He's bombing oh, Pax's capital. <laughs> oh. <Huh>. Okay. <laughs> Problem is, Pax is getting massive reductions oh, to at war exhaustion. These two are never going to stop fighting. 
the reason yeah. why his ships are there, of course, is because he has catapult? a quantum catapult. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, completely yeah, 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 the yeah. Structure. It's not just a point the, stick. The gimmick. The gimmick of the origin. Right, right. You you bait them into your core sector. You, you launch into their core sector and force usually short destruction. I mean, he's on the capital. Does he have enough armies to take out the capital? If you can take out the, the Forge World, that would have been... No, uh, let's look at how many armies it's... that capital has. That capital has basically just... It's got no Hunter Seeker drones, just capital bit stuff, and it's got that 1k garrison. Oh, wait, yeah, Progenitor. Ah, uh, ah. Uh... No, it's not just progenitor. No, 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 no. It's I remember I told you earlier. It's also guardian cluster because these are fanatic guardian oh, yeah, armies. That's... They're oh. basically war forms. Each one of them has a hundred army strength. They basically deal. They have five hundred health, five hundred morale. They deal six to twelve points of damage per go. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, it's not happening. You can devastate it though. Compare that to like. Let's look at. Let's that's look it. at Divix, right? Let's look at Divix. Compare that to Divix's armies, which deal two to four points of damage per go. Um, yeah, like another player without okay, these. Bonuses. I understand now. I see that. Unfortunate. I, I mean, Washing's play was good, but it's it's like you're against a Guardian cluster. Telding has just Telding has just uh, donated five Denver. more subs as well. I, we, uh, amazing. I need to update the goal. We're now at $60. We're $20 away from being better, the People's Champion Award being better than fourth place, uh, which uh, pretty wild. Last time, I can't remember exactly what it got to. It was 200 and something, but it was better than second place. It was wild. Can you yeah. launch those armies? No, you can't launch defensive armies into space. Uh, Michael Alexander is asking a petition to shrink the font a tiny bit. Yeah, would you put a poll up if you've got a chance um, on Twitch and YouTube? Uh, shrink, shrink the goal font. Yes, no. Yes, no, and make it bigger should be the three options, I think. Give it, I don't know, 10 minutes or something. Um, I just put uh, it back. Sure, I'll do it. Give me Pax coming home. Did Pax, is Pax on the way home? Uh-oh. Pax has brought, brought back 20k to deal with Washing's rebellious nature. And has left behind 10k. Yeah, Washing can't uh, out. Yeah, Washing's trying to run away, but yeah. those 10 Corvettes are not going to be enough to deal with five cruisers. Though the five cruisers aren't amazing. Um, I guess the mixture here as well really helps when fighting with Corvettes. The small lasers do have quite high, do have quite high at tracking, so they are going yeah, to negate the evasion. Get squashed yeah, very even badly. if you run Corvettes this this way, you Ouch. can actually squash them. Yeah. Let's see. Level yeah, six the across the board. Out. Fanatic Cyberfile, welcome to. Uh, thank you for the tier one subscription. Very much appreciated. Let's see. Where are we? Where, what's. Uh, ah! Lequer is clearly a vassal of anger. Yeah. Yeah. A protectorate. Hold up. Uh, can they be a protectorate? Who? Lequer is a protectorate. I'm guessing it's just because they're too weak. So they uh, check that they're they're probably a tribute. They're still paying tribute taxes. But because they're so weak, they became a uh, protectorate. Yeah, they are paying tribute taxes. This is a tribute that then became a protectorate. I didn't think you could go from tribute yes. to protectorate. You do. Uh, the... The deal doesn't change, so you still have the tribute deal, but you still, but you get the bonuses of being a protectorate. That must be very good for research. Oh yeah, look how little his text costs right now. 500, <laughs> 800, what on earth? It's an 80% discount if your overlord have the tech. Oh, Telding just gifted five more subscribers. Wait a moment, wait a moment. 
that means uh the the, the one two what Oh, why does the sub point goal say that? That's weird. And Dank Bloke just subscribed with Prime. Thank you very much. Uh, apparently, we've just we just hit a level six hype train, ladies and gentlemen. Choo choo. That one's fine. Leafy has started his second war, I think. Let's He's going to war with R again. Yes, where are Least Fire's fleets though? They are in or oh, they're on Ars Capital. Oh Le Least Fire, look at the war type Least Fire is using. That might be interesting. Oh, I see. Well, 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 Least Fire. Least Fire's blown He's up the galaxy twice in. before. And it looks like Least Fire wants can to do it. Can he do it again? again? Yes. Can can Least Fire oh, do okay. it again? Um he just that was a surrender. Well, yeah, R wanted yeah, to oh, just okay. not die, I guess. Giving Least Fire even more I mean... menace. Ooh. And the issue is, as long as Least Fire stays at war for the rest of the game, his his vessels can't rebel, and they get dragged into the wars. <laughs> oh, God. The bastard plan, it's it's beginning now. It's, it's, it's beginning now. We just hit another goal as well with the Twitch. Um... Telding, thank you very much for your gifted subs, as I, as I mentioned before. Uh, oh, Telding Potato Shack joined the subs. Sick Covenant. What? 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 They became allies? They can't do that. Impossible. Shoot them or, or something. Um, it hasn't trained. They haven't got up to the trade policy yet. That's going to take a while. So the main reason why the Sacred Covenants, what? They've changed to a trade megacorp. Wait, what? Now called Sacred Covenant, but okay. it's a trade league. So the main issue is the trade league policy you get instantly, so you get that extra access to the the consumer goods and the uh, the unity. But the Sacred Covenant does take you like 20, 30 years to build up to it because you need the XP. I guess they gave up on it. It's it. They said, okay, it's not happening. Let's just let's just go trade league. Still, the, the washing, the, uh, what the is it? The president's clearly vassal? having some sort of withdrawal. Ooh, the president of is shaking. Uh, Grishan's president is there, like, going, <laughs> basically, what's going on over there? Um, it's a great federation, great federation. Um, come get some of the trade. It's all good. Good trade. Uh, no withdrawal. All good. The withdrawal's been ironed out. Should we take out, check I'm out BTS Green? Could you check if I'm lagging? Uh, anger's lagging, you? according to me. Maybe I shouldn't be sharing with... Could you be sh sharing with Strat instead, Manju? Yeah, yeah. Just in case it's internet connection related. Is it? Strat, you don't need more than 720, do you? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's well, you're harsh. not streaming, are you? So you can make do with that, right? Uh, yeah, I am not. Um, all right. So, first off, somebody wanted me to check the policy stuff. Uh, plus thirty percent. No, that's fine. Yeah, clearly, at least I did change it. How much is Washing giving out, uh, giving two packs right now? I mean, he's a machine. He should be a lot of resources. More specifically, oh, energy. Rough. 213 energy. 135 minerals. Damn. Holy crap. 15 food. That's pretty good. Holy moly. Um. Well. That's, if I was washing, I'd have to be made he, into a Scalarian. He Scalarium. did get the year 40 scoring before... Uh, before oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Before, though. But it didn't... Oh it wasn't that we enough. We looked at the year 40 controlled space and controlled mega structure. Yes, let's look at the year 40 source. So... Yeah. Washing here got controlled space, controlled megastructure again. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but nothing else. Nothing else at all. Um, economic and fleet power, he already had from previous. Pax, on the other hand, has picked up loads of Diplo weight. More tech power. I think some fleet power as well. Uh, also winning the war, putting Pax into second place. Slightly behind first place right now, which is Singularity in the western side of the galaxy. He was the first ever to vassalize anyone and has passed some galactic resolutions. 
fourth place right now is Anger, 25 points. Um, Anger is uh, the overlord of uh, Laquer. Uh, let's see. Only completed one tradition. Holy moly. Yeah, only enmity has been done. And supremacy. Wait, He's what? He's dipping everything. Is enmity still not giving points? That is strange. No, it is giving points. Because Pax... Oh, I'm looking at Pax. Uh -huh. I'm not looking at the right person. Wait. Okay. Only finished Discovery. Okay, no, that's correct. Points. Yeah, it's fine. I was looking at the wrong person. I had the wrong point of view. That's my bad. That's my bad, everyone. My bad. Um, end of the Montu Hive. Rut row. Again? I know Fire Kaiser has managed to actually oh, he, keep uh, some of it. Yeah, he got back his territory. And is still causing revolts. I don't like Fire Kaiser is high enough now, honestly, that he doesn't really need the revolt. Level five is good enough. Once you get his to level eco, five. Though. His eco is exactly in, in it's a burning diabolical. State. And that's because everything but, is but unemployed. Mention. If oh he my hits, god. If he hits five ten uh, K minutes before Leash Fire does Leashfire will lose at least 25% points. Yeah. I mean, that's one thing, but, like, uh, can he have... Does Firecaster even have a chance to, like, finish the engine here? His eco is so bad! Yeah, yeah, but the, the way we do the point penalty now is just that the first player to unlock the engine doesn't get minus 100%, or doesn't get minus points. If you're the second to unlock the engine, you still get minus 25% points. Hmm. Uh, Michael, Michael Alexander is trying to convince me to click the government tab, check something. Bad, Michael. Bad, Michael. Don't, don't do it. Don't make me do it. Yeah, Manchu would only fall for that if he'd started the second glass of wine, right, Manchu? And I, I, I started I've that. only just finished the. Oh. I'm only just finishing the first. Ugh. Lee's fire has got a volatile moat shortage. Lessons the past is going right now. Ah, ooh, interesting. That's quite a nice healthy benefit to get, actually. Plus 20% to society research. It's a shame it's society, the worst of all the research options, but, you know, it is what it is. The High Shield, Minister of Defense, Head of Research, First Citadel, and, interestingly, Least Fire's gone back to having a Minister of State. Earlier, Least Fire got rid of the Minister of State, but clearly has gone back to it for the Diplo points because Diplo points are worth points oh, in the game. Oh, he wants to win then. Yeah. yeah. Sovereign Guardianship actually gives you a 20% increase to Diplo score. What the heck? I always forget. I forget that's part of its bonuses. Yeah, yeah. 20% extra Diplo weight. What the heck? <laughs> Why does it have all these bonuses? Yeah. It's crazy. I have no idea. It's just an overpowered Civic. Paired with unyielding, your defense armies now produce, um, what, a soldier makes, what, three defensive defense armies, right? So paired with unyielding... Uh, I think four. Is four, it four? Right? Yeah, three or four, isn't it? People have wanted Chol to be good for a long while, and this is making Chol good. I, uh, <laughs> okay. Is it, does it, though? Because, well, okay, you're limited on the number of planets you've got, sure. Um... Yeah, and you know what I've been thinking about? Sovereign Guardianship are you, are you Virtual. Brewing? Sovereign Guardianship Virtual. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and then creating vassals, being being, uh, being a being a uh, individualist machine, creating virtual vassals that have, like, two planets or one planet apiece and putting them on maximum oh. tax on Grand Admiral. Okay, now that sounds funny. Yeah, that sounds like money. Oh. That sounds like all the money in the universe. And then Cosmogenesis, so we can play as a fallen empire. It'd be beautiful. I don't know what this game is anymore. Galactic doorstep <laughs> is meta. Uh, tall is better than wide. Food, food, food is more. Is food better is than good. Minerals. <laughs> this isn't the game I signed up for. <laughs> Where are the tiles? I want the tiles now! Oh, who died now? Hierarchy of Bish. More AI? M maybe more, more AI? Maybe? 
No clue. Yeah, it was a, the rebellion in Fire Kaiser space. Oh. He's now at 6k menace. Okay. He is attempting to do the special project there, I'm assuming. Yeah, he's what four months away from completing the special Ooh. project. At I mean, the point, interesting part is... Well, he's about to get 50% extra weapons If he reaches level damage. 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he reaches for level 5, he also gets all techs, which is going to be so nice. Because he can just pick and choose, finally. But his ego is still crap, though. No one is attacking him, really. Not even not even Sven the Duck is bothering. <laughs> I... Oh, because he now counts as a worse? genocidal empire. No, but then it's you can no still problem. declare regular oh. wars. You can still, yeah, you can just play conquer, humiliate, plunder. That's all fine. And Him it and looks... uh, Divix and Firecast is the same color. Is that Venom? Yes, because vassals, right? Divix is a vassal of Firekai's. A fire kite. No. Wait, what? No, no, no. fire, fire is a vassal is a tribute of divots. Oh. <laughs> oh, the other way around. I see. I mean, can, can, he, can he still do rebellions then? Not in the same way. Does, doesn't he like auto rebel when he goes level 5? No, what will happen now is I think I'm pretty sure that if the rebellion happens, the planets will automatically be full claimed by Divix, I think. He's about to lose his empire, I think. Uh, no, but also, oh, technically under the rules, um, we, we define it's a scorched earth to force rebellions while you're a vassal. You should let him know. I'll just double check what we wrote in the rules. Rules are a fun thing, guys. Mm. <laughs> so you're not allowed to ruin your empire by destroying buildings to your starbase, activate a negative planet decision or abandoning colonies out of spite. You can replace buildings. Um, but now, Richard, you can move off. Let's just see... Pretty sure we hadn't had something about not ruining your empire when you were a vessel. I'm not sure we did because I've always said that poor we can't like make poor play against the rules yeah. because that doesn't make that ha if a player is simply bad at playing and yeah. their economy implodes, we can't make that a rule breaking offense. It wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, so like this is actually like what he's doing is hurting his overall. I'm guessing because it is making his economy worse, so he's giving less of a tribute, but it's not. Against the Something like, taxes. he's not intentionally ruining his empire. Eighty-six energy, thirty-eight minerals. This yeah. is and eighteen food. This is nothing. Fire Kaiser is basically not giving any tax. Yeah, and that's the point. Like because he's in doing these rebellions, like he would be producing more if he wasn't doing this strategy. But again, it's part of his strategy. He's not doing it to intentionally ruin his empire. So I'd say it's okay. It doesn't count as Scorch Earth in this particular um, instance, I would Let's say. check the poll results. I forgot to look at the Twitch poll results. The Twitch poll ended, and bigger one was 67% on Twitch, and it's winning with 40% on YouTube, thus meaning the font is getting bigger. -er. You, you brought this on yourself, you guys. Speaking of polls, Manchu, have you started your second glass of wine yet? No, no, I haven't. Give me a minute. Um, I'm going to do the, the other thing. Wait, let's look at the galaxy. I want to see if this. I want to see what. I want to see what happens here with this revolt as well, uh, because this is going to be important for whether or not Fire Kaiser is a, a powerful player or a gone player. Five planets out. Fire Kaiser has one claim. No, 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 no. The Overlord has one claim as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fire Kaiser doesn't have enough claims, I don't think. I think I think the Overlord is going to get these planets. And look oh, wait, who's what? there I, to I, help. I, I, I was looking at something else for a bit, and then, and then I, look, I look back at Fire Sven Kaiser. Sven the Duck is here and everything? ready. Oh my God. Sven the Duck is here yeah. and ready to try and take stuff what again. What the hell? Is he gonna lose the game right here? <laughs> oh my goodness! Like I, I think there's like oh he, my god, uh, Fire Kaiser has enough menace. I don't know why he's not just trying to declare war on other people now, building up his own fleet and rather yeah. than just like this nonsense. Yeah, right now he's gonna lose everything to <laughs> Sven the Duck, and yeah, he's gonna get knocked out of the game. He has to, he needs to recover these planets because well, if not, Anchor is attacking Sven the Duck in the rear though. Uh. Divix, Divix declared war on. Wait, what? Uh, no, yeah, spend the duck here. Divix is probably just a, yeah. anger and 
Oh, no, I was looking at the wrong wall screen. No, they're not at war. Oh, oh, that's a shame. So, Sven the Duck tried to move through Fire Kaiser's space, so Fire Kaiser forced the fleets to alter retreat, I think, by closing borders. Quick, that's uh, look, look at Oregano space. So, Singularity is, is occupying Oregano, but Pax has 40k in the systems as well. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, no, my, he is pulling back now. Mm. I was wondering if he was going to backstab Singularity, but it doesn't look like it. He's pulling back now. I mean, they're not ally allied. That doesn't count as a backstab. I think it's a sneak attack, if anything. Sneak attack. True. Ah, oh, damn it. So, sorry for making you look. Seems like there's not going to be action anyway. <laughs> uh, currently, it's you lagging a bit, Yerm, but no, you're better now. It's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll not look at fleets, apparently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have to go into hardcore tech support mode in the coming weeks to find out what's wrong with my connection or PC. Right, I'm just gonna make some things a bit bigger. Give me a second, chat. Let's let's fiddle around a bit. <laughs> Cause chat demanded bigger, and thus the the indigening will begin. The bloat. I think Satana might be getting ready to do something about Least Fire. For, because, like, Least Fire still only has the one ship. And while his mineral economy is good, he's not making a lot of alloys and his research is still pretty bad. I think he might get knocked out by Satana if he doesn't get an ally. You want it bigger? You got it. Just gonna pause for a second. Angus saying Lequa is breaking some rules. I'm just gonna go check. Alrighty. Yeah, the beginning is complete. Ah, oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Biggering your factories and biggering your roads, and then they just went on biggering some more. I I read the Lorax. The, the font is large enough to cause blunt force trauma in my eyes, says Michael Alexander. Good, good. Mm. Embiggen is a perfectly cromulent word, says uh, R8WH. Yeah, yeah, quite. Mm. I wonder what the rule breakers. What do you think it is, Strat? Hmm? I don't know. Uh, I honestly don't know. <laughs> A few coins, toss a few coins to your Montu. Uh, a few coins for another drink. Uh, in that case, you know, I will refill my wine glass because it is uh, pretty much empty. Oh, that I have returned. Drink. You're on your second drink, you said? I am on my second drink. Okay, chat, chat. This is the moment I've been waiting for. So, mm -hmm. before I put up the poll, Montu, do you want to tell the people what you were doing yesterday? Well, I did. Oh, I went to see the football, which everyone knows. Um, and then after oh, that, oh, and, the, and after football, what the? Where, where did he go? I went to a nice pub. Um, actually, it was quite nice. Did, yeah. uh, did that pub have any time of uh, entertainment? They did. They did actually. It was like a, an audience interaction entertainment. Um, oh, what yeah, kind yeah. of audience interaction? Uh, karaoke. Oh, so you're saying you sang karaoke yesterday? I, I didn't actually say that, but yes, I did sing karaoke. Did you sing anything in particular? Um, yeah, I did. I've even, I think I've actually somebody recorded me. Let me uh, let me find if I've got a recording. Uh, I don't want to play. So, it right uh, so if get, Chad hasn't guessed yet, what we're going towards now is uh, we're going to make a poll in a moment about reaching a certain goal. And if Chad wants it, uh, maybe we maybe we'll have Munch do something he did yesterday. Potato left it's the up federation. Up to Chad, of course. Oh, they now have a truce. Um, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Um, 
there was the goal they had to reach beating the last time or beating first place. I think just I th no I think just uh, I think it not being last time beating second place is good okay. enough. Because we're currently at 66. That's like 120 bucks more that they'd have to do to beat second place. Because second place is 180. Second place is higher than last time. Everyone wants to know what the rule break was as well. What was the rule break, Jan? What was the potential rule break? Um, it was because uh, Lacroix was sending a, a deal to change their vassal agreement to anger without asking. It only mm. cost Anger uh, 50 influence, so he was okay with it and said he didn't think he needed a point penalty. Okay. Um, have you seen how many uh, Unity uh, Singularity is making? 45. Two traditions done, and he's like, yeah, I'm done. 45. Time to Prosperity go Prosperity and supremacy. That's that's all you need, you know? Yeah. That's all you need. Mastery of nature and imperial prerogative. Imperial prerogative really helps reducing the empire size from colonies as a robot, because you obviously get plus 50% just for existing. Yeah, it's nullified it. It wasn't just karaoke, was it? There was a um, there was a specific song you wanted me to sing, wasn't there, Yern? Yeah, but I couldn't fit fit it in. It's limited text. You didn't need the word on stream. You, you could have dropped on stream, right? Though I guess I might have argued, but yeah. I would have tried to argue my way around that by going, "Ah, oh, well, I am singing." Afterwards, I've gone home to sing. <laughs> So, uh, chat, you, you get to decide. You, you do have to beat second place, mind you, so we're not quite there yet. But now you guys have some extra incentive. Well, that, because, that means I can so choose a song. you want to share what the song was, Well, no, you. I could choose a song. I can choose a song. Last night, I sang My Way by Frank Sinatra. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that. I could do a different one. Um, could do something like from the two, something poppy from the 2010s. I'm guessing we could have a second poll for that if we reach that oh, point. Oh gosh, we could, we could. I could, I could offer a few options. I'm a little teapot, short and stout, says Woodman. See, yeah, that was it. You got me. I was there singing teapot, 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 teapot. Well, with that distraction out of the way, let's get back to the action. How's Anger doing? Anger is still fighting Sven, defending against Sven, but... Well, actually, I thought... Yeah. Sven Sven's attacked on... Anger. That seems like a mistake. Well, I... I... Sven can't even get no, there. Because Anger's in a defensive... Yeah, because Anger's in a defensive war now, he can claim Sven's systems. Yeah, but Anger can... Sven can claim them in three years anyway. And Anger... True. Anger has a bigger fleet, actually, doesn't, doesn't he? Oh. Yeah, he has Sven's a fleet is nothing. Fleet compared to Angus. Maybe the war is technically against the vassal. No, it's against the overlord, but maybe he's only agreed to take the vassal space. We have rules about surrendering on behalf of your vassals, don't we? Oof. We have our first 100k, by the way. Oh, Guess wow. Who? Pax with a 100k fleet. Yeah, that's uh, that's um, that's something. What we've got, I'm guessing cru all these cruisers. Upgrading. Pax is upgrading now to a new design, which is... Better armor? Maybe? I don't know. There's more chance to hit? What? Why has Pax got three auxiliary fire controls when the accuracy is already at 90%? It, it counteracts evasion, I guess. No, it I mean, doesn't. No, nope. nope. the third one, it does, any it does. point of accuracy over 100% no, no, does no, no, nothing. No, 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 no. I've tested chance it hit. multiple times. No, no, Chance to hit adds to accuracy. What? Accuracy maxes out at 100. If you are at 100% accuracy, no, any sure it's increase, different. I've it's tested different, it multiple times. I promise you. What I've even hell? got videos showing it off. And they haven't changed it. Maybe you're crazy. Maybe, maybe you're not. crazy, no, man. Maybe hit. you're crazy. So the way chance to hit works is that you the game rolls a die, or rolls a random number, um, and then depending on that value, it then sees if it hits. Then after it hits... The game then rolls for the evasion of the ship based on its evasion score. If it evades, th and, and then the evasion is obviously minus the tracking. So first, you can you can have 100% accuracy, meaning you don't miss, but the other ship could still evade. So it doesn't improve the tracking. Because it's two separate rolls. Oh, yeah, no, I agree, I agree. It's, it's not tracking. I meant like it, it actually adds, what is it, the chance after everything is calculated. Like it's it's... Pretty sure that's how it works. 
No, because you can't get better than it's 100% like a completely accuracy. separate thing. You can only have... You can't get... So, you can't get a better than no, a no, 100% No, no, it's not accuracy. No, no, no. It doesn't add accuracy. It's like... What is it? What is it? Like, you you, you have like 50% so, 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 chance so, to so, miss. No, because of evasion? So, because... so, when... The way the shooting works, the, the, the game randomly gets a... Num rolls a number to see if you hit. The chance of hitting is based on I guess it really accuracy. depends on what equation the game actually uses. So, no, I'm, I'm, t I'm trying to tell you. So when it rolls its chance to hit, that's based on the accuracy. If you're at 100% accuracy, you will never miss. So if you add chance to hit on top of that, yes, you have higher than 100% accuracy. You still are never missing. But then the game rolls the evasion check after that. It's two separate rolls. If we get a combat, I can show you because it actually outlines it in the combat as actually, well. Actually, no, no, it's... I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, accuracy is is wacko, but like, I'm pretty sure chance to hit is not accuracy. It's it's completely different. It's like adds the after everything is calculated, it actually adds to the chance like the, the the chance to hit. Chance to hit is like weird number, basically after everything is calculated. But it can't. You can calculated. never have a higher chance than 100, percent can you? For anything. No, no, ever. it's not accuracy, Montu. No, no, it's I'm not, not saying it's, it's accuracy. I'm saying not... you can't have a higher chance to hit than 100%, can you? Yes, that, yes, correct. So you're saying, uh, yes, you're, you can have a... I guess if you No, have... but the way that random numbers are rolled, it's physically impossible mm -hmm. in any game to have a chance higher than 100% in any computer-based yes, system. Yes, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. So... I meant, like, if, if you have, like, 50% chance to miss, even if you have 100% accuracy... You have fifty percent chance to miss because of high evasion. No, no, like plus no, fifteen. No, that, no, that's not how it works because it rolls two separate rolls. It rolls for accuracy to hit, and then it rolls the evasion check. It's two separate calculations. Isn't it like uh, accuracy? Uh, what is it? Accuracy, tracking, and then evasion calculated, and then no, chance to hit after. No, it's not simultaneous. It's not simultaneous. Like the third. There's two separate. Ca so at first it rolls chance to hit, and it sees if it hits. Then it rolls the evasion. To see if the other ship evaded, the evasion takes away the tracking from that. So it's two separate rolls, and I, I've tested it in game with a variety of different setups. And that to chance to hit? That way. I'm pretty sure chance to hit is like a third, like third stage, right? Chance to hit and accuracy are the same thing. There's a third stage. I, I don't know how many more times I can no, tell it's you. Not. It's I'm the same sure thing. It's not. I, it's we'll check it in game. Different. We'll check it I in swear. game when we find a fight. But like I've tested it multiple times. I've got video evidence of it. Um, it's the same thing. Look, okay. Well, all I'm saying is either one of us is crazy. It's you. Or, it's you. Or like, I'm just telling you for a back is, is You're wrong. You're just no, wrong no, 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 no. It's you. It's you. No, no, no. <laughs> I swear I'm not crazy. Right. I'm not Whoever crazy. Is wrong I'm not here, crazy. I swear. Whoever is wrong here must make a public YouTube apology video. How's that sound? I think that's a good fact, no, 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 right? No, 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 no. We, we have, whoever is wrong okay. of the two of us has to make a video saying, I was wrong. Bro. And then we talk about it. Yeah? What if you're wrong, though, you know? Then you I will know, make a public apology wrong? video how, and I will how, say, that... I'm sorry that Strat made me say something wrong. You know, I'll, I'll, a proper YouTuber oh. apology. I'm sorry that other people's feelings <laughs> were hurt. You know, something like that. Um, it'll be beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you know, agree? That would be funny. Whoever is wrong has to make a public my apology video. Unfortunately, my upload speed is so bad that that would actually be just a yeah, you'll, a you'll, like, you'll release your video sometime next and year. Then. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I don't mind that. Exactly. I'll just I'll never upload it. That's that's the strat, you know. Chat, uh, David Woman C is saying create a deathmatch when. <clears throat> um, <laughs> so, strat, do I have to challenge you to a one on one? Is that what I'm hearing? Is that is that is that one what I'm hearing? One v one mod when? Does the one v one mod actually work? Uh, currently, it's not working, but I know that Zepnar is working on making it work again. We could always Are just play sure? a one v one. Sure, why not? Right? We could play a one v one in the regular galaxy. When was the last time you did multiplayer? Uh, like last month. <laughs> we can do it, I guess. Sure, why not? I think that needs a rehost, maybe. Oh. Is Num Truth a really bad desync, or did he yeah, just yeah. desync too many times? Oh, yeah, host's gone. No, it's a bad desync. That's a bad desync. Num, tr Num Truth's a very bad desync. You host. All right, That's all right. fine. Um, have you heard, Yeah, One of us might have to make a public apology video. I figured I was actually what? about to say during your discussion, like one of you would, one of you are going to have a really good video taunting the other. <laughs> I'll release a video. Strat yeah, was wrong. In Stellaris, the... did you know? <laughs> did you know in Stellaris, Strat Man, was wrong? That would suck. 
<laughs> Next noob deathmatch, Munchu vs. Strat. The accuracy battle. I'll exactly. go talk to the players, I'll let you know when the lobby is back up. As a scientist, I can tell you it's important to be both accurate and reliable. In this case, Strat, you are neither accurate nor reliable. That's a sick burn, Bro, I tell we're you. We're talking about chance to hit here, you know? You know? I think you're inaccurate and wrong. Yeah. <laughs> inaccurate and wrong. <laughs> and you suck. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That too. Man, Stop, I can't wait for your thumbnail should button. read Strat fell off. Did you know Strat is wrong in Stellaris? <laughs> That's gonna be the opening. Yeah. Did yeah, you yeah, know yeah. in Stellaris, Strat is wrong. Trust nothing. The He's lobby's a liar. back up, Munchu. Same I'm, I'm already hot choice. Uh, shouldn't so I be? Am I, am I not? Am I not? Hot? I see you requesting hot join. Do you not see me? I'm not the host. Oh well. Would you ask the host if they see me? And as long as it's saying waiting for hosting player, then you should. The be fine. resync button coming in the waiting. next patch is gonna be so good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I should have added that for so long. Oh, yeah. I think they've been working on it for a while. It's just it's not made it into the release build until now. Uh, Geisterfuch says, don't rely on this strat. <laughs> 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 a seal named strat hides white lies behind those blemp smiles. Yeah, you know it. You know it. Right. So the poll has ended. If people's champion beats second place, I have to sing karaoke on stream. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. yep, 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 yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. Reasonable. Um. Doesn't say today though. Good point. It does not say today. So you know, a stream. No, that that'd be bad faith, wouldn't it? Eighty-four percent on YouTube and eighty-eight percent on Twitch. It was very much voted yes on. According to the devs, they've been working on the resync button since resync's button. According to the devs, they've been working on the resync button since patch 3.6. Very true. It's kind of weird how well, Slash makes a lot of balance long. tweaks. Yeah, well, you know, then they That's fired fantastic. the dev team up north, and then they brought in external help. Maybe things have been slowed down because of that. Who knows? Uh, but yeah. no, no, sorry, I've been. Yeah, it, maybe. No changes. Uh, it, that didn't make anything worse. I, I, I'm being silly. Um, anywho. Hola, freelan hola, freelancer. Um, hola, even. Uh, what's happening? We are having a quick rehost. We're just before year 50. It's going good, though. It's going good. Uh, yeah. How are you doing, Strat? Uh, I'm doing fine. Although I'm not... Strat that just fell off earlier, um, and he was very wrong live on air, so, you know. If you're watching wow. as a deader and you're not watching live, please put a comment in below to, to let Strat know how wrong he is. We've not checked yet, but I'm just, I, I just know he's wrong, you know, I, I know. And if I'm wrong, I will no, 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 be no, no, issuing no, no. a public apology video. I'm not crazy. I am not crazy. You are crazy. All crazy right. and Look, in my defense, I am not crazy. No, 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 no. If it's actually proven that is I'm everyone crazy, in game? I, I, I would actually just be in a metal ward. So, uh, should we, what, should, should uh, you guys, uh, did, did you come to any consensus while I was gone? On what? Do we know how the game works? I know accuracy? how the game works, and I've said it a few times. Strat is disputing it, but he has no proof. There is no proof. Look at the wiki, man. <laughs> look at the wiki. I will look at the wiki. I've also tested it in the actual game. Right, Stellaris wiki accuracy. Right. Look at how chance to hit works. No, 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 chance to hit. It's not accuracy, want to. I am going crazy. Accuracy tracking and evade. Actual chance to hit equals the maximum of zero to accuracy minus the maximum of zero to evasion okay, okay, minus okay. tracking plus chance <laughs> to hit the bonus. Now. The issue with that equation is um, it doesn't help if your chance to hit goes uh, goes above. The chance to hit is a, a, a completely separate thing. One sec. Uh, this is just wrong. Well. I've actually tested this repeatedly in game. This is inaccurate. The wiki is wrong. I'm sorry, the wiki is wrong. I've literally got a video where I have tested it and shown off the test. Right, I'm going to find a link to this goddamn video. God damn it. Damn it, Strat. Let, nice. let, let's get back, let's get back maybe to the tournament. Sven the Duck is fighting a fight. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. moving on back to this video. Let me just yeah. We're going crazy with this crap, uh, man. Accuracy. Holy crap. Accuracy. 
me see. Stellaris accuracy versus tracking explained. Here is a shareable link. Somebody go and quickly watch that and tell me if I'm right or wrong. Go on. So uh, this is the video from like years ago. This video is from maybe it's changed. 16th of June 2021. There is no way it's changed. No way. It's been three years. No, they <laughs> but they didn't change. This is a base fundamental system in the game. They've not changed base systems. Really? No, mm. this kind of a system hasn't changed because this is just a cat. This is like how they are performing a calculation. Mm. Yearn is lagging massively. Yearn, I think you maybe need to. Yeah. Okay. We well, uh, let's see how. I'll just drop out as. Yeah, I think you need to drop out as observer. Sorry. Yeah. Maybe you can rejoin a bit later. No, but I have been having weird lag this game. I'll just go tell Mr. about. Anyone else struggling to see the goals? Why are they too big? Or are they not big enough, Morven? I guess we're all watching Munch's point of view now. I have the power. I guess so. All right, uh, Jerry, yeah, let, let, let's pressure probably, him to do a um, lot of things. You could make sure that people can get your assistance as well. Uh, feel free to stay out and hang out here. Oh, but they, like, they, they know that. Oh, they already know. They're already fine. Okay. Even with energy shortage, yeah. Oregano says they're on 400 tech. 407. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Energy what is that, and Nico? food shortages. Holy Ouch. moly. Minus 50% brain drone What's output happening? and minus 0 0.5 researchers from brain drone. What? What's bro cooking? Yeah, so 2.4 tech per brain drone. There's just so many of them. Ouch. Oof. Oof, nasty. Ooh. Okay. Ouch. All right. Well, um, what is it? We're one month away Powers. from people being able to claim, claim uh, every system. And then the war, the real oh, war again. I reckon Pax and Jojo are going to go to each other's throats at that point. Jojo has a third of the fleet, though. And Jojo don't, doesn't, I don't think, have any alliances. No, no friends. Nope. No friends at all. How does he create Wait, all his fleet? Mr. Barbe is a tributary under Jojo. Wait, what? Okay. This is what happens when you guys discuss mechanics. You don't notice the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, true. Gary Swift just uh, gifted. Can you, can you switch to what is it? Does, how close is Fire Kaiser to going through the engine? Pretty close. I, I'm pretty sure it's pretty close, right? He's pretty close. Pretty yeah. Close, pretty close. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that answers your question. How close though? How close? Oh, very close. Re so close. I can't even believe how close. Uh, but also, uh, Gary Swift, thank you very much for your five gifts. That does also increase the increase the the prize pool uh, to $71. Alrighty, so you want to check out Fire Kaiser then, do you? Fire Kaiser is a 7k menace. Least Fire, on the other hand, okay. is at 3k. Oh my god, he's racing the... Mm -hmm. Fire Kaiser is going to get there first. I think Fire Kaiser should really focus on building up fleets and attacking players now. Like if Fire Kaiser can fall out. Yeah, he minerals now, finally. Yeah, 111 minerals yeah, per month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not bad, but then again, it's still terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming he's going for menacing destroyers. He's not designed any ships yet, though. Huh. He has no weapon stacks. Oh my god. He wants level to hit one level weapons. 5, and then he gets all the weapons techs. Yeah, he needs to get there, though. Mm. He's researching tearing ah, the fabric just... right now. Re rebellion again? No, oh, no. Oh, Sven wait, the Duck just Why stole is... everything. Oh, I see. Ooh. But Sven the Duck's dying. Fire Kaiser can probably build up yeah. and then punch Sven the Duck in the face and take everything back. Yeah, that also Sven gives him lots of points no as well. As well so. <laughs> yeah. Points and menace? Well, that's a deal. That's a steal. So my chat is saying that whilst I am right, Strat should be right. And I assume you by that they exactly. mean that like, that's the way it that is should so work. And I'm literally going, I've tested it. This is the way it does work. Um, which, and I'm no, not no, saying no, which no, way no, it no, should I'm be. Crazy. I'm saying which way it is. That's all I'm saying is which way it is. You know? Look, man, all I'm saying is that, oh, we that's, got loads of wars. that's three Whoa. years ago. Potato yeah. has just gone to war with Singularity. Potato is now at war with Oregano and Singularity. What are the claims? This is a, an aggression war. Claims on 
claims basically have lots of claims here on on, on oregano so singularity uh, sorry potato shagger is currently going for taking parts of oregano the vassal singularity can't surrender this war of course because of the rules but singularity probably doesn't give a crap yeah take it whatever it's probably singularity's feeling jojo is currently at war with pax i knew it i knew it oh. pax's fleets are coming in does Sergio have PD? If he has PD, we're can gonna see just well, like take a look smother soon. the living hell out of Pax. Pax, of course, has this mana war class with the uh, with, with with the ships it's got. Jojo, on the other hand, he has any PD? Just any PD? No. Tarp carrier? Nope. Oh no, he's gonna get destroyed. He's gonna and get he doesn't have a lot of shields. He only had one shield module, so oh. that all laser is gonna hurt. Oh my god, he's gonna get stack wiped. Oh. Actual stack wipe. Oh. oh no. He has, if he has at least like Tarp carrier or something weird. It, it would actually work. He Neither player is him. attempting to kill the other. No. Both are sat there facing Too off against scared, each other. Yes. They don't have faith. They don't have faith. Or maybe Pax just trying to get his armies close. Probably what's going to happen. What's actually Pax happening. recruited the admirals much earlier, making them so much better. Pax's admirals are two levels above. Um, which is like... Yeah. The, the Pax... Uh, Pax seems to be the better Hive player now than Jojo, which is a terrifying thing to say out loud. Um, oh, good lord. I think it's a matter of who plays the most currently. Jojo isn't playing as often as Pax is. Sure. No, sure. But yes, sure. Pax yeah. is the scary matter of practice. Player. And as always, we're seeing Pax's economy is just... It looks like it's about to collapse at any moment, right? But it doesn't. Always. It is collapsing. No, this is. It's, I suspect what he does is he sells some alloys and some exotic gases mm -hmm. every now and then, um, just for and then buys minerals. No. And... It's all ending. In, yeah. No. In look, the past, alloys sold, minerals what, bought, food bought. Yeah. In the past, what could happen here is that if Washington rebelled against Pax right now, it would be a very big problem for Pax. But he can't. If he already rebelled. Troops. He is rebelling. What do you mean? Oh, he is rebelling. Oh, yes. He is rebelling. Yes, he rebelling. is rebelling. Oh. There is a secessionist <laughs> war. The secessionist war has just started. Pax is fighting on two fronts now, both against Jojo and against the vassal. In this case, <laughs> it may have been better for Pax to not vassalize uh, washing and just take the systems, thus preventing the future war to happen. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, of course, because washing is a tribute, he doesn't get dragged into the one, doesn't get the truce. That's why he could yeah. do it. Yes, yeah, that's exactly. That's the difference yeah, yeah, between yeah. a tribute and a vassal. And that's why, well, also, no, it's still defensive. You can, because of the way the rules are, unless you go for oppressive subjugation policy, I almost click government. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have, my, I have my cursor holy, on it. Did you see holy. that? Oh, I, I saw that. I saw that. You, you. It was almost a disaster. Oh, I almost did it again. I. I oh, I almost did it again. I, no, 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 no. I'm to. taking my hand off. So there's something wrong it. with you. I'm not touching it. I've, I've, I've put my hand away from the mouse. I'm just going to use the keyboard. Just using the keyboard and the, the scroll wheel. The whispers of temptation. It's all right. I'll, I'll use the, the keyboard and the scroll. I won't move the mouse at all. We'll just click. Strong. I'm surprised <laughs> the galaxy's not forming up against packs to fight them. Um. What's Least Fire doing? Least Fire is currently fighting a bunch of defensive a... wars. Independence war against R, uh, fighting a quick war against Cyrax, and also fighting against Washing as well. No, Sequoia. Sequoia, sorry. Hmm. Where are the fleets? The, the fleets Korea are home, though. a bigger fleet than, uh, than um, Least Fire at one point, but he lost all his ships. I don't know if he lost them to Least Fire or what happened. Oh, Least yeah. Fire is going to go energy deficit. He, he does. He needs to sell minerals. Oh my god. The fact that he's... Pax he is pulling back everything. a little bit, I think, to deal with the rebellion. Maybe. I mean... Can he can he pull back easily? Jojo is going to... Oh no, he's pressure, trying to convince though. Jojo yeah, he's, to he's come going forward. Back, he's going back. Oh, oh yeah. Nebula, what a faint. Nebula, Nebula. What a lovely little faint that was. Oh. <laughs> and Jojo's running Jojo's away. Always Mind game. Good at this. Oh, yeah. Jojo has a really good fleet management usually. Yeah. He's very good at dancing fleets back and forth. And half his territory is covered in nebulas, making it really hard to fight. Fire Kaiser there. is still making more vassals. Why, Fire Kaiser? Why? How close is to 10k? He's gonna lose. Oh, he's gonna 7K. lose the planet. No, he's no. not in that near. Uh, he's losing, he's losing though. He's losing the rebellion. Yeah. Unfortunately, oh, the rebellion oh, wait, do actual, actually have oh. ships. It, it are no armies? It should be fine. They've got should frigates. Be. The frigates have proper weapons. 
Uh oh. oh he no. forgot to design his frigates. No, no. Oh no, he did design his frigates. The even. frigates have. Frigates have better weapons. It's technically tier three. Well, I mean, against cool vats, they're gonna suck. The missile, the, the torpedoes suck against vats. Like, it's not gonna be too much of a problem. Ooh. Oh no, he's got menacing cruisers though. Oh wait, what? Oh. Yes, cruisers. Oh, oh yeah, two oh, menacing cruisers. They're he's just gonna, gonna get... die to forty. Cool no, oh, he's gonna get stacked. Oh, yeah, this is like... unfortunate. Blam, 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 they're gone. Whoop. Yeah, yeah, blam, blam, both oh, gone. Oh, oh. Died. Just completely just deleted. They just died. Eek, Barbadook. Well, it looks like that's not going well. How's Pax doing? Uh, Pax seems to be pushing yeah, the attack. He's going to go for it. And now we can finally look at how the game works for accuracy and tracking. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, Mato. I'm you're, you're crazy. Okay, I, I still believe it. Even if there's evidence in front of my face, there, I will just so, say you are crazy. This should this should max out at a hundred percent hits, right? Is my saying, and you're saying it should be able to hit one hundred and five percent of the time. No, no, it, it it only does that if it's uh fighting high evasion ships. If it's uh low evasion ships, it doesn't do anything correct. I agree with that. But against like corvettes, it's different. Like, uh, it, it suffers less from aphasia. How basically. convenient for you. Th so that's looking exactly at this what I was saying. Hit ratio. Beginning. Evaded by enemy and missed. Two separate rolls. Do you see that? Two separate, indivisible rolls. Mm. First, it has a chance to hit or not. And see? Zero, zero misses. Evaded by enemy, 1%. Missed, 0%. On the other side, we've got evaded by enemy, 0%, blah, blah, exactly. What's the hit chance of uh, torpedoes? Wait, what? Do they have Pax has got a dragon. Hmm? I I'm sorry. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even notice that. He got the it, void spawn. He's got the void spawn. It, it, it's that's why his number's so back. big. Is he reanimated? What the hell? He changed the void spawn. He This is why you guys oh. don't debate oh. accuracy, you guys. You're missing that, that a dragon. Oh, stop oh. it. Okay, Stop maybe it. we should. Okay, well, we, we just should. I don't even know. I didn't even see that. We didn't see it. We didn't see that happen. Jojo, He's had the dragon okay, for a yeah, bit, says Mr. Clean. Jojo, Jojo lost, lost too much, too many fleets here, and the, the, the dragon is just there. Okay, well. That is a yep. pretty model. What the heck's it shooting? Trash. That looks like it's shooting garbage. Our scientists can make no sense of these. Our scientists can make no sense of these. Our scientists... Let me just... Hmm. Right. Large rail gun... Uh... Why does it still say our scientists can make no sense <laughs> Wait, of these? Wait, that's the actual, the actual name. That's the name that's now? That's the actual name? The what? actual <laughs> in-game name is our scientists can make no sense of these. Oh Kinetic spaceborne weaponry. Uh, and dragon scale so armor. Yeah. A bio drive. Yeah, cool. <laughs> um... Hmm. Okay. So Jojo, uh, Jojo might be in trouble. Is Jojo bunkering up his planets? Oh wait, he's guardianship, right? Oh yeah, it's not gonna be that easy. Actually. Is Jojo doing what? Sorry, buggering up his planets? Did you say? Gu guardianship, guardianship. Bunkering. Oh, bunkering. Good. I was gonna say because okay, I, just saying. a little, little bit of a bunkering. Yeah, the capital Trisolaris is uh, doing pretty good, I suppose. Uh, he does yeah. not have uh, shields though. No, oh, yeah. no. So I'm just gonna wreck him. Cyber Junior, thank you very much for the take a one. subscription. We have a pause. Can you see why we paused? Divix crashed, disconnected. Ah. Uh, okay. We're now at seventy-two dollars, thanks to the generosity of Cyber Juniad. It sounded like buggering to me, says Woodman. So yes, that would be a swear word, and we try not to swear on these streams, even though I've said it three times. Oops. Um, uh, no more. No more. The line must be drawn here, this far, no further. Why Singularity keep shouting Pedro? I don't get it. What, what, what is that about? Oh, uh, he said the meme uh, before about mm -hmm. Doomsday. Yeah, uh, with the meme saying Pedro, Pedro. I think that's literally the context. That's literally Washing it. is taking Pax's capital systems, though. With, like, a teeny tiny fleet. He's, He's trying to. Driving. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, he's, he's trying, but he doesn't have the army. Wait a minute, the waste reprocessing the center zillions. just gives tech drone jobs. Hmm? Are you kidding me? They've nerfed waste reprocessing. Look at this. It just gives two tech drones. Yeah. It used to give proper well, did, did a it, new job. Did, did it used to... Really? Yeah, I'm I pretty sure, that. didn't it? Didn't it give it its own job? It gives you ah. some energy and some mineral income, but I thought it used to give like a, a waste reprocessor job that was better. I don't recall, honestly. It's the building I never see. Or never use, more specifically. Oh, it's his theme song, says Joshua. He linked a 10-hour repeat of it in Discord. I imagine him jamming to it as he wars. Pedro, 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 Pedro. <laughs> oh, Lord. Which fed? Yeah, Divix wanted to leave the game. I think that's why he disconnected. Did I he told him he had to, to come leave? back. Oh, he's gone! Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, he's only got one planet left. Oh, that's reasonable. Bro. Unfortunate. To be fair. Is it okay if he leaves? Yeah, with one planet, I don't think. He's no one's overlord. He's got one tiny planet with. Let's check how many pops are on it. 19 pops. I think 19. it's reasonable if he leaves. Like, he can't do anything. Okay, I'll go chill him. Yeah, that's fine. What happened? How did he get murdered so bad? Uh, Satana Wait, still has murderized. Allies from what? Satana murderized. I, I see. Ouch. I wonder what the count. Oh, I can't click council agenda. Can't click council oh. agenda. Oh, you almost. You almost clicked. Oh my god. The disaster almost happened. Wait. Satana has 500 pops. Oh my god, you should click on him. Satana has 500 right now. Top, top. Is, is top eco. Oh my god. Yo! 500 pops. Damn. He just ate another robot, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. He just did. That just doubles the economy. Good lord. Good lord. Economy and empire size. Yeah, but you can you can kind of take the empire size. As long as you're going to get more t tech income, it should be okay. Should be. Still, though, his scaling is going to be horrifying now. This is... I, I don't actually know which is the scariest player right now in the galaxy. It, it could be a lot. Uh, a honestly, lot of players. I, yeah. Like, if you get, look at the pops, uh, pop count of uh, Pax, Pax has a, a cute 200 pops. Just, uh, 200? Look at this guy, man. Potato Stun has 254. Oh, is he? Oh, interesting. And Potato has not, interestingly, has gone for the Cybernetic Ascension and finished it, but has not taken... Um, Minus 50% empire size why? from planets, which I'm surprised by. What is a bit crazy, right, is what is how, how big, how low the yeah. empire size can be. So Pax here, oh, not Pax. Potato has 179 empire Potato size. Shagget. Guardian yeah, Cluster because, and Subsumed uh, Will is minus 70%. Yes, he he's suffering no uh, empire size penalty at all from Bob's. Literally nothing. Yeah. Army damage penalty. Whoa, a fanatic I guardian. Army damage penalty due to Empire Sprawl minus 7.9%. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Oh, the, wait, what? Yeah, okay, so I didn't know the, that uh, Your armies get worse yeah. the bigger you are. I actually didn't notice that. Weird. That is a uh, part of the Civic. Huh. Okay. I'm being asked to check out, check out an Econ Strat. I will... It's just Pedro, Pedro for 10 hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't uh, actually. Uh, I will post that for everyone who want to see what the Pedro video is. I'm glad I didn't actually click on it uh, or I muted it first. Otherwise, I would have been demonetized on YouTube. You would have ruined me. Ruined me, I say. More than three seconds? Copyright claim. It's more than like yeah. a second. I I'm sorry. All your money is mine now, please. <laughs> Oregano says, I request financial aid in terms of food and minerals, for I am poor and in need. Yeah. Yeah, that checks out. What's the Senate voting on? They're I'm, I'm sure he's going to get it. People here are so nice, right? 
So many people are not voting on the Galactic Council. I don't get why not. People really should pay more attention to this stuff. We just if forget. You could give more Maybe points for it. I no, think no, it's because no, no. like the. Just, just, forget. Yeah. Like, it's because it's there's PvP, no. Yes. They're, they're not used to it. Oh yeah, that too. It's like muscle memory. I never touch galactic. Should we double the points? That's yeah. the, that's the passing, and, pa passing stuff in the council, and just everything can just double all the council-related points. Maybe Even not you doubling, give them points, but we should look at it. <laughs> people probably. just don't. People just don't remember. Also, how close is Fire Kaiser and Lease Fire to Crisis again? It should be pretty close, right? Like pretty damn close. Uh, Michael, uh, like how Menace close count. is Fire Kaiser to? Oh, to the menace. No, he's, he's still going to yeah, be a prices. little bit off. Yeah, he's still going to be quite a bit off, actually. And we know that because... Ah, did he just get vassalized? Oh. It, 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 it. Protector under brain damage hive. Yeah. Anger became the overlord over daddy. Ooh. Okay. Singularity says, I send you financial fire. aid. But Singularity can't send financial aid. Because Singularity is the overlord. No, wait, what? Huh? Yeah, no, no, yeah, Singularity's the Overlord. You yeah, can't send financial aid. Yeah. Ah, oh, Potato is getting really feisty here. Rip Oregano. Maybe we could give a point to people From that Kansas voted Bridge. in, like, the people, if, if a resolution passes and you vote in favor of it, maybe you should get a point. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Everyone's going to vote in favor in everything. Alternatively, you could do something like uh, passing a resolution you uh, proposed gives five points, but losing it loses you a point. Something like that. Huh. Forcing people to interact that way. And not just propose random stuff. What? I don't know. what We'll, we'll find out. Well, I'm we'll sure we can do something chitty, chitty, to chat, force chat. The, the, the nasty PvP is to be diplomatic. Use diplomacy, damn it. Use diplomacy. Did Pax lose a battle? Wasn't he at like 150k before? Uh, yeah, but that's mm. when he's in his own space. Maybe. Sovereign Guardian should Maybe energy deficit? Bonuses uh, okay. to being in your own space, doesn't it? No, no, sorry. Not to the no, whole no. Uh, That's only if you have the, the oh. counselor, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. He, he does oh. probably have a small bonus in his own space because the special starbase building, though. Weird. How's Least Fire's points looking, by the way? The menace points, I I, I assume. Uh, well, currently yes. he's at zero, technically, but uh, 19 without the yeah. minus 100%. I meant like his, his, his menace count. What level is he? If he's Fnatic level Cyberfile, four, I will not be damn. checking his counselors or his agenda because then the game <laughs> crashes. Gosh darn it. Don't, don't make me do this. We're going to get another scoring round in three three, three years. At the moment, Singularity Wait, why is does first Pax place. have 13 over 5? Yo, what? yo, yo, what the hell? What? 13 out of 5 star base cap? On Pax? What? His energy. That's oh normal. My God. That's normal for Hyde because but you put yeah, down you put down the um the solar panels and the anchorages and you just go oh, I'll eat I it. know, but how much is yeah. his upkeep from star bases? Three hundred. Oh, that's it's a not lot. that much. That's a lot, man. It's not that much. That's a lot though. Given that every star base here is providing him with four naval cap. Oh, sorry, eight naval no. Twelve naval capacity. And then a further uh, let me check this. Uh, it's so much upkeep mod multiplication net, though on everything. Net, Ouch. it's like 12 energy. And each starbase costs in terms of energy 3 upkeep. So it is effective. It's making a net of... Tw mm. a net After the upkeep, it's make each starbase is making him a net of uh, 9 energy and 10 food. each of the And 12 naval capacity. Personally... But it's worth I th it. I think the, the main thing that makes me worth question it, it is, is like, if, if you, if you pay so much alloys to set set it up. Yeah, well, yeah, but it allows him I, to I have a bigger economy and a bigger fleet. A, lo a lot of them is because he took several systems from washing. Uh, ah. But he could dismantle those star bases. Ah. No, it was only, he only took the one washing system and? washing. Okay. Just that system, didn't he? I, yeah. I also Weird, took yeah, some below it, like the Jishul, but he actually only took two no, that was, that was He already had this stuff, I think, didn't he? This crap along here. You already scrapped everything, oh, maybe. Yeah. All of the... 
Uh, but like it, it, it's yeah. economically effective. It's it, clearly to build a star base everywhere. I mean, actually, um, Pax should probably keep building star bases until the point where they. No, start no, 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 no. It, it's, yeah. it's already barely breaking even right now. The, the main thing is you're converting uh, what is it? It's alloys into energy, right? But he need. What is it? Just, just he lower has your alloys. alloys. He does not just have a energy. Easy bit. He has alloys. He does not have yeah, energy. Just, 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 just stop making more alloys. That's enough. If, if he's trying to get, what is it? Make uh, his alloys make energy. Then I, I think that's just. That's that's heresy, Strat. You can Strat, never you have enough say alloys. Don't make less alloys. That's <laughs> like why, why don't you just why don't you just why don't you just t say don't 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 play to win. Be the next comment. Oh, honestly. Uh, yeah, exactly. I, I I'll actually just say that. You know. Next, Why you'll not? say it's, it's optimum to lose. Yes, it is. You can touch grass, finally. Holy crap, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Quarter Septic might need to be uh, a locked-in Civic. I, I kind of agree with that. Because Pax took it and now has dropped out of it again. Took it just to, you know, upgrade and then has thrown it away. He was the dragon and just switched out. No, no, no. You keep the dragon. Yeah. Keep the dragon. Uh, oh, you, you, lose, you, you lose the bonuses to it, though. Yeah, so, so it's, it's now 50% weaker. Uh -huh. yeah. That's probably why his, uh, oh, it's, his It used to be 80k, and now it's 50k. Yeah. Now, you should probably check Lee's Fire, by the way, since... Oh, he, Lee's Fire just murdered Sakuya. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, my. yeah, yeah, yeah. Took the homeworld, took it all. Yoink, yoink, yoink. What is his menace, by the way? Uh, his menace count should be pretty high right now. Like, 5k? 6k? 6k, yeah. 6k. And are they researching the final? Yeah, okay. 66 yeah. months. Mm. Is that increased by yeah. empire size penalty? It might be, actually. Ooh. I, Ooh. I, 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 I don't think so. It's 20k, it's round. Maybe. I think yeah, it's, no, you're it's right. just no, you're his right. tech being is. bad. His tech bad. Yeah, only 200 research. Maybe he didn't save up any research points. Yeah, no stored engineering research. Ooh. Ah, yeah, no Oof. stored. Oof. Oh, everyone's at war. Oof. There is not a single player oh, wait, in the what? galaxy not at war right at this moment. Every is single player Kaiser is at war. Doing some trolling? Is, is it Fire Kaiser popping crisis? The Republican no. Montu Nations. What, what is going on? Um, yeah, Fire Kaiser is now at war with Sven the Duck. Wait, what? No. Wait, Pax. what? He's, he got the engine. He got the engine. Maybe? He got the engine. Yes, he's got the engine. Yes, he's he did. He's now at war with the entire he galaxy. Did. So every, all the other wars basically have stopped. Ish. No, they haven't stopped, but now, now <laughs> there's no new wars that can happen because the entire galaxy is now at war with little old Fire Kaiser. Oh, little old me. But that also means <laughs> no matter what, no matter what Least Fire does, he's going to lose 25% points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he can't yeah. be the first to unlock the engine. Well, unless he triggers the engine, then, now he, is then he'll gain 75. Sure, he can blow up the galaxy, but he's not going to do that in time, is he? Uh, comrade Rogue Servitor. Mm. The 510 pops is two, one Rogue Servitor ate another Rogue Servitor. So of that, there are 250 robot pops, I think. Let me check, actually. Yeah. No. Four, 400, 450 <laughs> robots. robots. It's almost all robots, actually. Only 26. No, three, 300, 360, no. yeah. 207 Holy plus 125 Lord. plus 149. Oh, it's two different, sorry. I thought yeah, it was yeah, a it's two turbo different machine mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, oh, turbo machine. Ouch. It's a turbo machine. He, he has so much alloy production and energy production, he can actually feel like a... 1.5k <laughs> <laughs> tech, baby. holy moly. What just happened there? Uh, what is that? Total war from crisis war? That's rebellion. Oh, huh? No. No, it's a primitive, I think. What? A primitive going, uh, it, it ascended to... No, a primitive just got a FLH? robot uprising. Oh. <laughs> okay. And and became I see. a driven assimilator. Hmm. End of the F-tier origin. So I said it was F-tier, and the first empire to go is the F-tier origin. Not saying I called it, but I called it. GG. Everyone have to pay respects F. in chat. Have to pay those respects.
Wait, Fire Kaiser now finally, finally has all of the attacks. Woohoo! He's not gated with crap. <laughs> finally, he's Somebody free. help Singu so I don't die, says Oregano. I own the shroud, says Mr. Bob. Why is Mr. Bob saying I own the shroud? <laughs> Let's take a look. Uh, Sionic agenda? No, it does, has done the psionic contacts. I don't know. Oh, yes, he's being 500 allies for months. That's that's pretty good. But no Nilo cap, though. Unfortunate. Ah, uh, no shroud. Why no shroud? Where's shroud? I, I don't think he hasn't has even fully tried ascended to breach yet. the shroud. Yeah, no, no, no. It has fully ascended. Oh, oh five God. by five. It just hasn't bothered breaching. Weird. Um, so the main the main is, thing is going on right now shroud. is I am too weak is like on an expansion rampage. Is anyone actually yeah. going to bring I mean, fleets it, over it, to it, deal with them? They're making 300 minerals a month. It, 300 minerals. Oh, my God. He needs to, if, if he can actually snowball. Uh, Fire Kaiser can snowball right now because he's nobody's stopping him at all. Somebody so stop me. Anything he wants. Fire Kaiser is cooking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let him cook. He's cooking. Uh, Mr. Bob apparently might have double chosen. Let's see. What? Psychic. 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 Shroud touched logistician? What the heck? 15% mm. oh ship's God. weapons damage, I mean, but you also get 10% more empire size? Not. I mean, short term. That's not a problem for him, though. That's, that's kind of painful. Yeah. Ooh. What is it? What is it? Uh, Jerns? What? Like, Fire Kaiser's empire size isn't that big, though. No, good point. Actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, don't click government. Don't click government. Don't oh click government. my God. I was. <laughs> I was about to say. You almost clicked the funny button. So I am too weak really is very weak though. Only six. Is anyone even bothering trying to repeal the crisis or are they just going to try and kill him? <laughs> I don't think anybody cares. Oh, you... That's the... Uh. Yeah, they no do care cares. though because they can't go to war with each other. Yeah, they do care. Exactly. They're stuck now. No uh... one can fight. True. At least now well, they can just... they leave the Galaxy community, right? Uh, the Star Eaters are moving. <laughs> to oh, Sven the deck is getting blown up by Star Eaters. <laughs> Look at it. The Star Eaters, they're, they're, they're doing some trolling. It says 6.3k here, but of course, that does not take into account the two Star Eaters that are 30k a piece and pretty darn nasty. They are so yeah. tanky, too. Sven the duck is they're dying. They're hard to kill, but they're not that good at fighting. But yeah, Monty's retirement home was they, blown they up. He's 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 killing. Is that his capital? That was the capital. That, that was, was the capital, capital of Sven right? the Duck. I'll do it again. Yeah, no regrets. Dead. I'll do it again to send the duck in uh, writing it to the chat. <laughs> Buy a Kaiser's retirement home. So Sven the Duck now only has 62 pops. Oh my goodness. Ouch. He lost everything. They he's managed to grab one of the habitats, but it only has no, he's only actually got two pops. Uh, 39 bean lords. Rut row. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, and look what's just jumped into the system. Well, hello there. Hello. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Kaboom. Blam goes the star row. This we is need a uh, Rick the Cube the star eater skin. We do, actually. We do, we do we yeah. Do. That's... Uh... Dissidence is on the rise. Lord Prime Minister and Supreme Military Commander Jeremy Clarkson hear out the grievances. Yeah, Sven the Duck is not coming back from that one. That's Sven the Duck pretty much out of the game, probably. Fire Kaiser right now. Where is Fire Kaiser in terms of score, though? Oh, Lord. Oh, oh. It's, oh my God. Only 12. 12. Ouch. Mm. I don't think he's winning. Just. You can stop the game with the engine, but he's not winning. Should have kept the auto win, man. That would have been so funny. No, because you still need to play well. Why? Are Is you that insinuating that a tournament requires, to, it requires you to play well? What? What is this? Hmm. Uh, what else is there to talk about? I mean, he still has 500 minutes per month, right? Finally, his eco is pretty good. But, you know. Maybe Fire Kaiser doesn't actually want to kill that well, but like all his pops are dying. Yeah, and 
Full like, extermination. Wait, one more year? All pops. Yeah, I guess gone. Main thing is, the fact that there's a Star Eaters... The Star Eater is doing this is, I guess... A sign that he's not wanting to blow the planet up? Yeah. He should though, he but can't as long save as it. He's fight, as long as he's fighting those ships, he can't start the blowing up sequence, can he? Yeah, maybe he cancelled it though, to maybe save the pops, but he can't. Because... No armies, you know, he needs the armies. There's doesn't no have armies. any armies, yeah. No armies, yeah. Let's check out Pax. Anyone moving down to kill Fire Kaiser? I don't think so. Like, uh, Satana should probably do it. Oh, yeah, Satana's in his space now. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So Satana's decided, I've had enough of this crap. But all Fire Kaiser needs to do is blow up one of his own systems, and then he can kill all those fleets if he gets them in the same place. I, I think they get forced at my aid these days. I think we did a test recently. I don't believe the ships get killed by the um, Star Eater. They just echo MIA. Anger's lagging really bad. The game is slow to a crawl. Yeah, maybe he should uh, disconnect and reconnect. See if that w helps. It did, seem to, it did speed up now, didn't it? Yeah, we can't do someone with 500 pops. No. No, I'll throw him. I'll go ask him. Yeah, you got it? Cool. Can we see the Barb versus Singularity War? Uh, well, Barb's here with the Shroud Tunnel connecting there and does own it. Oh, that's why he's saying I own the Shroud because he has the Shroud Tunnels. Um, and Singularity's over here. Where's the house Barb getting there? Oh, a Shroud Tunnel mm. in, uh, in, in Cyrax's face. So Cyrax has brought Mr. Barb in to kill off his overlord. That is betrayal. That right there is deep betrayal. <laughs> And there's nothing that, uh, that that Singularity can do because he can't kill his vassal's fleet. He's rebelling. Oh, yeah, I think Fire Kaiser is gonna get assassinated here. He can't defend against those those many fleets. Oh, you're right. I mean, Five hundred pop man. Sarix is rebelling too. Yeah. They're, they're combining forces. The crisis. And between them, they probably have enough in the way of fleet power to deal with Singularity. True, yeah, but 66, I guess depends on designs 30, again. Five. What is Singularity running? I assume the generic design? Like the... Where's Mr. Barbe? Where's Mr. Barbe? Uh, there, 55. Yeah, between them, they have enough. between them, they have enough. Uh, this is all Corvettes, I think. Yeah. What is that? Corvettes. Black autocannon? Pla plasma? What, what the hell? What is that design? Okay, auto cannon plasma. I mean, auto cannon plasma, not really a bad design. It works. Just works. It's interesting to see how many different designs we get all of a sudden when we ban disruptors. Yeah, as soon as you actually <laughs> yeah. ban disruptors, you get some actual change to the design portfolios. Pax looks like they put down also the rebellion. Makes, uh, Corvette's less crap. They've reclaimed all their stuff. They're eating Jojo. Once Pax eats Jojo, though, that's going to be terrifying. At least Jojo has had enough time to convert all of uh, all of their planets to, um, to like full fortress worlds. So, from that perspective, yeah. there won't be as much of an instant oh economic my God. boost. Okay. Oh, and the capital has no pops left. Pax doesn't even want the pops. He's just killing Jojo for sport. Good lord. How many armies does he have right now existing on the capital? Not that many. Oh, it's fighting. Mm, yeah. Oof. It's just all assault armies now. Ouch. All that's alive are the soldiers. Sven the Duck is saying it was a good game. But, uh, and, and they'll do it again. Have you spoken to Anger? Did they disconnect and reconnect? Or no, they didn't. No, they're trying uh, to. They, I think, they think it's just gonna their local internet that's the issue. They're living in a apartment complex, apparently. Right. Um, 
I think I'll try and ask. Yeah, I'll try and ask him to restart his client, and then if it continues, we will have to kick him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's check as well. the podium positions first before we do that. Uh, oh, anger is third place right now. It's a bit of a shame. We have to kick third yeah. place. First place is currently Pax with 63, and Pax is dominating the... that You can see from the Observer score. Biggest fleet in the galaxy. Really much a massive economy. It's gotten a bit smaller, but it but it is pretty big. Interestingly, Mr. Barb is re Barbe is really up there with uh, with Unity Power, really? Oh, wow. 800, 800. Unity Power. 800? Oh, my. At year 60. That's, uh, mm. that's not Trade bad. from trade, yeah. How much trade does he have, actually? Like, total trade. trade. Sacred Covenant. Oh. Uh, no, it's, it's the, this is the no, trade No, it's, it's from fed. normal trade. That's from the trade lead fed, isn't yeah. it? I assume he's making, like, what, like, uh, 8k trade? Like that? that is a lot of unity. Yeah, so but, hopefully the reconnection will have Anger. It would be sad to have Anger leaving because he is one of the bigger third empires. Place. Yeah, yeah, and third place yeah. right now. Oh, Satana is the one with 500 pops. Ah. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Satana has 100k right now. He, he can actually contest. Technically, Yon, we still have time. Domination. We don't actually have to force Anger to leave just yet. We could keep them in no. it, let them keep playing for a little bit longer to see if it improves in the next, you know, few years of in-game time. Um, because yeah. we are ahead of time. Like, we're at year 60 and we have three hour, uh, two, hour, uh, two hours and 45 minutes left on the clock. So it's actually not... It's a, a, a bit annoying to have some lag, but it may improve given it's a local yeah. issue. I would prefer to do we that. We do also want some... Yeah. Yeah. It is a bit early to start lagging, though. Like, it tends to get worse over time. Well, as I was saying, not if it's like a local issue, though. I'm going to eat some Watsits. You guys chat for a minute. I want to I wanna have a little snickety snack. I'm muting myself. Yeah, it's, it's important for Munch to eat while drinking wine. Otherwise, he gets cranky. <laughs> hey, you take that back. You take that back right now, mister. So, uh, Strat, where do you think uh, the action is going to be for, like, the, the next face of the game. Like, right now, Pax is finishing off Jojo, he's finishing off Rebellion. Who do you think Pax mm. is going to be fighting next? Like, who are the next, main contenders uh, right now? But they, I think he's going to fight Potato Shaga, 100%. Potato Shaga is way too dangerous for Pax to just leave on his doorstep. Yeah. Plus, he's un in an alliance. Three-player alliance. He has to... He's probably going to have to deal with that after this. Yeah, now, Potato, the question is... What is a scary is player. Yeah. For sure. Now, what is Satana gonna do though? He has 500 pops. That is so much eco power. Y you know what, what I would have done if he, I was. Hmm? Oh. If you uh, click uh, go to his empire, Monchu, so we can see his empire. Yeah, I. I, I yeah, we, we talked about earlier doing. about whether going a materialist instead of spiritualist was his plan. I think. But he, he's that uh, person? I thought that's someone else, right? Yeah, that was someone else, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Oh, someone sure. on the left side of the galaxy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the guy below uh, Singularity, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was Cyrus. Ah. Yeah, try, try and check yeah, yeah, yeah. Cyrus' empire. Oh, yeah, we can't check it now, of course. Uh, but, but yes, we we should be checking uh, whether he went for Redentus Industrialist and then Psionic. Because I've, I've been told that is a strategy. That the way to get the absolute most out of your uh, your ally workers is being Relentless Industrialist with Telepath work as on the planet. Um, especially if you don't want to go as wide as you used to do in the past, then pub efficiency becomes more important. Well, the um, to jump back in... Uh, the, uh, everyone can hear me now, I think, because um, I've stopped eating. The um, the the psionic ascension is the most effective ascension. Now, it's not just those bonuses. There's also if you can get, if you can reform, if you can get a chosen one or reform as a chosen what chosen empire, you can get an additional. Yeah. 
bonus to the to the you get a, a bonus to the bonus that the um, the telepaths give. So you get okay. even more resources from telepaths uh, plus one percent additional uh, resource output per telepath per planet um, per, per level of the leader. So if you've got five telepaths at a level ten leader. That's all like level 10 equivalent with bonuses. So like level five leader plus five effective levels. That's an additional 50% output, I think. But it might only be yeah. an additional 5% uh, output. <laughs> yeah, it can be. No, the game is stuck. Well, the game is... Can we see who's lagging now? Everyone. Oh no. The curse of multiplayer stability is coming for us. Rethink button. Rethink button. Just <laughs> trade to our new god. No, but the rethink button wouldn't solve this problem. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. It wouldn't solve lag, that's for sure. The Divine Conduit Counselor job. Yes, that's exactly it. Also, it, the rethink button does not solve crashes. Only these things. Only these uh, things. I'll go ask Mr. Bob if you can see who's lagging. Yes, relentless industrialist. Relentless industrialist oh, yeah. Sonic. Oh, look at that. Mm. Chief Executive Officer, Head of Research, and Chief Catalyst. Minister of Defense, and that's it, I think. No, Stroud oh, also he's gone for the Stroud Walker teacher? Weird. That's usually quite a terrible one. I guess he just wants monthly unity, I don't know. Well, he wants it more than he clearly wants po uh, Senate points. I guess if you're getting minus 50% from being a subject, why happening. bother? Yeah, exactly, right? Like, the extra 20... You like, don't count. Unless you're in the top five, you don't get any points at all, so why not be a little lower? Yeah, pretty much. But least fire crashed? Oh, unfortunate. Least fire crashed? It, yeah, I mean, it looks like least fire has uh, some issues. He's got a complete gray screen, so he's trying to restart his uh, client. Gotcha. Told the place they could take a two minute bio break and then we'll go again. If it doesn't work with least fire, then um, then we'll rehost. Uh, re um, yeah. John I'll on Twitch says, there and... is no lag in desync, say. <laughs> <laughs> It's a sham. Lag? Never heard of her. Um. Oh. As we cope here. I don't think there is a fallen empire in this galaxy. Is there a fallen empire? I don't recall. I, I do not recall. No, no fallen yeah. empire. No fallen empire, I'm afraid. There's the. We have uh, marauders. The one system marauders. Yeah, one system marauders. Mr. Clean is asking an important question that we should discuss, Strat. If everyone in the room is psionic mm, and is laughing, that? is anyone making a sound? <laughs> that is indeed a question. That's that's one of the questions of all probably time. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Everyone's just psionically laughing? Depends on what counts as sound. Is it sound waves or Are the, washing the, the thought least fire of a sound? Are washing and least fire are not here. Washing oh. where's R? Did he crash to you? Unfortunate. R doesn't seem to be rejoining. He's here? Look, he's on the player list. Is he where? Oh yeah. Uh, scroll up. Yeah. I will uh <clears throat> just delete that comment. <laughs> Cancel the okay. chat message. The washing leash fire is coming back in now and then it's year sixty, so I'm guessing we should look at the scores. Oh we already did. We already did, didn't we? Oh, okay. You just press F1 to first open the, the menu. F2? 
F. No, 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 <laughs> Matu, shut up. Pax is in first place with 63. A lot of points for Fleet Power, a lot of points for Diplo Weight. Second place is Singularity with uh, yeah. 45. Oh Economic my god, we what? Rate. Damn, okay. Whoa, hold up. Least Fire is fighting against. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Least Fire is gonna get assassinated. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's losing. Is oh, this no. a rebellion Wait, on the defense or... platforms. That's a lot of defensive platforms. I'm not sure that R's got the forces to win this. Mm, I think R is gonna lose. Uh, yeah, he's gonna lose. Too much. So I've heard, Too I've much. heard a few players that Least Fire has been doing some research into making the optimal uh, star bases. Mm -hmm. Like the star bases that work the best for PvP. And apparently, part of it is also the order that you build this, the um, defense platforms in matters oh a lot. Order? Really? Oh, no. Yeah, that works. yeah because the, the order you build them in defines how close they spawn to the star base. Mm. So, if I recall correctly, you want to build the PD first. Yeah. Uh, and then he always builds one hangar um, and then uses the target uplink because that works as a pseudo FTL inhibitor. Because the range of the hangars becomes so long that whenever you move into the ship, uh, you're forced to engage the star base. Oh yeah, I, I remember that. Gotcha. I guess he hasn't done it here, but that that's well, he what I heard he usually did. To do it. Maybe. But apparently there's a, he's done a lot of theory crafting in how to make star bases good. So maybe you should uh, talk to him about that and make a video. Yeah, probably. Like, uh, how's this is more going? than just a number. Five Kaiser is losing. Hmm. Where's the star I mean, that? He's getting squashed by they, multiple Are they players. all right? Are they safe? They're in the capital. He's just going to go out and crack his own world. He's like, screw it. 600 minerals per month right now. <laughs> it's just uh, the mega structure economy. Yeah. His planets do nothing. Well, close to nothing. I don't know. They're I think he said, yes, yeah, it's probably... The capital is the biggest econ, like I think. It's, it's from mega structures, I think. Part of it is I think his build could have worked if he didn't get attacked and if Sven didn't interrupt him. But it still sort of worked. Like level five exactly. price before you're sixty is fast. I'm sorry. This fleet is. Didn't... What do you mean it could have worked? It's working. This fleet can take this other fleet on. He he can beat this. Oh yeah. Like that's fifty k. He's got ninety. Depends how many torpedoes they have. I don't think any. I think it's all cool. Like the, num the number on it's the side is uploaded for sure. It's all vets. Oh. It's all vets. Dude. It, it, these are dead. They're going to die. Uh, They're going to die. They're going to die. <laughs> They're going to die. This is it. This is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is how the galaxy dies because they assume that the player with all the robots can win. Why are we. Why are we st I'm st yeah, am I crashed out? Right now? I'm crashed out. Oh, crap. Oh, balls. No, uh, at the moment I've just—it's completely frozen. My game Maybe is frozen. It's just might be about. I think that's a decent. I think that's a decent. I think so as well. Yeah. Game over, man. Game mm. over. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, hi, Ag. It's uh, that's, that's, that's quite the point. That one's fine. Ah, Jojo. I need food. Also, vote against resolution. Go to supermarket. Says singularity. <laughs> <laughs> I need food. Go to the supermarket. Um, vote against declare crisis. Price of silence. Who the heck is price of silence? So declaring the crisis is really good as well. You get a minus ten percent ship up. Keep empire uh, galaxy wide. That's really good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wonder how many times it stacks. Oh no. Oh, oh, no, no. Is that a video idea, man? Yeah, you? I just had a video idea. <laughs> oh my god. Become Galactic Council. Declare entire community crisis. Laugh in minus 90% upkeep reduction and just never finish the war. Be like, yeah, 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 you're the crisis. Now shut up and give me my 90% reduction. Can there be more than one Galactic Crisis? Yes. Well, that's delightful. We currently have at least oh, one and they're god. voting on that. a second. You just, you can have more. You just keep getting another and another one and another one and another one. Very interesting. Why is he not attacking? Maybe he's doubting himself. I mean, I wouldn't really blame it him. It is some big numbers. The numbers are big and it's scary. I mean, to be big fair, number, these very ships scary. are crap against Corvettes. Large, medium and small lasers. You want all small if you could get it. To be fair, he has pickets, so I guess he might not care. 
No, but the um, the the larger ships, five percent accuracy. Even then, you're looking at what plus this, so that's fifteen. Uh, sorry, five percent tracking, fifteen, so twenty, and then forty percent tracking. And I'm assuming the opponent opposing fleet has like ninety percent, right? I, I assume they're near ninety percent already. Yeah, eighty percent evasion. Eighty. So the, the large would be missing thirty percent of the time. Oh, not missing. It would be evaded thirty percent of the time. To correct my language there. Uh, whereas the the small would never be evaded, so it would hit um, all the time. True. Then Laser. again, it, it it is still a lot oh, of. Oh, he's them. going. Oh, he's going. He's going in. I think I think he thinks he's winning. I mean, I think he is. Also I think he's, he's gonna, gonna win ish. ish. Look at the he's difference get, in hit he's points. He's gonna smother him. Smothered, just completely yeah. demolished. You thought we'd written off this crisis. This crisis is coming back with a vengeance. Good <laughs> lord! And look at the oh, empire. Oh, he, he got he got enigmatic. Wait, wait, he got enigmatic to, to guard all of his super techs, like his max level techs right now. Because he's crisis, he got all of the techs. What just happened? He's, he's just cooking. He's just cooking. I tried uh, to click the unity probably. button. I didn't click anything else. I don't think. Yeah. Right? That wasn't probably my fault, decent. was it? Nah. Probably not. I'll go check with Mr. Bobby. Oh, Angus desynced. Yeah. He, he picked enigmatic to... Let's do a rehost. Tech loss. Yeah. I'll drag everyone together. What? Yeah, flashing also desynced. Oof. To the menu! To the wall! To the swipe just down my menu. Anyway, um... Player. Lobby should be up in a moment. Here we go. Put in the password. The new lobby is up, Manchu. I know. Same I password. Joining. Good, good. I'm five steps ahead and only three behind. There's a hair in my wine. That's disturbing. You don't want that, do you? You don't want a hair in your wine. Um. How are we doing, chat? Yes, lobby simulator. I thought we wouldn't get one, says Michael Alexander. Yes, it's my favorite part of Solaris as well. I love lobby simulator. Monto is probably the tamest inebriated English person ever. Well, I'm not English. I'm Welsh Australian. So actually, I should be less less tame, to be fair, given given that uh, genetic heritage. Oh. My great grandfather, poor man, drank himself to death as well, you know, so I do have it in the blood. A hairy lizard says Morven Brown, well, you know. Oh, the lizards have hair. No, the worst bit is it, I, that's what you see. I, we don't have hair, so it's not my it's not my hair, you see. That's the problem here. Someone's come in and they put a hair in my wine. It's very rude. Hmm. Quinning Durr says, Hey Monty, just want to say I really appreciate all you do with Stellaris. It's great to have someone so dedicated to such a wonderful game. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying the stuff that we do. Don't, Strat's here as well. Thanks, Strat. Strat does a lot too. Sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry. I had to Hello. sneeze. Hi. From the background from Strat. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. Yes, I exist. Hello. So when are you making this apology video? Uh, never. Never. Ever. Never. But you're wrong. I am not right? crazy. I swear. No, no, I, I'm right. I think you need to prove you're right. Look, okay. Though. Think of all uh, the no. you'll lose no, 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 when you no, have no, the no. resync button. No more lobby simulator. Uh, lobby simulator. No, no, no. So I, I asked, any desyncs that re repeatedly happen due to a trigger mm -hmm. aren't solved because the desync itself isn't solved. It's just like you're yeah. resyncing the desync. So if it's a repeated, like if something triggers once a month or once a day to desync you, that's still a problem. But the random desyncs you get will be mm -hmm. less of an issue. The way I understood it was that any any resync or desync that could be fixed by doing a rehost was fixed by this. I yes. think it just skips the rehost part. Yeah. Well, that's what we hope anyway. Um, but, you know, there never we'll was much hope. Works. Only a fool's hope. Astral Plains moment. Well, hopefully they don't, like, 
outsource another DLC. Oh my lord. Um, I mean, they already broke like astral planes. Like the, the tam riffs are still screwed. Like are still really, really messy. When right game now. stable? When Ability game stable? Wise. Bring on never, Stellaris never. too. What do you mean? You're oh, having copium one too. I'm, 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 concern, I'm concerned. Of, if they do bring on a Stellaris two, I have concerns. Look what's happened to. Um, uh, City Skylines 2. City Skylines, There's now fewer yeah. players playing City Skylines yeah. 1 and 2 combined than there were playing City Skylines by itself a year ago. But like, there were five times as many players playing just City Skylines a year ago. Game released, player counts, tanked. Yeah, I know. It's like, I don't want that to happen to Solaris, you know? I have concerns. Right. Let's see the mm -hmm. fight. Let's see the fighting. Yeah, Solaris 2 needs like... What, Wait, Fire Kaiser lost the casual, capital! Like, development. Oh, wait, what? Look at this! Oh, no. No, no the just the star base. I mean, just the, planet, the star base. The planet, the planet is fine. The planet still has lots of armies. This is oh, Lequer. Lequer out of nowhere Can he save himself? In. Yes, yeah, he can save himself. Look, yeah, uh, the star one, jumped in. The one star, star jumped eater in. is going in to deal with this threat. I think that's two. I think that's two. Oh, that is two. Yeah, that, that is two. Is that all corvettes or is there any frigates? Destroyers. No frigates. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's it's. it's Who is just the prime no, miss, oh no no, there are some space torpedoes in there. There are there must oh, be some oh frigates, but they're barely doing enough damage. Look, they they the amount of this thing has a hundred and forty five thousand armor. Each torpedo volley kind of goes yeah. plink, and then they die. Plink, and then they look. They, they're all dead. They're all dead. Yeah. <laughs> they're so dead. They're there we go. so He's dead. Fine. He's fine. He's fine. If I were the galaxy, I'd be trying to repeal the crisis, not declare a new one. Um, <laughs> By the way, I've been jumping back and forth I'd be a voting. bit. I'd be voting. Did we mentioned yes, that JoJo died. Uh, no, we didn't oh, mention JoJo Jojo died. Completely oh, dead. Yeah. <laughs> He's dead. Whoa. Okay. And now Pax is still JoJo fighting. JoJo got murdered Washington. real bad. Oh, F Separus Pax to JoJo. He got murdered so bad that we forgot. Yeah. Why are we going slow? By the way. Cute war exhaustion says Singularity. I'm not a rogue servitor. I can purge your bio pops. Oh, good God. I'll go poke the hostess egg. Yeah, would you? Thanks. Oh, because anger's lagging. He's liking bad again, or oh. oh, that sucks. Uh, I basically said if it doesn't improve in five to ten minutes, we're gonna have to kick it. Yeah. So the game can finish. At the moment, it's. It's, it's fair. Yeah. He got a warning. Sven the Duck says, I can play as you, Anger. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't, would, I wouldn't be, um, would it be against the rules for Sven to rejoin his Anger and Anger tell Sven what to do? Uh, it would be messy. It would be messy, but would it be against the rules? Is that a viable option for Anger to keep playing? Because obviously Sven doesn't get any prize, it's all Anger's prize. Um... We have no rules against cooperative. Or like getting advice from people. I think it's a slippery slope to make new rules about doing a game. Oh, it's not a new rule. I'm saying there's no like rules banning it, yeah. is all I'm saying. Are there any rules yeah, preventing the, it? The, current, the, the like, rules for, so far has been like, if you lag, if it can't be fixed, you, you get kicked. 
absolutely my point was more that we don't have a rule against people joining yeah. as other on behalf of other people anger says huh and suppose he's like yeah yeah <laughs> Ain't no rule saying a dog can't play. Exactly, fanatic cyberphile. Exactly. Is Sven completely dead, by the way? No. No, Sven does have the, 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 yeah. the one system there. Uh, and technically also the the, the starbase, I think, or something. What's going on here? Maybe they have a, a, a habitat in here? Wait. I don't know. Oh, oh my god. A fleet, a fleet is, is incoming. That's Satana. Can he win? And Satana cannot win. No, no. This is all cool vets again, I think. Yeah. yeah. Vets again yeah. have thrown oh. themselves at the grindstone, and they're gonna get obliterated. <laughs> Just completely obliterated. I think they are uh, using nice in there because usually he plays uh, hit and run. Again, don't check the government tab, but. Uh... What? Check the. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Don't check. Don't check. Don't oh, check. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We should yeah, probably, he, he realized he's not winning. Point, uh, the point I was trying to make, and Zendikar has brought this up, is we should probably ban allowing people to the hot seat empires, because we don't currently have a rule against it. Yeah. We should probably add that in the fair play rules. Somebody else made the point that would that maybe not be king making? Yeah, possibly. Very possibly. To have another player play as another player. I think it's more a matter of it, it becomes messy. Like, someone oh, doesn't yeah. qualify all of a sudden. Do they want to take over someone oh, else's not, spot? Oh, get away, get yeah. away. Sorry, I almost clicked the council, open council position. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I, had to, I had to push my mouse away. Right, Pax is pushing up here. Hey, can Pax you click the government the tab? Yeah. No, yeah. don't, don't, don't remind me. Don't make me do it. <laughs> Who is Potato at war with? Potato is at war with, oh, wow. So Singularity's entire uh, I got here a full occupied. is gone, yeah. So Pax, no one's actually facing Pax yet. But they might do it soon. He's uncontested. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, the question is whether Potato and Pax have made a like pseudo truce. So far, the lag is somewhat improved. We've done two years in the last five minutes. Yeah. This is always a balancing act with lag in multiplayer game because it would suck to kick the third place. It no, really absolutely. Would. Yeah, so, no, but also but, they're actually doing kind also, of all right. Yeah. Um, lag causes more desync generally, which means yeah. there's more rehosts as well, so that can be a part of the problem. Um, but we're just going to keep an eye on it. It also just feels bad for the other players. Mm. Like it really takes you out of your flow. A lot of like a lot of time when I'm playing, at least I have like a feeling of when I should do something next, and when there's lag. I lose time, like track of that feeling. The same if you have a long pause, I forget everything I was doing. All Tomb Worlds. It's all Tomb Worlds. <laughs> it's all Tomb Worlds? It's all Always Tomb Worlds now. Been. Always has been. Is this a meta build, you guys? I actually have a video on this build. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I know. Uh, this, th I think it's this exact build, actually. Maybe not fanatic authoritarian. Can't remember what I picked, but it's almost the same. Um, it, when I when the release came out, this is when the when it released. Actually, I made this video. I was like, Two yeah. world, two world, two world." I the only issue is what ascension does he have? Cyborg hasn't bothered. Yeah, I guess to do that it, helps though. with the uh, has yeah. not bothered to touch it. Also, has spec one into diplomacy for the on what? What you probably want. Envoy. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's because oh, th there goes, there goes, uh, there goes. Um, uh, oh, Sven. Sven, yeah, Sven the Duck Sven, is gone. Sven got, got nuked. And look at all these lovely systems that can be blowed up now with no one defending them. How much dark matter does uh, Fire Kaiser have? Uh, a, a measly ten k. Needs another ten k yeah. to blow up. That 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 yeah, is only. Yeah, he has to four... use his uh, ships to defend, I guess. Yeah, well, he to be fair, he probably could send one out, and Wait, I think he might have done. Is he still in control of it? Where is his? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, he won. Uh oh, oh my God, five hundred pops does not save you here. 
Uh oh. Satana has so many pops. What are what is Satana doing? He has so much eco. But why is it why not, not blowing up planets? Blow planet up. I'm wondering why no it, one else is joining the fight against fire. Because they're busy getting on with other stuff. Like everyone's always like, nah, it's someone else. It's that yeah. whole, you know, you're more likely to die. the second galactic crisis about going? Uh, let's check. It must have failed. Let's check though. Yeah, it failed because there's... No, no, it failed. Um, you're more likely to die at a busy beach than a quiet one. And this is it. A busy galaxy. Everyone else thinks, well, someone else will deal with the crisis. Meaning that the galaxy is more likely to drown. Exactly. I mean, isn't that literally how these fires blew up the galaxy that one time? Yeah, oh, more or less. That was also partial world. because Potato was shielding him. True. But I think that's actually just what, it, what, what happened. Yeah. So one thing you can do when the star is coming compared to when you're being bombarded is you can transfer all the pups off the planet. Yeah. Whereas oh, if yeah, you're being true. bombarded, you can't move them. If you see a star yeah. coming, just move your pups. He should build destroyers. Yeah. I don't know why he keeps rebuilding the Corvettes. The, the, they, what I don't understand counter. is, Al is bro with 500 pups. <laughs> Not winning Losing it. 500 pups is losing... To 76. 76. 76. <laughs> and most of these pops are not even... What the, is uh, this? Most of these pops are the Montu pops. Oh, this beautiful pop. Oh, I don't like the picture. The picture's terrible. But, you know, in general, I, I approve this message. What the heck? And Fire Kaiser doesn't even have... Me Fire Kaiser has, like, three planets. Three. <laughs> A stiff breeze would blow him over. Like, why is the galaxy doing? <laughs> Pax is crushing washing, it seems. Yeah, look, three fleets jumping in here. Well, that's pretty much fitting. Washing always gets crushed at the last stretches. Yeah, Washing just can never make it the whole way. You know, he gets 70% of the way there and is like, oh, no, nope, fall and die. Yeah. Uh, uh, time to die. Yeah, exactly. So right now, first place, Pax well in the lead. Singularity second, but very soon probably going to die. Oh wait, no, are they pieced out? Oh wait, they, they survived? What? what? No, 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 he's still still at war, still at war. You want to get Potato, maybe? Oh yeah, no. Potato, the war exhaustion, oh my god. Look at Potato's oh, war yeah. exhaustion. Yeah, 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 loads oh, of war exhaustion from space battles. The, the fleet, he won, he won, He clearly. lost a catastrophic battle, yeah. Still, yeah. his capital is occupied, and I'm assuming it's claimed, so he doesn't want to stay this quarrel? Probably not. But also, he won't be forced to stay this quarrel. Look, look how low... All of these bonuses to war exhaustion. Um, being a oh, Gestalt... He can't use it to, yeah, he can't use it to stop the war is what I'm meaning. If he's, slew, no, if he's no, losing he his cabbage. No, he can't. Uh, well, with Potato. No. He probably can with Potato because Potato doesn't occupy the capital. Ah, okay. And Potato is probably... I don't think Potato claimed him. Potato claimed uh, Oregano, I think. Yeah, Potato's not claimed... Potato claimed Oregano. It hasn't even claimed that much. One or two systems. They're capitals. A couple of cap. This is that same war from. Mm. It's basically the same war we had 30 years ago, I think. Oh, I punched the mic. Michael Alexander is saying it's not the size of your pops, it's how you use them. Sven the Duck is in chat saying oh, it's very sad. Sven, you lost to 70 pops. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. You lost to 70 pops. Um, you know, that's like a year 25 number of pops. Also, don't feel that bad. Satana here is losing with 500 pops. 500 machine pops against this nonsense. <laughs> Where's the Star Eaters? Did he lose his fleets? <gasps> MIA? The Star Eaters, one of them's dead. Oh no! <laughs> and cannot be replaced. As we were saying, he was losing. He, he, just, he, just, he just lost. He's oh, winning. Ouch. Are, are you winning, son? No, 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 he's not winning. One of those fleets coming from the north towards Firekaiser in the Apla Push system. <laughs> They're Bebo's fleets. They've been back and forth a few times. He keeps trying yeah. to smack them in the face. Oh, that's not Max. Yes, oh, it is a total God. war, though, so like even small fleets just splitting him up is going to yeah. matter. Well, without, without, the the star eaters, of the, without the Star Eaters, yeah. he's done, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. it might yeah, be falling apart. Money. Losing one is yikes. Because the cost to rebuild, first you have to have the maximum level star base. Doesn't have that. 
second you're going to have to actually try and out. build it. And that's going to take 600 days, 6,000 days, which is 15 years or something, right? Mm. 20 years? It is uh, not a short-term investment. Yeah, the game's over before it comes back. Yeah, I think even though Sven ended up paying the price for it, his disruption of Fire Kaiser was very important. Fire yes, Kaiser's Sven uh, died, idea but saved was the potentially galaxy. very troublesome. <laughs> save the galaxy, yeah, but, well, but he, did, he didn't mess up. He did up mess up Fire Kaiser quite a bit. Yeah, exactly, he saved the galaxy from Fire Kaiser. Otherwise, Fire Kaiser yeah, right now would probably be, true, true. he would have had it faster, stronger, and bigger, and the galaxy might actually be dying to it. Whereas now, like, Lee Spire might kill everybody, maybe, if Lee Spire can get up enough menace points. I don't think he's... I don't think so, man. There's oh, two... Know. Like, the, the... This war There's with a R correlation is next constant to him? and ongoing. It's like, just... he can't seem yeah, to Yeah, R is it. just too much How of a backlog. How are they doing the war, he's by the so way, while still being in the Crisis War? Did they uh, leave the, the community? No, I think the war started before the Crisis War. I the just only thought who... normally that it ended all those wars. No, it doesn't end them. I don't... They, they continue over now. Oh, wait, what? They do? Mm. Huh. It used to force end them. It just... doesn't seem to do that anymore. I think they've changed it. Okay. I, I just... I really don't understand the war system anymore. Gotta say. Time I, I can't of... keep myself Time up. Yeah, it is. No, it's like you click a button and it's like, what's going to happen? I don't know. Let's find out. I'll declare yeah. war. Who's going to be on the war with me? I don't know. Could be anybody. Like, you can be in a federation at war with another empire, and then one of your vassals could declare war on their... on you, and thus mean you're at war with and on the same side as your vassal, because you're in a war with them and in a war against them, and that's possible. Huh? Yeah. Most I simple would, war system. I guess it would be that the Crusader team is probably already looking into this system, but if not, they, they really it. should. They're not changing it. <laughs> I don't think they're changing it. Yeah. It's too complicated. They they're can't. It. I, th I would love it if the system was similar to... Um, oh, there goes the piece. R has managed to... Uh, I think maybe Least Fire surrendered. R is now free, though. R is yeah. a free elf. That's going to boost... How's this economy compared to Least Fires? Because I'm, I'm guessing they're going to be another one in 10 years. And it's such a 250 strong alloys, 500 uh, research, 250 minerals. Least Fires got loads of minerals, fewer Least alloys. Fire, nothing. No, but nothing. the minerals. No, the so minerals. Tech, yeah. He's a crisis. Those minerals. minerals are ships. 50% damage yeah. and menacing cruiser. I guess so, I guess what so. He needs to get to level 5 though, moment. he needs to attack. He needs to attack advantage. What's Lee's Fire's level 5? How Lee's many points does Fire have even if he gets uh, level 5? 22. Lee's Fire does Not have much. more than Fire Kaiser. So plus 75% there would yeah. put him up to, you know, he'd podium. He would oh. podium. I, I mean, he'd have to blow up the galaxy to get in top 5 now, is what I mean. Like, yeah. even if he just hits... Uh, level 5 right now, he'd still be like 11th or 12th place because he's losing 25% of his points from being the second crisis. Bizzoli, thank you so very much. I, I don't think we're going to see Least Fire in top 5 this time. I would be very surprised. I think R was a big if enough uh, issue for him that he's not going to podium, uh, I which think is you rare be right. considering he's <laughs> won too often. Pax is still dealing with Washing's nonsense, yeah, but basically has full claims on everything now. Uh, I would assume. Check the claims. Yeah, yeah I full think claims. Washington maybe worlds. should. Yeah. I think Washington shouldn't have uh, rebelled and just spread up. Like, he could still farm points from controlled mm. space, maybe, and podium that way. Yeah, I don't I mean, know. is fit. I guess he wanted to risk it getting... for the biscuit. Yeah, he probably did risk it for a biscuit. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. What's this federation in the north doing? Thund. And everybody, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you up to? But Pedro Shaga left the Federation. Pedro Shaga left the Federation. Yeah, yeah. He's and then he went to huh. Yeah, this Fed is now Bob, <laughs> Bob A, Thun, How, how is Bob Bar part of uh, the Federation? <laughs> Do they have wormholes? Shroud right? Tunnel. Oh, uh, yeah, Shroud Tunnel. tunnel. Shroud Tunnel oh, yeah. bouncer, right? Yeah. Yeah. I can yeah, click it, it and it bounces with me. Yeah. Cool. I think Cyrax might be about to join that as well, that Fed as well, because Shroud Tunnel. Oh. After mm. after Cyrax gets free, because Barb and Cyrax have been working together to take down Singu, I imagine Cyrax will then join the Fed. 
Thund and Potato are very close in points, though. Look at that. Thund's points are from tech, unity, and um, tradition and stuff. Or pack. What's the yeah, pack? He's been, he's been mackering hard off his few systems, honestly. Three. Three systems, more yeah. Three systems, 150 pops. But let's not forget, psionic pops are worth much more. And Acumenopolis here. Oh, Acumenopolis. 20 oh. alloys. Uh, almost the highest alloy income in the game, actually, so far. This is higher than packs. Okay. Uh, and that's from that's from 24 pops. Let him that cook. Let him cook. Cooking with three systems. And the thing is, 20, 20 alloys per pop is low for psionic. You can eat, you can comfortably get up to about yeah. 35 or so. If Thun Max. was able to take catalytic processing, they would be up to 26, 27 alloys. I think he's gonna... Mm, he doesn't have the food, I think. Yeah. Oh, not the mic. What's Grishin? How's Grishin doing? I was actually wondering... He's, he just DM'd me that he didn't rejoin in the last hotchup because he's feeling sick. Could you check if he's an AI or not? Yes, he is. Yes, oh, he is. I actually didn't notice that. So he, he just DM'd me saying that he's feeling uh, sick. He has got allergies, apparently. Um, and that's why he didn't rejoin. Yeah, we'll discuss it afterwards. It's fine. Yeah. We'll take that conversation afterwards. So it looks like the Republican Montu nations have now formed from what used to be Fire Kaiser's space. Fire Kaiser's last planet is going to get sieged right now. Is that his last planet? Yeah. Oh, Fire oh, Kaiser's lost, lost the Aetherophasic engine completely. Oh, it blew up. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. and now is uh, is dying to the Corvette spawn spam. Yeah, now his economy is suddenly not looking that well. He should basically hey, I think he pushed pops. too hard into no, 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 He should have used one star E to blow all the stars up over here while just maintaining the fleet at home in the star in the home system. Yeah, he overextended. An, and yeah, died. it was an overextension by trying to take out Satana. Though having said that, if I was, I mean, I don't know why he's not jumping on Satana's capital. That'd be the play. Threaten the capital. Kill. Is it Star Fortress? Uh, oh, he could actually win it. Yeah, he could win 7K, and blow it easy, up. And blow easy, it up. Easy. So while, while yeah, his build definitely didn't that. work, is this a build that would be fun to make a video about? Like Possibly. how to abuse the fleet mechanics to get a Crisis Year 50. Though you could do you could do something similar just by declaring lots of war and fighting. You don't actually have yeah, to maybe. abuse the um, abuse the vassals to get it done. This is only the only reason he's doing this in this way is because you're not allowed to declare the wars earlier, and you can't conquer yeah. all the planets without doing the nonsense. Um, True. Least far is doing it the more traditional way, and is only slightly behind. Only about 10, 15 years behind. 8K menace. By the way, I'll go tell Thun that his ally left in case he doesn't know. Okay. I'll be right back. Uh oh. Potatoes got all of their fleets on the edges of Thun's space. Ooh. I mean, he has an Echo Monopolis, man. Like, no, it, it's so Thund. tempting to just Sorry, kill Thund him. Sorry, Thun has all that Thun's fleets. Oh, wait, what? Those are Thun's fleets. Thund. I thought they were oh. Potatoes' fleets. No, 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 no. Thun is currently yeah, yeah, yeah. all with. I, I thought it was Potatoes. Oh, again. Fire Kaiser. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ah. Uh. And of course, unable to declare war against anyone that you're in a war with. Without like rebelling or whatever, so yeah. Least I must have left the community. No. Still uh, in it. But are, are they? Yeah. How come they're not in the war then? Uh, that is a good question. I have no clue. What the heck? What the hell? What the heck? Huh? What is happening? I don't get it. The war system is a black box. We will never understand. <laughs> this war system is ridiculous. So how, how is this possible? I think maybe the reason why R wasn't in the Galactic Wars because he was a vassal at the time the Galactic War started, and then he rebelled against Least Fire. But Least Fire isn't in either. So no. that throws that theory out the window. Also, Singularity isn't in the Galactic mm. War, and Singularity is definitely in the in the in, you know in the community. Strange. Oh, well, Potato Shaker has Very a strange. lot of diplo weight. I don't get it. Oh yeah, he does. 
custodian when? Does Pax have a uh, diplomat on the council? Yeah. I'm wondering if that's something he might forget. Yeah, no. Uh, he does. Envoy. Level 6 okay. envoy. That's one of the mechanics I haven't tested around with a lot myself, but ooh, having a high level leader does matter a lot. So I actually think it's better to um, to not specialize this leader into the council because the actual bonuses you get, it, basically by specializing, all you really get is an extra 5%. I think it's better to specialize yeah. them into the, um, uh, I'm not going to click it, into government and then and then put them on the government and use the uh, use statecraft to just boost them. Ah, yeah, Interesting yeah, Interesting yeah. that not actually, really anyone's running statecraft at the that. moment these days. Uh, oh, we have uh, Satana oh, is. Satana is. It's, okay, all the bio players are, yeah. The, the, the hive players, of course, are so not bothering. Yeah. We, it isn't as mandatory yet uh, anymore, especially mm. because you can only have one Grand Admiral in our rule set. You mean genius so like a... Oh yeah, Genus Armorer. Um, and with Disruptor Span, Genus Armor isn't as important. Yes, yeah, yeah, I'm with you, I'm with you. I would argue Genus Armors are kind of useless without Disruptors. It's still more hull points or armor points, I can't remember which one it is. It's, it's you armor get shield and, shield and hull. But, oh, you know. sorry, shield and armor. Yeah. And then on top of that, the hardening is helpful against missiles. Nobody are threatening missiles, I think, here. And torpedoes. Only torps. It is a little bit helpful. Yeah. Yeah. It's not super helpful, but like it does bit. something. It does exist. I can confirm its existence. It exists, I swear. Honestly, it's they should find another name for them than missiles. They have a hundred percent accuracy. See, they should these be should missing. be hit aisles. They're hit aisles. Yeah, exactly. I would like to apologize to chat for that joke. I I won't. It was a very funny joke, though. <laughs> hey, Belandila, Valand welcome to the live stream. Are you usually a deader? Oh, Vandila, sorry. Vandilla. Could be Spanish. Um, so, how's the war going? Is Singularity out yet? No. Have they full have they have they managed to full annex him? Not quite. They've claimed very little. One, two, three. Three systems, it seems. Sarx has only claimed three systems. The claims systems. are like spread out by multiple players. Mm, not sure. I'm not even sure Bob's think, claimed I anything. think they only want the planets. Bob has claimed nothing. Absolutely nothing. Sweet, sweet nothing. Oh, One Barb, of the things I've Barb noticed is supporting. In... I didn't realize this is so... So Bar it's not the whole Federation. Barb may be in a Federation, but the Federation hasn't been called in. Just... I didn't even know that was possible. So if you support someone's independence and you join the war, the rest of your Federation Wait, won't be pulled in. I I didn't know that. What? Yeah. What the heck? That makes this sense. This is so confusing. I, I, I... Is there seriously no more consistency in the war system? I am so confused, man. What is happening? Oh, there's <laughs> a Shroud Beast in uh, Starrick Systems? Is, is that Sonic a void Avatar, horror yeah, thingy? Yeah. Or what Sonic Avatar. <laughs> they look cool. Oh, that's what we should have used for the, the pink uh, black holes visual. Oh, monster. yeah. It's already yeah, in the that, game. That might have been a good one. Um, but uh, Whisperer, the, Whisperer, the, Whisperer on, in the Void. Covenant of Whisperers. This grants seven and a half percent influence, five percent research speed. You lose three stability, but uh, you can generally make do if you yeah, go for har if you yeah. spec into harmony one, you can get twenty stability and just offset. Like you can get to hundred stability relatively easily. Um, yeah. Why only seven alloys per pop here? What the heck? Does he not have oh the psionic building on the planet? He's turned off like the mega forge. 
Maybe just save on minerals. No minerals. I oh, guess look, so. Full naval capacity. Doesn't need the armor. Maxed out naval cap. Yeah, but even then, he's not capped on his uh, his uh, his stockpile. You always want a large stockpile so you're ready to rebuild. 20, 40, 60, uh, 90... Oh, did they just hit 100% of war exhaustion? Yeah, yes. he did. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, they did. They did. did. They can be forced to peace out soon. Oh, it looks like Singularity didn't set his reset point, so they randomly uh, retreated somewhere bad. <laughs> he, nobody ever remembers to set their retreat point. That's what I've learned. No, no one ever does. Is it just? Yeah, <laughs> only I do apparently. Which is strange. I usually remember after I after it went goes wrong for the first time in my game. <laughs> And then I, exactly, then I exactly. The first time, though, you always forget. <laughs> now that it's too late, I will remember. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Look, I've got gotten burnt so much in, Oof, in the past. You guys and, see oregano uh, so food production, so right? Oh my god. Wait, what? No, it's fine. That's oh. that's nothing. He's selling a hundred food anyway. Oh, okay, he's selling. Okay. Not too bad. Why? What is he cooking? Uh, it's probably just. Uh, old trade deal that he didn't change. <laughs> Not sure. I don't know. Minus 15% happiness is not a good thing. Is he geshed out? Yeah, he's geshed out actually. He doesn't give a crap. Happiness does nothing. Yeah. Um, ah, deficit. The, the speed of growth and assembly of 33% is kind of maybe, annoying. Maybe he was trying to buy 100 and sold 100 by mistake. I don't know. Probably what happened. Unless he's trying to stay in the in the deficit. Yep, yeah, that's against, against the rules. The rules I, I, food, food, food shortage is like one of the few that's that's crap to be in deficit. Is yeah. in deficit. There's no exploit for food. There is one for minerals though. Yeah. I mean, the exploit is you can make more alloys than your output. He's not catalytic, actually. So actually, no, food doesn't matter. Yeah, what? why? Yeah. Why food? Uh, pops, it's weird. subject taxes. I see. Okay. This game is right way too complex for my smooth brain right now. The three of us <laughs> have, what, a combined 10, 15k hours in this game? I've got and we're still like, half, I huh? Yeah, I got two and a half, I think. Look, the game just what about keeps you, changing. Strat? How much have you played this game? Uh, one sec, let me check. It's like 1.2k, but that's oh, that's pure PvP. Just nothing else. Aww. That's a cute yeah, number. I, if I were to say to Strat Indeed. something like, how do you think the galactic community works? His response is, what's a galactic community? Um, exactly. <laughs> I never touch it. I never it touch it. It reminds me of when, when I was playing in the... Um, oh, crap. What's it called? In the GPO... And I had to explain to, yeah. it, to to Comrade in detail how the defensive packs work because he's never <laughs> done a defensive pack. I was like, he was like, won't we all join the war? I was like, no, it only it only does the two players will join. So you need to make sure everyone has oh, mutual we have defensive a pack. Post. Can you see why we paused? Damn. Oh, oh Firekaiser Fire crash? Is Firekaiser oh, no. eliminated Fund. or? Fund. I'll just go check. He just, he just went red. Ah, okay, Thun crashed. I'll go ask if he's coming. Never retreat, never surrender, says Canadian Slaughter. Uh, is Yern still here? Is Yern back? Yern? Yes, he's coming back in. Uh, great. Um, by the way, Yern, uh, is your brain so smooth that it can explore an astral rift? <laughs> Ooh. Yo. Chat's asking. Michael Alexander is asking. Have it does have a weird thing sticking out of the back, kind of like, uh, hmm. <laughs> Are there Maybe that's why I'm crashing so hard sometimes. Water Enchantress, you want to go to the Discord? Go to montuplays.com. In the menu, there's a button that says Discord. That'll get you there. Uh, I can actually, I can type it out. Give me a second. Additionally, there's some fantastic Montu merch in there. You want to get your hands on a t-shirt that says Obey? That's your location. You want to get a nice, cool Ministry of Timelines phone case? Ontoplays.com has you covered. I'll just go mention for Oregano. He can't intentionally bankrupt if that's what he's doing. Just to double check why he's selling food while in a deficit. Gotcha. 
Obey, says Mr. Clean. I wear my Montu shirt from time to time. He's selling herbs. He's selling herbs, says Woodman. See, I'm not selling herbs. What do you mean? Not selling herbal remedies. Obey the lizard, says Silent Sonata. Buy a t-shirt. Buy it now, damn it. It also supports the channel, obviously. Um, because, you know, it's, uh, it's merch. It's Montu merch. At least I don't die 2235 instantly like I did last year. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oregano has huge fleets, apparently. Let's take a look. Where are you, Oregano? Can I sign you? I think that's it. Oh, washing disconnected now. <laughs> Crap. Oregano. Yes, huge, huge zero. Oh, huge wow. Zero. Oh, I see now. Yeah, they, all the way. Well, yes, huge <laughs> fleets. <laughs> Potato says, I lost more ships to Oregano starbases than Singularity's fleets. <laughs> Does he have massive starbases, though? Uh, oh. One, Sirius is pretty big, I guess. Oh, wow. That's yeah, okay. <laughs> Reloading bay. This thing's like a nice little 15k little outpost. Two different defense did he platform bankrupt? designs. You did bankrupt. Least fire, a player who goes with doorsteps origin can't complain about being attacked. I have returned. Why are we port right now? Is it still thunder? We're waiting uh, for No, Cyrax disconnected. Oh. By the way, could you check um uh, Oreganos, mark it again, because on Oreganos' screen, he's not selling 100 food, which is weird. Yeah, he, he has no trades on, in his screen. So oh what, my what God. we're seeing the in the galactic market for his view is not the same as what's happening for his view. I don't know who's right. There must be a desync here. What? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he was not desync though, like on the pop-up. Maybe someone else yeah. desynced it for him. That is so you confusing. You haven't gotten any desync messages. <laughs> Even worse. Solaris Black Magic. Yo. If you ho hover over his uh, minus like 185, does it say selling 100 in it? No! What? Yeah, so it's, it's our view that's wrong. Uh, what the devil? Uh, what is this? That's an interesting little bug. That's a weird visual uh, error. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ulm, Ar Ulm Maramlu says, oh, what, A new way for the game to break. Wonderful. Hmm. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure we haven't had a single tournament stream without talking about a bug. I don't think we've had a game without bugs. Yeah. Uh Washing said his PC black screen and he's rejoining. I don't know if he's the one joining right now. It should be. Or if that one. Yeah, it's washing. Oh, everyone's okay. going to, into into lag mode. Give it a moment. Give it a moment. Is that going to be a major do you think? Right, you should pause and unpause, won't you? If you can. I can pause and unpause, it's not doing anything. Yeah. Mm. Uh oh. Oh, let's no. do a rehost. All right, bros. It's time to experience Lobby Simulator. Lobby Simulator! Woohoo!
I love Lobby Simulator. It's so much fun. Oh, oh crash. Yeah. Don't you guys us. think it's so much fun? Ah. Oh. oh. Rip. It's time for Lobby Simulator, everyone's favorite sim. Uh... You know, one of these days, I'm just going to turn into like a generic uh, video essayist. And I'm going to come back to Stellaris after like five years. Oh, wow. It's the Lobby Sim again. No. I just like go crazy. Is that your dream, is it? To retire? From Stellaris, I mean. <laughs> no. Uh, no, it's probably just a Lobby is back up. Of things. Oh, I see it. Did I leave Least Fire in here or did you take him up on you? I didn't put Least Fire in here. Oh, I, I dragged him wrong, I think. Bye, Least Fire. Fire. I still... Oh, I'll rip. I, I still oh. like Stellaris, but like the, the problems, man. Like, what? The fact that multiplayer is like, like as it is right now is just sad. Like, playing multiplayer is impossible. Like, uh, have you seen multiplayer? It's unplayable. I don't play much because it's just how do you play? It doesn't work. Well, maybe in five years it will be fixed, like for real, for real. But you know, like the racing button is is a huge step up compared to before, anyway. Oh, so, how's everyone's day? How are we enjoying Lobby Simulator? I'm sad. I remember the good old days <laughs> when these things were a rarity. John Eric has said, or John Eric has said, Finally, I hate it when we have to watch so many minutes of Stellaris between Lobby Simulator sessions. <laughs> I just love Lobby Simulator. We truly need a Lobby <laughs> Sim emote. Oh, what would a Lobby Sim emote be? <laughs> exactly! It's nothing! What do you mean? Is this the Stellaris logo? No, no, yeah. no, no, no. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's, it's the snooze, snooze emoji. <laughs> it's literally the snooze emoji. There were a time. There was a time when D syncs weren't common. Yeah, back, back, back in early in the early days of the game, D syncs were very rare. Back in 1.0 to 2.0, 1, 1 to 2.0, there were barely, barely any D syncs. Once they changed the way the pops work, once they made the fleet so much bigger, once the game was handling so much more crap, we've had massive desyncs. I fix. Why will I need a bigger screen? Sorry, when the when the next DLC drops. Little desync, little content. Big desync, big content. Exactly, Akali. <laughs> yeah, I agree. 10 out of 10, truth. I agree. Oh, I didn't know we were on a hype train, by the way. We're what? Oh, we're not on a hype train. We're not on a hype train. On Twitch, it says for me that we're on a hype train. We level got to level hype? 6 earlier. Thanks in no small part yeah. to Bandit, um, Taldus, and Ifix. But, but, uh... I guess it's just running still then. Or maybe, oh, it just said ran out. Don't mind. I'm bad at Twitch as well. Oh, you think you're bad at Twitch? Good. <laughs> at least, uh, luckily, I'm the Twitch expert then um, of the two of us. Thank goodness. Strat, do you know what Twitch yes, is? Yes. I have never heard of Twitch. Is this some some Zoomer new thing? The, the Twitch. Like, wow. Eh? Yeah, exactly. Silence and Artist says that the secret to avoiding desync is to play, only play single player. You say that, and then you get crashed to desktop <laughs> nonsense, like when you explore Astral Rifts and the game still desyncs from itself anyway. Yeah, <laughs> like, Astral Planes is so funny. Why Finally, did they just the our game? nerds understand what we need. Right, Mr. Bob has 100k fleet power. Potato has 174. Yeah, Pax has 166. Potato has the biggest fleet in the galaxy right now. Satana also Wait, has 162. Okay. What is this? Wait, Firekaiser is still alive? Uh, what? He's just being a real menace. He's just Fire being a Kaiser menace. Firekaiser is being a real he's menace. A what is this? 
What is this? He's nomadic now. He's taking over pots. planets and then living off of them. He's got yeah. three planets. Holy He's nomadic, bro. No one can stop Fire Kaiser. Fire Kaiser's yeah, yeah, undead a wall, army. So. It's amazing. Is, is, is he purging the pops he's taking over or is he keeping them? I don't know. He still has the... Uh, oh, the he's, he's, he's got Star Eater out of there. Get... Wow, no, you need to retreat. Why would you let it die? Oh, wait a minute. No, actually, it's not... Maybe it won't die. Oh, no, it's I dying. He's going to win here. It's oh, he's going to lose. Uh, I he's think gonna it's lose. Yeah, with those extra fleets, it's done. Surely. It has a high retreat it's chance. Cooked. It's cooked. It should, it should pull yeah. back. Well, I don't know why Fire Kaiser's not paying attention now. to this. It's been, it's been enough days. Yep, there you go. Yeah, and it got out. Missing so I think goals. the main risk is actually if you if you retreat too late and it takes damage on its hull and dies. That's how it's too often it dies, I think. ETS Green independently yeah. has declared war on Fire Kaiser. Such a mess. Nominate Custodian oh, Potato custodian. Shagger. Yo! And he's winning right now. People aren't voting against him. Well, some people are voting Thund. The, the, the Federation is voting with him. I assume because then he'll lie. If Satana, if Satana he'll just voted back. against it, it wouldn't pass. Satana's not I assume paying attention. they got convinced by yeah. virtue of giant No, ships. no, Satana's not enough votes. Pointing their... See, it's not enough votes. Ah, there he comes. Mm -hmm. It needs it needs more players to vote. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it depends on people's moods. I have no idea. Peace with all right, nine days until Force Peace is going to be possible for Singularity. His death is long overdue. But how, how many planets are occupied? Like, uh, all will he these, lose? All, these everything. Planets everything. Are, all the planets yeah. are occupied, but there's not that many claims. Singularity won't die okay. from this. Singularity will just lose a bunch of stuff. Probably not He'll podiuming because there's two die. more scoring rounds in, but you know. What should I get for dinner today? That is, these are the big questions. These are the big questions the viewers exactly. really need to know. You need to. Yeah. It's time we ask ourselves the big questions, like who am I and what do I that's, want? That's actually to eat? a good question. I'm kind of hungry. Um, Strat, have you ever seen Avatar: The Legend of Aang? I know it's a bit of an older anime. Um, yeah, it probably came out around uh, the time you were born. Avatar. Um. But <laughs> okay, uh, I, no, I, like I, I, I watched it. Like, when I, was I think it's kid? like twenty years old. Like, which one? Is it twenty years old which, now? Or is which, only... which Avatar? Avatar: The Legend of Aang, The Last Airbender. I, I, I think I, I've watched a cartoon. I, I think yeah, Avatar cartoon, cartoon, like Barsim said, the, yeah. the water, the water. You know, I, I, the, think, the, I, the think, I think I have. I have. Well, I have. Th this is uh, not too relevant to ours, but actually, my niece just started watching it as well. It's oh, really cool. bonding over. Damn. What, why, what made you think of Avatar in the middle of Galactic War? Because mm. uh, I was just it's, trying it's, to find out if, look, if, look. if uh, Strat would get my references. Hot take, hot take. Avatar uh, is basically psionics, all right? I know, I know. Singularity <laughs> could force the peace. What would they lose? I wish you could see what they'd lose. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot. Critical resource shortage <laughs> unity. Rut Yo, row. What? Singu's got a oh. unity resource oh. shortage. Maybe with the full occupation, Everything he wants his worlds to rebel. No, even all that unity shortage isn't helping because of feedback loops feedback and high loops. amenities. So many <laughs> feedback loops. Feedback loops is really powerful. Uh, you get amenities and it's stability. OP. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, you get it, three it, or four it, of them <laughs> as a hive and you're really you're, you're, you're printing. You're you're set. more likely you're we set. hit 420. Yesterday was 420 as well, wasn't it? Um... So there's there's a John Eric yeah. John Eric is asking out of curiosity can we get an overview of the nationality of the players? Doesn't have to be too specific, but like West European, East European, American, Asian would be cool. Probably no African players, right? Uh, I don't I don't think we can say there's no African. Why would there probably be no African player? What? Um, I know we had at least one Australian in the qualifiers, but I don't think yeah. he qualified. So most of the people here are from the U.S. and Europe. It's mostly US and Europe. Um, yeah, mostly. Yeah. Oh, we hit 420 likes. Yeah. 
I have to update the, the goal, Manchu. Yeah, I will, I will. 420. And then the new light goals shall be 666. Excellent. I'm not saying you're a child, Manchu, but you are such a child. I'm not a child. These are, these are the perfect numbers. <laughs> these are the perfect numbers. Everyone, 420 blaze. 420 blaze. Anywho. Uh -huh. um, what's the galaxy voting still on? The custodian thing. Woo, it's really going in favor of uh, Potato now. Why? Everyone's not using favors. They've just, they're just pushing the vote up. Okay. That might give Potato the power that Potato needs to kill the threats the galaxy has. Like Lee's Fire. Lee's Fire has made He's ETS Green a vassal. That happened a while ago. Lee's Fire's sure. not going to win, though. He's not winning. Lee's Fire currently has zero points. But very, very soon. Very, very soon. Because, of course... He ooh, can be a threat. The retention of vassals means that every every month or so, every month he's getting another 10 to menace. So 480 off. Does someone want to do that? For 48 months? That's four hmm. years. He's four years away from becoming the crisis. And yet again, the yeah, crisis he's not begins. blowing up the galaxy. Yet again. A real child would have put 69 likes as the first goal. Nice. Nice. Um... I just made a poll for you, Manchu. Wait, saw... Fire Geyser is still being a menace? Wait, Look Pax at is now that, voting in favor of the custodianship. Wait, what? Uh, okay. Probably because when you vote in favor, you get favors. So people are now voting in favor to get favors from the custodian. I assume. Oh, the Unless, trades. If pa yeah, oh, yeah. If, pa well, if Pax has the politics tradition. No, doesn't have it. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like the, the leader. just made a deal. It, it is like, the, this is the price of not being attacked by uh, Potato? Maybe. Yeah, well, Potato and Pax are pretty deal. equivalent fleets. Like, Potato doesn't need to, exactly. need to worry like too if, much. Uh, no, but if Pax wants to be aggressive on the other side of the galaxy, he doesn't want to have to worry about his back from Potato. So he might be willing to give Potato the custodianship and then be able to go ham on the right side. Mm. I mean, Fire Kaiser is still being a massive pain. He's still alive. He's still there. Wait, he is, is a wait, is real that... world roach. Yeah, is that is that is Fire Kaiser at war with Lee's Fire? What is he doing? Is he trying to wait assassinate a minute? No, him? no, 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 no. The um, the tributary is not. Well, the vassal's not giving points. Why? No, it, yes, he's he's gained three hundred ten from it. Oh, it, it doesn't yeah. go at the end of each month. Okay, it happens every uh, one every month. It's, oh yeah, oh, annual, no, annual, 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 annual. Yeah. Oh, geez, it's so that's so forty-eight bad. years. <laughs> that's nothing. As in, like that's so long, it's never gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's useless. And then um, you just take one world and get four hundred. <laughs> yeah. That's forty yeah, years worth of having be a, a 40 perfectly month. balanced. No, Fire Kaiser's gone. Surely. He still has one system right in Trovi uh, Torovia. Yeah, Torovia and also... Wait, why is, why is Singularity uh, styling right now? It, it, did Singularity survive? Oh my god. How is Singularity still alive? Look at Singularity right now. What? It's fine? Oh my god. Ow. Did he? Did, did they accept surrender? No, because Singularity no, lost. No, no, no. We, we are not lying. I'm guessing What's he just waited until he stayed his core and then send in fleets to take the stations, maybe, or something? I don't know. Yeah, I, look, I think that's what happened. He, he took the stations. Just one or two stations. He would have yeah. sent oh my God, in for bro. the stations. Because they did get one the system and not an important one. Then he probably forced the status quo because he could. So he took the station and then forced Yeah, it does mean Sharex oh. got got released as a vassal, right? So he got free, but he didn't get any like real territory from Hold Singapore. up, hold up. Least fire. Yeah. If least fire just declares war on fire Kaiser and kills them. They can't yeah. because of a truce. Oh no. Well, no, never mind. If least fire were able to declare war on fire Kaiser, that'd be enough to give them crisis stuff. 
Wait, R is now the tributary of Pax. When did that happen? That must have been a quick little lightning war. That's now. Uh, let's oh, yeah, see here, 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 the Pax's fleets are next to Lee's Fire. Lee's Fire just now. Lee's Fire, uh, yeah, there you go. They're actually in the same system. Lee's Fire is Lee's huh? running away with Lee's Fire's fleets. Uh, no, look, they're coming home. Pax's fleets are just trying to come home. Oh, because R's actually not connected up here. R's got their own little pocket. This is a pocket dimension. Interesting. Strange. I didn't actually notice that before. I thought there was a connection. If Lee's Fire just closes borders with Pax, that would tick Pax off so much. That'd be so funny. <laughs> like, he would oh, go that is and a risky his thing ass. to do. Uh oh, spaghetti! -oh. Insanely risky, actually. What are the fleet powers at now? So, Satana's at quarter of a million. That's the biggest one. Satana is almost certainly going to be. Uh, not government, don't go. Uh, I just want to know what the edicts are, but I can figure that out by going to the. Which the Republican Munchu Nations? Is that a rebellion? That, that uh, is a rebellion is that's now. Yeah, that, that was the rebellion of Fire Kaiser. So, Fire uh, Kaiser's stuff still technically exists. But it's now called the Republican Montu Nations. Um, and they're, yeah, they're something. They're really something. Oh, boy. Who's this? Oh, they just jumped. Holy moly. Firekaiser is running around desperately trying to get something to happen. I mean, Maybe. his eco does not no, inspire you know what much he's doing. confidence. You know what he's doing? Hmm? He's going to retake hmm? his, his home. Oh, he wants to. He wants to he's got the dark matter. Does he have he enough dark matter to repair? He yeah. can repair. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then his economy is going to just start going again. He sees oh, doing the plague. The, 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 the death now. It's nobody. Uh, uh, but, but who There's unlucky? Is, I'm sorry, that's what? That's a lot of points. Yeah, what? What is it? Why is it up there? That shouldn't be up there, should it? Weird. Wow, the Desa now clearly have a real great economy. Oh, I say that, yeah. they do have a really good economy. Why so much? <laughs> they have city districts. They don't have city districts. I I'm sorry, what? Huh? They can't build city that. districts. I guess to prevent them from getting building buildings. Yeah. It just got its economy from pops, didn't it? It's easier than pops just giving economic numbers. No, no, no. So, so uh, I looked at it. What, what's going on here is each planet is exactly the same. Four, four, three, three with the mineral yeah, okay. and the energy grid, which is giving all from jobs. You're getting most of this from jobs. Okay. The alloys is just just they're getting a base of 125, um, and the for influence they're getting minus 20 stability. So they, these planets should all revolt because they have they zero don't. stability, but they won't. Yeah, um, how silly! Those are free worlds though. Someone wants to go and conquer them. Free real estate, right? Don't there. they all turn into nanite worlds if you declare war? Yes, that and then you can terraform the nanite worlds if you conquer them for a hundred, a mm -hmm. uh, hundred uh, energy credits in one year. They're really good. Okay. Well, Regno is spreading out quite a bit, actually. I'm wondering if Regno is trying to get space points. Still a tributary under under Singularity, ironically. Yeah. Still having and massive. Still food just issues. collapsing in food shortage. Yeah, I know. Like, what the heck? Empire default, he has the defaulted modifier. Yeah. I think he's given up, basically. I think he's just letting it tick over. He's like, whatever. Amenities build. Yeah. But he's not that far away from fifth place. He's only 20 points. Like, I think giving up is a mistake, but, you know. It is what it is. Right, so... The only war left now is this galactic war, and no one else. No, Singularity and R at war. That's just started. Mm. What? <gasps> oh, the fleets. It's it's eyes bar. Yeah, I see that. I see that R is coming in. That's R's declared on Singularity. 
Art is a member of the Galactic community, though, so I didn't think that was... Oh, but they're not... They're not... In, neither of them are in the in the Crisis War because reasons. Um... <laughs> Usually you have to leave the Galactic community to leave the war, but apparently not. I don't know how they're managing Maybe. to game it. They're trying to unseat the Custodian as well. Washing's like, get rid of... Get rid of them. I hate them. That should have pushed up. Uh, yeah, Potato's points have gone up quite a bit here, here now. 10 extra for being the custodian. So he will lose those 10 points if he gets unseated. Absolutely. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how we unseated. changed it. Ah, oh, interesting. It, it, was a, it was because people were doing point trading with it before that. Because some you got points oh. for unseating the custodian. So you they'd elect someone custodian and then unseat them. And then both parties would get 10 points, which was no, ah, not Ah, okay. Yeah, that sounds dumb. You know, people playing it competitive slash will always try to game the system. <laughs> There's also a uh, a bug, so to say, in our code. If you manage to get the emperor and pass uh, that council positions are appointed, then the emperor can just keep appointing councils every month, giving people five points. Although we have, you know, said people can't do that. But we didn't want to fix it in the mod because it's a lot of work to fix. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And the I mean, it does would. Take time I, 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 I would um, understand. Zephnar does a fantastic job, so shout out to Zephnar. Yeah. Um, he, he, I, we were speaking the other day, he's going to be redoing his custom map mod as well soon. Um, there might be something to do with Star right. Timelines that has something to do with that. I can neither confirm nor deny mm -hmm. um, whether we're having a custom built galaxy designed from the ground up for Season 5. This might be a lot of work. Who knows? Ahem. Anywho, moving on. Uh, let's see. It's still just this one war, and Fire Kaiser is just running around. It, are they back in the home system yet? Where are they? Where are the fleets? Being a nuisance here? Yeah, just generally being a nuisance and really annoying and upsetting. Um, uh, upsetting Satana. This is just silly. Where are you Satana's will not fleets? go quiet into the night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Did they kill the planet? I don't think he has the... Where'd the planet go? It's an AI system. Or, no, wait, wasn't is that, that, is that the ETS wasn't screens? That the, oh, was it Theravia? Oh. No, it's Theravia, wasn't it? Yeah, they yeah. took it back. And then he has the system up to the north uh, by uh, Singularity. Yes, yeah, that's basically his main outpost now. His only, his only hope. It's these fire... Closing on the 10k uh, menace yet? No, Lucifer's not really doing anything to get there. Like a few hundred, he's getting a few yeah. points from this. Mm. Uh, I mean, it might be. Has he finished the fourth project? Ages ago. Ages ago. Yeah, yeah, ages ago. Okay, so it might be intentional. He doesn't want to get dragged into a galactic war yeah, right now. Yeah, probably. Feel strong enough. No, he probably because he's not. He's really not strong enough. Um, doesn't have the and economy, he's a more juicy target system. than Fire Kaiser. Much juicier. I think one of the reasons why people don't want to fight Fire Kaiser is like, what do you get out of it? Yeah, I mean, at the moment, it's not really worth it for Least Fire to become the Crisis because he'll just die instantly to the entire galaxy. Yeah. Is he on the community? Yeah. He should start trying to propose other players as the Crisis. Oh, they can't, he can't because he's not on the council. Only council members can propose other players as the crisis. There's about to be another election. Same people keep it. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, council members can de uh, uh, declare people as crisis. Yeah, okay. Oh, what's that in the EMA system? There's a lot of fleets there. and That's Fire the Kaiser. Is it, uh, oh, it's Fire Kaiser. Okay, never mind. That's Fire Kaiser. Fire Kaiser blew up the just blew up the Sia, Sia Gower system and then just ran away. He was like, boom, hee hee. Boom, hee hee hee. Brave, brave. Sakaya, Sa Kaiser, Sakaisa ran away. Yeah. <laughs> and the trade planet, he's just like, I want undead armies. I want all of them. Yes, please. And the shipyard. Uh, how's Anger doing? I think it's been a while since we looked at him. Fine. 
Oh, uh, sorry, you don't mean lag wise, you just mean in general. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anger with the overtuned hive, protective coating. Interesting. Impactful. This uh, technology is quite high. I'm wondering if that's what he's uh, going for, like just economy points. Some points. I think he's getting a mixture of points. Oh, he just had the eight year 80 scoring. Yeah. Okay. So if you as you saw then, his points updated and he got a few more points in a few categories. Yeah. But currently first place is clearly PAX. No one's challenging PAX for that dominant position in the galaxy. Not at all. And Again. getting that mega structure has given PAX so many points. That's been an extra yeah. 10. Oh. It's be five more. oh my god. Yeah, killing washing is uh, indeed again the optimum choice. Being on the council, <laughs> winning JoJo's home world is helping. Yep, oh, control yeah, for home worlds. Lots of Diplo weight. Uh, lots of tech power. Because it's a high research income plus almost 3k here. Uh, lots of fleet power. Yeah, this is, you know, he's, he's doing very well game-wise. What's the military weight? 286 fleet power. Everyone's around, all the big players around 300k at the moment, aren't they? Uh, then we've got, we've got second place at the moment is Anger. Anger's really pulling in that tech power, it seems. Yeah, just almost yeah. 3k, but slightly, slightly more than Pax. And of course, that's without having eaten an entire other player. Anger is doing all this by their lonesome. I 500 suspect, pop hive, by yeah. the way. This Damn. is, oh, this oh is my why. God. Logic engines, augmented intelligence, the... elevated synapses. That's Man. a base of plus 50%. Yeah. Okay. The, the minus 30% th from what psychological you have to do to make overture oh. work. Yeah, oh. why does he have that again? That oh. is really awful. Oh, no, no, awful. it's not, though, because no, it's actually, no, so the pre-planned growth yeah, pops are growing. growing those pops. So he's not growing yeah. those pops. No, he is. No, oh. he is. Oh gosh. Oh, he's. Sometimes okay. he's growing them. He must have turned on the double, the doubling edict. Yes. Yeah, so if we look at the the brain drone output, seven research per brain drone because the overtune traits are doubled right now. Damn. Yeah. That's like uh, three point ten tech. Seven point six. Is that is this one the double? Yeah, elevated synapses plus forty, augmented intelligence plus twenty. Potato has a lot of questions. All right. Down. Pardon? Potato is asking questions. I'll just jump down here. Yeah, sure. Potatoes then next. Potatoes next. Play, next in third place with sixty-two points. Uh, let's take a look at potato. Potato currently has almost the biggest fleet in the galaxy, but uh, no, not necessarily quite. Um, lots and lots of... Actually, a bit of a mixed bag here. Lots of Diplo weight now that they are the custodian, of course. Uh, highest Diplo weight in the galaxy. But that's not not necessarily too much Diplo weight, you know? Pax is getting points for being on the council. Ogre. Uh, Pax is getting 10 points for being on the council. Because uh, elected the council twice. Then in fourth place, we have Satana. Satana, of course, is busy trying to deal with Fire Kaiser, who keeps running in. Oh, Lord. He's still being a menace. I swear, I think Satana did not have the opportunity Fire Kaiser now has opportunity to... menacing Corvettes. Oh, I don't my even God, know what to bro. say. Fire Kaiser has cloaked menacing Corvettes, yeah. What a hilarious Of course idea. he does. He always does that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so anyway. Potato wants to know if he could do, use the uh, Emperor exploit we were talking about a little ago. And I told Which him exploit? No. Do you mean? Uh, giving council positions to people repeatedly. Not repeatedly, but he can do it once. Like, yeah. he can nominate council positions, but he cannot repeatedly nominate them. Yeah, exactly. If he does that, that's an so exploit. If he, he uses it, he can use it once. Yeah, Good. did you tell him he can use I'll it once? I'll just make sure he knows that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I made it clear for him. I'll, I'll make it clear. Like, you can nominate the council once and then that's it. So he can give some points back to people um, who've, who've supported him. Singularity then is in fifth place, but it's interesting. Washing and Singularity both kind of... Uh, Washing's having a much more tough game, uh, but they're both kind of still up there points-wise. Washing getting most points here from controlled space. All that stuff down the south is really good. Anything you want to look at, Strat? 
Uh, I don't know. That, there's really not much to look at right now. Uh, is there I a big war happening or no? Yeah, yeah. Well, R and Singularity are fighting. Oh, oh there is? Yeah, yeah, R and Singularity are fighting. Oh, and... How did how did R get pushed back? What the hell? So I think Singularity went round R because R's in Singu space and Singu is ah, in R space. I see. Hmm, I see. I see the problem here. And Singularity is like, I hope you have energy in the bank because that 600 energy world is gone. <laughs> well, he does have energy in the bank, so R is actually fine here. He just can't lose the capital. Though. The capital lo lost? Oh, that's bad. That's only a few years, though. That's a few years worth of energy. True. Losing the capital would probably be quite good, enough. actually. Because he'd stop losing so many energy points, um, t to be honest. Yeah, but uh, the thing is, you can just retake the planet. Uh, how much is Garrison on the, the, the energy world that's taken over right now? Nothing. 92. Nothing. Okay, that's, that's not even an issue. How did Singo fight him back like that? Did R lose his fleet? So no, no, no. They went round uh, each other. They did a merry little dance. Oh, they base traded. Yeah. One went one base way, traded. one went the other way, and they're now like both knocking each other about. Yeah, uh, R lost his defense fleet. Yeah. Galactic Taco says, "Why the points value so low? Here. What does that mean? Sorry. What? What, what do you mean? What are, why the points value so low?" Why is the scores like 20, Because it's compared 30, to the normal game, maybe, he means? Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah this is a custom means. mod we have that um, we think is a better way of scoring the game uh, than the current scoring system. That's why we have it. At, at least for PvP games. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't work in single player, of course. Another troublemaker getting school. Sit down, ha. Minus 700 energy. More. But, like, R can take it. R can literally... R can take it. Yeah. Singularity. Oh, my, no. It's minus 1k now. Minus 1.2. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Why is it wildly swinging up? Oh, the my God. The suits are coming oh. back now, though. Some of them. And Singularity is also fully occupied, right? Yeah. Or is this plan is not taken? Full occupied. Uh, some of the planets aren't taken. Not quite, but yeah. But he's got m plenty of energy and stuff in the bank. Singularity has much smaller fleets. Is the main issue. Um, yeah. Our fleets are not just bigger; they're better. What? But he Swarmer? isn't bringing okay. back uh, ground forces, though, so he won't be able to take his planets back as easy. Well, you don't need that many ground forces. Like, the, the army, the defense... Oh, okay, this one has a big garrison. That one's only got 92, yeah. though. The energy world only has 92. Yeah, okay. The main energy world. He's using these plants one by one. He, he needs to get... <laughs> he needs to the issue is, if he, if he tries to kill those 1500, that's going to kill a lot of his own pops as well through collateral damage. Yeah, that, that's a huge issue. He needs to full cap uh, Singularity and, you know, do that. What are the claims? So, he... capital... Hilos, a couple, a couple of systems are claimed. Not that much. Well, quite a few actually. Four or five, five, four or five, six claims. That's most of that's most of Singu's stuff. Whereas Singularity, what Singularity managed to claim? Let's check. There's just more has claims on capital. He is not. Singularity has full claim to R, I think, basically. That's I'm pretty sure full claim. Except this one southern world. I would be stuck in with basically no words. There's another war going on. Least Fire's done it. Least Fire has mm -hmm. gone over the line, and Least Fire is now a oh. crisis, a galactic crisis of epic proportions. He smashed out on minerals. Crisis 2, Electric Boogaloo. Uh, and that is a good point. He is He's going to win this time, right, minerals. guys? Uh, but his fleet's all in FTL retreat. No! Rut row. Oh, they were probably in other people's faces when he popped yeah. the crisis. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This uh, could actually be a big rain on the parade this of the is... war between Singularity and R. Like, at least if I could come in and just kill yeah. both of them. I wonder if yes. the custodian oh, is going to come he's and do also cut, He's also cutting off uh, R's uh, like, retreat path mm -hmm. with his main fleet. Well, I neither think. of them can get back home. Neither player can get back. Uh, Singularity can't get back home. Neither can R. Um, have you noticed the custodian is doing literally nothing? Yeah. <laughs> Such custodian. Much wow. Singular and he's like, trying to become Emperor. Is he how? 
No, he's not. I think so. No, nothing on here oh, is Emperor well, related. He was asking about Emperor at least. Yeah, he's asking, but I, I think it'll take him too long. Because uh, he has to. Maybe. Well, it's going to take. He has to do at least two sets of things. He has to first uh, make the term limit. Oh, uh, Singularity's gone. whispering you. What energy tell Singer, income? Tell Singer that we're not cheating for him. <laughs> mm, unfortunately, he has a billion energy credits. I don't know if you know much, you can just type slash R and then it'll reply to the last person you chatted with. I did not know that. I always type out the full whisper. Two Minute Viking, thanks for your, your Twitch Prime subscription. That means that we are now up to $74 on the... Uh, Seventy-four dollars on the People's Champion. People's cha exactly People's Champion Award. At the end of the stream, you, uh, well, members on YouTube and subscribers on Twitch will get to nominate uh, who they'd like the People's Champion to be. Then everyone gets to vote. And also, as Yern said, if you get over a uh, hundred and eighty dollars for the People's Champion, I will be forced to karaoke. Apparently, um, uh, yeah, mm, great. Live stream karaoke. Woo! It's gonna happen, Manjo. I still believe. I might not believe as much as I did an hour ago, but I still believe. Covenant Whisperer of the Shroud. It's a good one. It's a good one. And Relentless Industrialist. Yeah, so Barb's done it as well. Yeah. Space-based industrialist nonsense. Only 15.7 alloys, though. The main issue with Void Dwellers is you don't get the orbital ring. That, that extra production base is yeah. really important to multiply the bonuses up by. But their advantage of being relentless and dangerous is, is that they cannot uh, make their habitats into tomb worlds. Gotcha. So relentless on uh, on habitats are better than on planets. Well, you can prevent it becoming a tomb world anyway. Yeah, but to do that, you have to spend or it's like expensive. stop doing it, don't yeah, it's you? Yeah, expensive. Yeah, you have to yeah. spend uh, resources. I think it's science and stuff. Why is this not going well? E3, what's that? That is his world. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, he's just jumped straight into our space. Mm. He's like, ah, oh, you die now. <laughs> it's time to explode. For the crime of your rebellion, I sentence you is to Singular, death. Is going to save R? Oh, no. R, R, uh, R, R's he... running away. Yeah, he's jumping. He's jumping. He's going now. It, it's it's a threat. I'm surprised he's running away from those fleets. There we go. He Do was they have torpedoes on our cruisers? I don't know. He doesn't want no, to risk it. I don't it, think they did. I guess he doesn't want to risk did. it. Maybe he's just kiting R around. Like I'm faster than you are. <laughs> Anything can you can do, well, I could do better. Anything da, 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 better than you. Um. Oh my God, our fleets are gonna get slaughtered by. Uh, Was it? By least fire ships, their instant head, instant head artillery. What are, least what are the fleets ships? in the FOMAT system below least fire? The FOMAT. Uh, they're moving right below least fire. The two yellow fleets in Chien Ort now. They belong to Cyrax. Hmm? What the hell? What is that? Are they neutral no. fleets? Or yes, neutral. Cyrax is not. Oh, it's just neutral to one now. Cyrax. Sarex is in the community, I believe, but is not a part of this war. No, it's not in the community. They're not a community oh. member. He's going to Algate? Yeah, I'm wondering why no one's attacking the Fire. <laughs> Maybe the galaxy has decided to resign themselves to the, this fate. They tried it once before. Uh, what is uh, Leaf Fire just jumped in. Yeah. Leaf Fire just warped in. Uh, look at it. Uh, Leaf Fire is in battle right now. I think he's oh, trying to catch these fleets one. before they can get to the Star Eaters. Yeah. Because if he can catch yeah, those yeah. fleets I mean, out, he has, then proton he, he has launchers. free reign. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, proton pretty launchers sure versus this oh should be God. a win. Oh my God. Yeah, look at this. They're just dead. Oh, in the, yeah. he's done it in the Pulsar system. He's done it in the Pulsar system with no shields. <laughs> oh Holy God. mother of no. God. And they're all just going to die. Look Huge at them. Mistake. They're gone. R is gone. Oh R is God. gone. No. Vinny just gifted five memberships. He just lost everything. Oh, my God. Huge and he's up to $79. Amazing. Field Thank you very much for your support. New goal is 35 new YouTube members. 
Well, that um, that's unfortunate, really, isn't it? That's reminiscent of the all new choice. Now that so they're like... gone, I, if I was Lee Spire, I'd just send the send the Star Eaters in and blow up blow up the energy, all the planets, just get rid of all of them. Boom, 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 yeah, boom, 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 I mean, boom, boom. I mean, he's a machine. He, he can't do oh, anything with oh, him. Oh, anyway. has declared an oh, actual oh, war. Cyrax is attacking. Cyrax has declared oh, war. Man. Yep. ETS Green, ironically, is on the wrong side Cyrex of this war. ETS Green is like at war with the whole <laughs> galaxy as well because they're a vassal. Mm. They're coming in to fight. They're coming to fight for their overlord because they want the galaxy to die. Wait a minute. Yearn. What? Is the crisis allowed to have vassals? Uh, Yes. We did, that one's one we allowed, was it? So, so I knew they had some limited yeah, diplomacy. We, 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 we changed... In the past, ah. genocidal empires couldn't have vassals, but we changed that a couple of patches ago. Scran, Scran is right dead. Away. Instant death. Instant oh, death. Shot. Whoa, okay. Ouch. What are the ship designs? Barps, I assume. Whoa, no. missiles. missiles. Just all missiles. Wait. Is he? Just two. Oh, yes, he has shields. Oh god, delayed hit, kiting, uh, against instant hit, kiting. Ooh, that's not good. He's gonna get obliterated here, I think. For real. Yeah, he's gonna get obliterated. Least fires winning instant comfortably. Yeah, instant hit is too strong here. Delayed yeah, hit is gonna yeah, get yeah. obliterated. The neutron launchers are just too powerful. It's only protons, aren't they? So there are only protons. Yeah. Oof. Yep. Ah! And he lost so much because they're gentlemen, both gone. I have to pay respects to um, Cyrax's fleets. Ouch. They, uh, that this is <laughs> millions died for the sake of the galaxy. Our protein launch is just meta again. I Against, don't know. Without disruptors in the in the equation, yeah, they I kind guess. of are, aren't they? Because no, no, specifically against against cruisers because people are just running cruisers. Yeah. That's people the run thing. a lot of cruisers, yeah. And if, if you've got people no disruptors, are not running cruisers. Pretty Why does they not have an M slot in, by the way? Because it's the median. The median would be really fucking. But yeah, he doesn't have whirlwind missiles, so if you put anything into the medium slot, his ship yeah, would go closer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The median is that's the flak artillery really is already confusing. risky. That that flak yeah. artillery is risky enough. I think median is a hundred here, so it's fine. Yeah. 100 or 120, depending on how he orders it. Exactly, yeah, yeah. If he'd ordered it right, it's 120. But, you know. When apparently it's going to nerf Lease Fire, asks chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly sure Lease Fire can't podium. He just doesn't have the points. Especially with his point penalty. Well, if he triggers the device, then uh, there's not enough time, is there? No way there's enough time. Even if he even if he triggered it right now, that would jump him to uh, 60 points before the penalty, right? That would be oh. fifth well, he place. Well, he gets plus 75%, so he'd get another, uh, another what? Um, you get another what? Another 22. Yeah, points. 22, right? 30 divided by 4 is 7.5, so 22.5 points extra. He would so, be at 51 points if he is, blew up the which galaxy is a right podium now. Slot. That would be enough to five. Yeah. Yeah. The issue is, it's just he's not got high enough on the other numbers. Pax he's not is, gonna blow up the galaxy. That's the thing, right? Pax is at war with Fire Kaiser and Pax. No, 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 that's not that one. Pax and Least Fire in two separate wars. Huh. Least Fire declared war on. Oh, Pax. it's because uh, it's because R is uh, Pax's vassal. Ah, yes, So of when Least Fire attacked R. Gotcha, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ah, guess. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, what yes. What is the Custodian doing? Their fleets have gone somewhere. Where are they? I think the Custodian oh, is actually, their big oh, they're they're getting in. invaded. Someone's by attacking him right now. There's red fleets in Potato Shaggers. There are. That's yeah. Oregano. Ah, no, that? that's Fire Kaiser. No, oh. It's Fire Kaiser. <laughs> <laughs> The custodian will be Hello, defeated ships. by by these random random ships. Hmm. Excellent. Oh, so How stupid. many planets does Fire Kaiser have? Just the one world still. Just the one. Where? Where is the last planet here? So you, this is why have? people should kill the crisis. The crisis yeah, is yeah. very annoying. Or repeal it. Kill them or repeal it. Like yeah. pick your poison. 
Hey, Doc, I'm it's going good. I'm just going to go grab a drink real quick. Yeah, no worries. So, um, yeah, this, uh, this could be a problem. This could be a problem. Armies? Uh, there are some armies. There are some armies. Let me see. Why can I not see that habitat? Ah, here we go. And they're undead armies. Ah, yeah, but the no, problem we... is the defensive armies are so... These are so strong. 8 to 15 damage a go that they're just going to cut through the undead. The undead won't kill enough. Even mm. only... When they kill one, they only get one possible undead army in return. There we go. They got one undead army. It's not... I mean, it might it's be enough much to damage. do it, but... Ow. I'm not sure it is enough to do it, you know. I think they're not going to do it. He needs to pull back, repair, jump in again. He needs to pull back. This just goes to show like right how now. terrifyingly strong uh, mixing the Genitor Hive is. with your yeah, Guardianship Civic. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. He retreated and boom, board. And now clone armies are being added. Oh, lordy. It's too late, though. It's, it's going to get bombarded. Flash. Yeah, yeah, well, won't it? That relander. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, but but oh. but the custodian oh, has hello. returned to finally finish off Fire Kaiser once and for all. Fire Kaiser now has a planet, a great planet, and he's purging. Oh, he's purging he's all the pods. Why is he purging? Oh, because they're hive. And he's not Hive, and he's not synthetic. He is cybernetic. Why can you not assimilate them? Oh no, that's, you're that's, that's che uh, checking out. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. No ascension. He doesn't have it. No ascension. Too poor. Well, <sighs> wait, no. Fire Kaiser retreated here. No, no, that's that's potato. Sorry, yeah, sorry, it's potato. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Largest fleet in the galaxy let's, right let's now is Pax. Pax, Pax, Pax. Pax's Where's fleet's Pax kind of all over the place. No, they're all at home. They're all at home. Hmm. He's just making a carpet. He's just chilling. It's like carpet time, carpet time. Does whatever a carpet does. Hmm. Oh, Darth, I'm sorry to hear that. That sound, that sucks. Uh, Darth just said they got stood up for a date. That does feel bad. I'm really sorry to hear that, man. Damn. Um, but at least you can watch some Stellaris now instead, right? R right? Uh, Chad has voted that I am not. They haven't voted that I'm a child. They've just voted Goo Goo Gaga. So that means Chatter children, Shh, clearly, because <clears throat> they said Goo Goo Gaga. Yeah, I like. should vote. That's too late. Oh, oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Is Least Fire gonna lose to Grisha? No, no. The star base is strong enough. Huh. He put reloading me. Just now. And a new defensive class platform. Yeah, that's a close one. Is that R? That's R and Cyrax, I think. Oh, not good. Oh, R and Satana, sorry. R and Satana. Where are least fires fleets? Gone? Or just to off position? Oh. They're all over well, here. Well, I'm quite sure Lucifer is going to die. He did really mess up R. R's been fighting a uphill battle all game. Yeah. He's not killed R, though. Which is a bit of a sh He should have blown yeah. some of R's capital up or something. Shock and all. How is R ego right now? R has full is being full occupied right now, by the way. Just letting you guys know. Like, he, there is no more plan standing for R. He's gone. His eco is gone. It's cooked. No, it, R's do fine economically. Wait, what? H how many plans does he have? Where is it going from? Like, where are his planets? How has he got uh, plus two? Oh, he's monthly trades. He's selling all the alloys, I would imagine. No. No? Somebody is trading energy with him to keep him alive. I mean, he lost his capital. His his olive reaction is gone. Cyrax is trading with him. Oh. 600 credits, 900 credits. 
uh, Mr. Barbe and Cyrax are trading with R to keep him alive. Um, Finney says, Emperor emoji. Jeff Palpatine. Thank you very much for the super chat, Finney. And thank you very much for the uh, the gifted memberships as well from a moment ago. The support's very much appreciated. We're getting close now to the end. We've only got 10 years left. Chat, who do you think is going to win? And who do you think you'll be nominating for for the, uh, for the People's Champion today? I don't think anyone's done anything that zany, have they? I mean, Fire Kaiser did a bit of a weird strategy and it's been a thorn in the yeah, side of the whole galaxy. Really work? Yeah, it didn't work, did it? Yeah, it's kind of gone bleh. Yeah. Um, uh, like, he, he's dead. Um, Fire Kaiser died. So, I, I would say the saniness has actually been quite high this tournament, but not very efficient. Like, Least Fire's been really sane as well, but 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 not very really efficient. <laughs> Yeah, Texas I don't know. Least Fire's not grow. been that sane. Least Fire, this is Least Fire's normal go-to. Become the Crisis, try kill stuff. Like, this is his normal run. Mm -hmm. Pax managed to get a big dragon, I suppose. That's something. Why are we paused? Oh, uh, Thunder crashed again. I'm guessing he's coming back. Yeah, I assume so as well. Uh, 50 more minutes, Pride? What? Uh, does that, is that uh, 15 more minutes? Is that enough time to end? Yeah, yeah, for 10 years. We are trying. We, have, we, have, we, we try and average under three minutes per year, and we're we're doing okay, slightly. Okay. I think we're doing around there, if not slightly more. It really depends how much we rehost and stuff. Hmm. If you want to save your fleets, Bob, go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's also Sven the Duck, who basically saved the galaxy from Fire Kaiser by being a thorn in the side of Fire Kaiser the whole game. When no one else was bothering, Sven completely messed Fire Kaiser up. That was pretty, pretty cool. That's a good point, John Eric. <laughs> yeah. He seems to always get, like, cornered in the worst ways possible. Yeah, last tournament, didn't he get made into, like, three people's vassals and reduced to a single planet? <laughs> yes. Yes, he actually did. I guess, you know, fate caught up to him again. He can't avoid it. What's been some other stand -up? I think, uh, although Thunder's crashing a lot, the... the amount of macro he's been able to do off, what, three systems has been pretty impressive? Mm, yeah. He's not podium. He's not really getting a podium slot, though, is he? No. I don't think no. so. If Washington had been able to hold on to his uh, mega structure, I think he would be doing really well as well. It's yeah. just, it's such a big target to paint on your back, right? That's why I think he should have mm. just bunkered up into those five or six systems. Sorry, who? Uh, uh, Washington. Washing. Catapult man. Ah, if gotcha, I was him, gotcha. I would have found my choke point. I would have stopped exploring at all, so no one found me, and then I would have just bunkered up like hell. Yeah, went for guardianship, something like for the for guardianship, and just just bunkered. Yeah, and like maybe take up try to get habitat, so you could get a habitat on your uh, uh, your mega structure, maybe, so it can't be taken as easily. Yeah. I think that um, I think the main issue is that it was Pax next to him. To be honest, if it wasn't Pax, it would be <laughs> yeah, I, mean, players, yeah. I don't think that's it would have been always much of a an problem. issue. I mean, that's always an issue, right? Next to Pax, not good. Gateways like, do not count as mega structures badly. for the points. We should get one more scoring round in, uh, the final scoring round. A big battle possibly soon on Least Fire Space yeah. right now. Star Eater is getting caught. Uh, no, Star Eater is making, it's killing uh, yeah, everything. Star Eater is caught. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, it's, it's bodying everything. Ah, I see the distinction here. Yeah, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> exactly.
Interestingly, Scran is still oh, alive. Is still alive, Scran? Well, yeah, oh. yeah, the, the, the fleet guy, but the Admiral didn't. There's only a 10% chance, I think, that an Admiral dies, isn't it? Yeah. I don't. I, so. I, I do not recall. I believe it's when the biggest ship in the fleet dies, then there's a 10% chance that the I'm Admiral dies. I'm surprised that um, that it's not been played. Scran's not on a fleet. It's the highest level admiral. That 45% evasion and chip fire rate in friendly systems would be so helpful. Oh, yeah. Like, put that on the big menacing destroyer fleet. Make them insane. Mm, I agree, actually. I don't know why he's not. Can you put him on another fleet? Yes, you can change him around and go anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure. He's just a leader. I, well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, maybe I'm confusing him with the guy from uh, the White pretty Whale. Sure you yeah, Captain I'm Ahab. pretty sure I can. Look, he's, he's appearing in the list. I mean, physically, I yeah, can't. Yeah, pretty sure he can. Good, but oh, so many menacing destroyers are being built. Holy moly. He only has one shipyard. He only has one shipyard. Look like, look at the list. What the hell? Just one? The Alpha Centauri shipyards Whoa. with a shroud beacon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, is this gonna, that kind of snipe? What? Well, yeah, what? No, he, so so okay. this is the Crisis ultimate sniper player with system. one shipyard? Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, what What the heck? What the hell? Look, okay. Step one from, for being a Crisis player, have multiple shipyards. That's like step one. If I was least prior, I'd try and assassinate uh, alloys. He can't stuff. even update his uh, stop up bases. Oh, yeah, he has no alloys. Oh, that's that's actually tragic. But they should have already all updated to the yeah he's to the level five designs. Yeah, he, he's kept on consumer goods and just making 150 months. He's probably swapping those over. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. guessing his macro is uh, falling apart a bit. Yeah, yeah, his economy is probably it. not something he's ma massively worried about at this particular moment. Like lo this this imbalance is probably less important than oh god, fleets are incoming. Wow, this starbase is doing work. It's a really thick starbase. Unfortunately, it's fighting plasmas. Oh, I guess he just retreated. It's got a bunch of lasers. It can fight plasmas if it wants to. Uh, interestingly, hasn't what? Okay, in four months, I'm assuming he's going to take uh, eternal vigilance. Oh yeah, for sure. How's Potatoes War going? You think I fought off uh, Fire Kaiser? Oh yeah, that was that. Yeah, fact, he still has the one it. system. <laughs> Maybe the galaxy prefers Fire Kaiser being a threat. Oh, he's going for it. Remove custodian ship term limit, and the galaxy is not paying attention. Yeah. When you have time, that should become emperor with only nine years to go. Yes, because he can end uh, the sessions early. Uh, he can end session. Yeah. He's got oh, the influence. Right. He's also probably get got... emergency. Yeah. What's two nine? Can you divide that by three sixty and tell me how many years we've got? I think that's eight years, but I might be wrong. Yeah, it, it's it's bare. It's it's still like it's bare, eight, not eight barely not enough. He had, he needed to permanent. So there will be one more election before the end, and the council size is now four. Yeah. Right. Yeah, four, four council size. There's not enough time to appoint. So he can push for, for Emperor, but there's not enough time to... I don't... Oh, there might be enough time for him to get through the by appointment thing, actually. Yeah. If he does it first. I'm surprised he's not trying to get the GDF going, to be honest. Um, or, like, passing galactic mobilization or something. Maybe. The galactic mobilization would help everyone. Exactly. So everyone would vote yes on it. And he's got the biggest fleets. It's helped him most of all. Yeah, our Pax does have a bigger fleet. Oh, you're right. No, you are right. Sorry, Pax does have bigger. Same number of ships, though, interestingly. Call that Blood. is the efficiency of higher uh, leaders as well. That and the Call that Blood. Not even that high. Yeah. Yeah. Who the heck's this one? 
Oh, you, you can change the fleet they're on. Yeah, you can change. This is the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's the special admiral you get from... Uh... Captain Ahab. Gar. Previous job, intelligence officer. So we can all agree that Ahab is, of course, the the protagonist of Moby Dick, the hero of the story. Right? Um, I think it's the but... main character. No, no. He's the hero. He he's the idol we should inspire to, you know, uh, perse perseverance in the in the face uh, of uh, a, a position. No, no, no. He's mad. He a mad, mad man. He a crazy man. I'm sure. I'm sure DJ would agree with me. If nothing, I'll I'll quote DJ saying he agrees with me and just oh, goodness pretend me. that he's not ever going to see me saying it. Yeah, that's a new one. That is a new one. Um, even fascist hippie is saying that's wild. Coming from a fascist hippie, that's crazy. <laughs> right, anger's now number one for eat for dip uh, for um observer score. That I'm guessing is from economy. Yeah. Oh wow, 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 wow. Pumping out stuff. What's the alloy production like? Uh, tw only twelve. Alloy's output is still low, much lower than like a psionic, uh, but... But 600 bops! Exactly. Damn. Exactly. But you do agree with him, Munchie. Good to know, good to know. What? He just wrote in chat that, uh, that Captain Ahab is your personal hero and role model. I don't see that in chat, where? <laughs> I don't see... Where, where are you talking about, Yan? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You should never give me this much power, Munchu. You know, ah, Munchu. Whatever. You know, right? Um, empire size. Yeah, the empire size actually is still quite low. Pax is getting quite high empire size, mostly from colonies, bizarrely enough. 300 from 15 colonies alone. That is Yeah, that's tough. because he's a uh, he's, uh, guardian cluster. No, I know exactly. Like, you, So guardian yeah. is actually worse for him at the moment. It, he would have a lower overall empire size because his pop count is lower. If he didn't have Guardian Cluster and just had Subsumed yeah, Will. Not, not much not much different, though. I, I still think the early game advance is, is way up. This late in the game, like, you should have most of your techs up, right? It's going to hurt your... Uh, going wide late game with Guardian Cluster, it's going to hurt your repeatables. But that shouldn't matter that much. Like, I think uh, the days of, like, having 50 of each repeatables are gone. That's not efficient anymore. If yeah. it ever was. I'm looking at this. It does 10 to 20 damage per army. This this one planet, his Delightful. capital, has uh, just two Hunter Seeker drones, and that is giving him three a 2k worth of garrison. Defensive <laughs> garrison. I, 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 that's I, insane. I, I, and that's uh, with going wide. Like, how, how much penalty is he getting to his uh, army? Minus 50%, but he's stacked up plus 135% extra damage in total. Wow. Least fire briefly lost something, but has now taken it back. The R singularity fight will be never ending because of the of least fires. I'm gonna blow the galaxy up moment. Just a base race. Yeah, yeah. Oh, singularity's brought a fleet home though. Singularity is Does back to recapture. Ships left. He did last time I checked. Oh, and Arms I don't Eco know. is oh. collapsed. Yeah, and R doesn't have any ships left, does he? R's got all he, he lost ships. them all. This That's why ships. he's got so much. R has three hundred oh, Nalka. It's back home. Mm. So most of the Nalka, yeah, they're the running the around here. Yeah. It's back home. How many of the planets are occupied? The four home ones. The other, the southern uh, sector I mean, is uh, doing singularity. fine. Singularity. How, how much is R uh, occupying of Singularity? Oh, uh, like all of it. Like, if Everything. he retakes his own system, can he actually end the war? All of it. Yeah. Oh. R is at 100% war exhaustion. So, yeah, all he needs to do is retake the space. And then when he has a space, he can take yeah. a planet. So, I think we forced status quo right now with these swap empires. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I mean, yes. it's machine. 
That would yes. be fun. I want, I'll take your empire, yeah, you have mine. But what if he can force oh, status quo um, in a moment, then he, you know, it gets back some of the systems, then he can actually keep what he's taken from, from R. It might be worth it, did, actually. Did Oregano rebel against Singularity, by the way? It's like Oregano is not anymore. No, Oregano is busy fighting against... Uh... It's being fully occupied right now. Oh. So he got released <laughs> by Singularity only to be taken by... Uh, potato shaker? Yeah, yeah, that uh, that that kind of happened, didn't it? Uh, the food problem is still a massive problem, but it seems to have done that on purpose. Yeah. All the planets are like the planets are world. super fortresses, though. These worlds are just untouchable. Yeah. <laughs> Potatoes like I'll leave one thing there. Eh. Eh. This is progenitor hive guardian cluster subsumed well strength of legions. The hive endures. Indeed. Basically, the galaxy is just fighting the two quote unquote crisis factions, but the crisis factions aren't the players leading at all, so it almost feels like they're fighting the wrong people. It would be cool to see if Washington can actually podium by just, you know. Being there, being alive. the vessel. I'm alive! Controlling the space. Painting the stars. We know that he's gonna get at least five points for well, four, four, four or five points for controlled space, right? Other than yeah, that, I don't think any other points coming his way. Yeah, but how many points is Singularity gonna get? Like it's and cat probably girls, how many fewer. points are they gonna get? Thunder's gonna get points for uh research probably. Right? Research, yeah. And maybe oh no, Unity, oh no, 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 no. Quite high. Oh. Unity. Unity. Unity is high. Yeah, Unity power. That'll be it. That'll and, be the day. And Alloys are quite high as well, so that's probably going to be a point or two. No, the, well, I don't know. I think his Alloys aren't as high as other Empires. Mm. I think is the issue. Maybe. Uh, right, I'm running to the Little Lizard's room. I'll BRB. Yeah. You guys have the call. But, uh, yeah. Oh, so if we're looking yeah. at washing, I think the people who could threaten Washing's fifth place is probably Singularity and Thund. I don't know if they're going to get big scores. Mm. Do you have any thoughts? Especially, on that? especially Singularity, since he's going to be reeling from the yeah. war, right? Yeah, and Thun would be well, three, three is, systems. If Thun, if Thun could get five points from uh, Unity, I don't know if there's anyone that's higher Unity than this. That could push him over the, the limit. If, Honestly, if the, watching the only gets a probably. few points. Oh right, that's probably kicked in. Nope. Uh, is the Federation still a thing? I don't know if the AI... Yo, it still is. True. It's a three-man fed. Yeah, it's probably producing yeah. a ton of unity for him. You're right. Yeah. We should probably look at Mr. Barb's uh, unity production then as well, because I think he had more trade value than Thunt had. He was going in oh, for all sure. our trade. Is it, isn't he like a trade build? Straight up? Yeah. I yeah, don't. Probably. Do you think Mr. Bar Mr. Barbie's not going to be able to get what 15 points in the final scoring round to get fifth place? <laughs> yeah, think... unlikely. Too I much. Maybe, too many points. Like, the fact that Washington got so many points from uh, Megastructures into space early might have just secured a, a top five. That's cool. Yeah, me, yeah. Honestly, he did something if, similar if he... last time. Like he was also a top five last tournament doing something like this. I don't know, man. Maybe catapult. It's the dark horse. You know. So I think, again, part of it is because of how our, our mod is structured and how we changed the rules. Because in the past, people would be getting mega structures earlier. But because of the tech rework, and we, we wanted to try and measure where cruisers weren't as dominant early game. So, so we didn't nerf tech quite a bit. Hmm. So I think it made his build stronger. But it also made it vulnerable because he became such a big target to take over. Yeah, basically what happened here. I mean, if he's next to any good, like really, really good player, yeah, he is. He's he's toast. He's toast. He's toasty. Yeah, yeah, the toasty and toast. So right now, I think the the big swings we're gonna see is uh, Potato Shagger. If he manages to become Emperor, I think that's another ten or twenty points. I think it's twenty. Mm. I don't think we've, yeah. I can't remember if it's 20 on top of the 10. I'm just double checking. Uh, Galactic mobilization as predicted. If he becomes the emperor, that's another 20 points. So he could take second place by becoming emperor. 
<coughs> by doing galactic mobilization, he can't become emperor. It locks it out. Oh, did he? Uh, did he suggest that floor. one now? Yeah, or? it's on the Senate floor. Oh. That prevents why did he not go for the emperorship? Why? 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 Yeah, is there a cooldown on how often you can suggest these? It's like four or five years, isn't it? Uh, it's uh, a bit more. I'm pretty sure it's no. Like eight. Yeah, no. The, yeah. Oh. So once you pass something from a certain category, nothing else can be proposed from that category for like eight, eight years or something. Five or eight years. It's quite a while. He forgot. He forgot about the <laughs> cooldown. Maybe. So that that does. Probably mean Pax and Angus, top one and two, are fairly oh, secure. Oh my god, big battle. The Hab Knight Unified Worlds. What? At least Wait, what? fighting the Hab Knight <laughs> Unified Worlds. What? They That's joined the guy. The, yeah, they're part they of the, the Galactic community. community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've, they've come into so smack part of the Crisis Wall. <laughs> but I mean, they're five, losing, but still. These five ships have just annihilated them. Oh, that's fun, though. Now their country's undefended. Maybe someone could go take their worlds out. Where are they? But they're over near Anger. Oh, yeah, they're in the middle of Anger's space. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, we <laughs> talked about it earlier in the stream. I think that was why Potato Shagger was taking systems over there, was trying mm. to get to Halito first. Is that? Oh gosh, that's uh, that's. Is that okay. fire, Kaiser? Cloaking, <laughs> yo! It's not working though. I don't think that those those what, twelve cloaked ships, sixteen cloaked ships are going to be enough for this fleet of four hundred, four five hundred ships. Yeah. Just a personal <laughs> thought. Yeah. I'm surprised that sixteen ships has to that much fleet power. What are the armaments? Tier 5 laser. Um, shield on a cloaked ship. Why? Why would you hurt mm, me like that this? That does sound like a mistake. Why would you hurt me like this? <laughs> One shield is reasonable. But uh, especially if you get a genius armor. Because if you don't have any shields, yeah. you don't get any regen to the shields. So genius armor would give you shields. And if you once you lose the 100 shield points, that's it. No more shield regen. You just have, They would never get the shields back. And you can't repair shields oh, other than having that. shield regen. Yeah, so even with Genius Armor, you do still need to put shields on ships. To make Today I learned. Uh, today, well, there we are, there we are. Uh, let's see. 500k, Pax at 570. Mr. Uh, Potato at 400. Mr. Barb at 355. Thund, two Basically, the galaxy is just in massive wars. Yeah, again, that is what will happen with Crisis, right? And people, but the walls are just really against this just tiny gang up region of crisis. space. Yeah. Or they should repeal it. And but people, if people just don't, don't gang up it. on them. Yeah. Now minor research sanctions is on the floor. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh no, minor research sanctions. Oh. That's gonna really we show just... Oregano. That thank goodness. <laughs> I'm wondering if they uh, use their emergency power to delay the potential of emperor. That's yeah, why they just it's like, not keep delaying the laws. Yeah, but maybe they don't know. Like, they're PvPers. They don't know how laws work, Manchu. Look at this. 2,000 days. It can't happen. Yeah. Oh, has Ironically... uh, Pax built his own megastructure? What? Pax had the completed megastructure attack. He's built his. He's building his own quantum he's building catapult. Another quantum catapult. Yo. They're oh. very cheap. They're very cheap and they're very fast to oh, build. Oh yeah. Um. So I actually figured out, Jern, the other day, you can improve the quantum yeah. catapult to get perfect accuracy on any system in the galaxy, pretty much. How do you do that? Ooh. Uh, you do have to defeat the Unbidden Crisis first. But once you've done that, <laughs> then then you can get perfect accuracy so that you'll get like a 70, a 60% fire rate bonus 
And when you like select it, the, the symbol lets you chuck a fleet to, uh, let's see if I can do, I can't do it. Can I not do it? Yeah. Uh, I can't select it, never mind. But basically, no. it's like you get the thing up, and I'd look at the other end over here, and the circle is about that big. So I could, with perfect mm. accuracy, that completely negates the issue of, oh, my fleets could arrive in random places. Yeah. Oh, the random timing, though. You need to have the fleets to be like a, a hun like 100, under 120 naval cap, so they don't randomly. Yes. Yeah, that's true uh, as well. You spread need out to, in yeah, time. That's true. And yes, the game is the ending 2300. Time is even more painful. So what I really think you should be able to do is group up fleets and send them as a group with the quantum catapult yeah. so they all arrive together. That would just solve all the problems. I agree. It would actually be a useful mega structure then. At the moment, it's still mostly dog poo. Mostly yeah. dog poo. Yeah. A few, except for a few zany strategies. Even... It's like, it's the last mega structure you build. And even then you're unhappy about the fact you're having to build it. Yeah. yeah, you need to keep your fleets under 120, which is annoying, by the way. It's just weird. It is an unfortunate sound. Like, I would rather they balance it some other way uh, than, than pure randomness. And giving the fire rate, like, just, I don't mind. Take away the fire rate and just give us the ability to, like... Uh, the randomness, I don't mind. It's It's when it's, like, split up randomness. That's, I think, the issue. Yeah. The fact that it, it can split up in both time and position is just horrid. Oh! The diplomacy map mode shows you where all the claims are. Yeah, yeah, you can control X, left click on someone, yeah. Did no, you not just, notice just, one? Just left click, just left click. Yeah, yeah, control X, left click. No, I'm somewhere. just left click. Control X is the... Dip, not control the, X. The, the, the menu. I'm not control yeah, no, X. Yeah, control Z, you'll be... I'm not, main I'm map just mode. using the mouse, I'm not using control. Or anything. Yeah, yeah, no, no, Magic, yes, yes. Magic no, doesn't no, use I, his keyboard. His like, claws oh aren't God. wide that's enough for that. That's weird. That's what I meant. Too far away. I'd have to put what my other hell? arm down. Currently, my arm is like scratching my beard. Bro. Um, I mean my chin, not hair stuff. Shut up. Anyway, move on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mr. Bob is oh, come. Oh my God! The big battle. Mr. Bob has come. I think. Mm, did he bring? Did he bring armies I think he's as win well? Here. I think it's gonna win here because it's all You're... cruisers. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Not Mr. that many. How many winning. armies does uh, does uh, um, least fire have defending? Okay, Six at least I lost. Ah, uh, okay. He's not gonna K. lose that. He's not gonna lose in the next three years, two and a half years. Yeah. Well, GG he can retreat. Least fire. He can retreat. Repair. No, no, he's fine. He's fine. I think he can just uh, retreat. Repair. Least fire has seventy k. Reattack. Re Plus the two things. That's like hundred and forty. Oh. Never this mind. one fleet alone is enough to neutralize any advantage Least Fire has militarily. Now what he does is Why he jumps he... both of his Tides into the system, uses one of them to distract at one end, and then he blows up his own capital. Killing yes! It. You can't blow up your Ethereum engine. You can't do that engine. though. You can't. You can't yeah, right click your, right, uh, your engine. Oh wait, how many points does Spax have? He just said that on chat. Singularity here is like it, 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 Singularity in the chat saying that Least Fire has been in no battles and Least Fire, sorry, no, Pax has been in no battles and Pax is like, I've got the most war points in the galaxy. <laughs> so, like, what, what is like, Bro uh, yapping about? Pax, Pax, have hit, Pax have hit Singularity's argument square in the face and defeated them immediately. <laughs> um, it's a bit ironic. I, I actually but... think that he's he's half right in that Pax hasn't necessarily been in the most amount of wars. He's just been the most successful in his wars. <laughs> yeah. When he went to war, ah, he won the them. Yeah, and also no, Pax yes. and Pax and uh, and and uh, Potato, Potato didn't, fight. didn't fight each other, but like. Yeah. I can kind of get what I, I can kind of get why Pax Pax. There's no point in Pax actually fighting anybody who's on a podium oh, spot because yeah. like wow, well, he just he could lose his podium spot. He should just sit there and defend. Yeah. Potato on the other hand, he's tr Potato and Anger should have probably grouped up well, against him. The thing him. is, I don't think I think Potato's gone with a different strategy. He's gone for a diplomatic point strategy. So he's gone. Well, I, I'm not yeah. sure I can win the fight, and it's a reason one because he's got half the fleet roughly of Pax. Yeah, he's always had a few yeah. a few hundred k less. He's gone. I can't win the fight in the in the field. Instead, I'm going to try and win the fight in the courtroom. And um, and he's yeah. he's trying to go for the Diplo points. Ironically, becoming custodian, I think, will have cost him 10 points. Because as the custodian, you stop getting points for being elected to the council. Because you're not elected anymore. Oh, Pax, right. 
will have gained 15 points from being on the Galactic Council. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, Least Potatoes only had five yeah. and has missed out on 10 from two elections. That's Ironically. That's a strange caveat. That's actually maybe... A, we should maybe change that. It should never be a bad thing to be I think I think so as well. No, I think we should actually... Yeah. Um, this isn't a bug, but this is uh, uh, possibly an issue that we've not really come across before. Because um, you don't usually get custodians. something will change the mod going I think forward, so. I think. So I think the custodian should get five to, extra points like, every time that a, a council election happens. Recycle, yeah. Yeah, yeah, every the time there's a, yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't think we should po posthumously add them in now. Yeah. But, uh, but it, going forward. Definitely not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two years. Well, <laughs> one and a half years, 20 minutes. Yeah. We're almost there. Damn. I think R's a bit salty that Pax uh, just got to macro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, R got made a vassal as well, I think, is part of the issue here. Yeah. Pax has a quarter well, of the galaxy. Actually, Angus' economy is booming. Like, his observer score is a fair bit higher than Pax's. Yeah, he's he has really 700 pops. Twice Almost Pax's. 700 pops. My god. 2.9, 2.6, 1.3, 600. 3.1, 2.4, 1.4, 1k. Yeah, so a slightly bigger economy. Anger does have a slightly bigger economy than Pax. Yeah, the, these the tech level is the big difference. Like, his tech is 50% higher than Pax's. Oof, yes. 4k income as opposed to 2. Potato's making 1. I actually think Anger might be able to challenge Pax for, this po for the podium slot here. We'll have to see. The next scoring round comes up in very, very soon. I, he, he is 23 points behind right now. I would be surprised if he could get that big of a difference. Because Pax is winning the fleet power for sure. Is Kai, Fire uh, Kaiser still alive? We, we were talking yes. about the Sacred Covenant earlier. What is Mr. Barbe's unity production? 1.2k. Not that much, but it's 700 of that Not is from that trade. Yeah. Uh, still, though, he went, he, they didn't go for the yeah. Sacred one. They changed to a trade league, don't forget. Oh, it is called Sacred Covenant. Yeah, no, they, they switched it over. They did switch it over. It was a bit like, oh, okay. It's confusing. Oh, Least big battle? Died. Huge battle. No, 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 oh. it's not a battle. It's, there's no battle. Hmm. Those are cloaked fleets. But Least is going to go and try and have a go at fighting. I'm yeah, not sure if fighting right now enough. is worth it for Mr. Barber. If I was Mr. Barber, I'd pull my fleets back. You want I, I just pull for back, the scoring yeah. Yeah. So he's not in the top five fleets, so it doesn't matter, but he probably don't know that. He probably doesn't know that exactly. I'll surrender yeah, if you like give Thunders me food, Lee Spire, says Horikana. <laughs> 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 Do, do uh, just type in chat, no point training, please. It would be three points this late in the game. It's, it wouldn't matter because these fights aren't podiuming, but still. You can't surrender. You can't surrender, it's a joke. Yeah, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. He's not even at war with least fire. Oh. Uh, well. A vassal under... Or a, a vassal under... He surrendered to Fire Kaiser. Fire Kaiser? Bruh. We're getting a claim yeah, so you should have probably said. I'll go ask if he. Go ask about it. The question is whether he could have enforced. Give me a second. Commissar, shouts Mr. Clean. Commissar, that one over there, Commissar. Pax ate at another hive and Anger didn't. Yeah, Anger's just been scaling. Though Anger does have a mega corporation as a protectorate, which is paying some money, I'm guessing. Yeah, a 1k energy from the megacorp. Uh, yeah, yeah the, the megacorp is giving 1k energy from branch offices. He's stretching his eco very thin, though, with 5k tech. Oh my god, he is devastating in everything. Why has it suddenly gone so low? What's he doing? Is he trading? 5k tech, maybe? No, no, no but it I wasn't this low a moment ago. Comic. It's just suddenly, suddenly fallen over. 
Mm. Uh, we can unpause again. It, it's definitely a rule break from Oregano. They'll get a point penalty, although it won't matter. Uh, but it didn't cost Potato Shaka any points. He had occupied space, but he hadn't occupied planets. So he mm. wouldn't have been able to end the war before the end of the game anyway. Yeah, gotcha. We have a rule against surrendering, don't we? If I recall. Uh, yeah, you can't uh, you can't war dodge by surrendering to someone else when you're being fully occupied. You need to ha uh, uh, Yeah, okay. Like, he could have surrendered to Potato Shagger in theory, but not to someone else when it's Potato Shagger who's clearly winning the war. But doesn't that hurt Potato Shagger quite a lot now? Because Potato won't get the capital. No, and potato, stuff? potato wouldn't have been able to end the war. He, he didn't have 100% occupation. He couldn't force war goals. But the other one couldn't either. I mean, this is. I think this could be. Because it's, it's podium related, this could be quite a serious, pet, serious issue. Oh, yeah, but again, it. it it's a rule break, and Oregano will get a point penalty that won't matter. But it, Potato Shagger would not have been able to win the war in the next six months anyway. So he wouldn't have gotten any points from this. He had the space, he didn't have the planet, so he couldn't force war goals against Oregano. <clears throat> Nothing to see here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> about to end no sorry what i'm more thinking is do you see so you're saying potato there's no way potato you think could have done it and then uh, i guess in the next two months no i suppose he, he, not. yeah he, he again he, he couldn't force war goals meaning he mm. would have have to wait for uh for two years of war exhaustion yeah are there any more fights happening i can anywhere? double check once the game is over whether he had a hundred percent war exhaustion on oregano or not but i don't think so he would have forced the war goals if he had that yes yeah exactly uh, no, no, you could only... No, it might just be that he could force status quo, not the war goals with 100% yeah. war exhaustion. Yeah, and so he had at one point, help. I think he had taken the capital, but uh, um, Firekaiser had if taken I remember, it back. So again, he, yeah. uh, Oregano also had massive armies. Yeah. Again, yeah, so, so... 5k apiece, right. Cool. Game's over? Let's yeah, look at the game's scores. over. Let's look at the scores. Washington uh, just manages... Oh, that's one point from Thunder overtaking. Oh my god, bro. We'll have a look in a moment. Right, I, I chat, I'm going to go to members only and subscribers only mode. I need you to start. Yeah, okay. Actually, no, I'm not going to go to that mode, but um, Twitch and Discord, uh, Twitch and YouTube, please start nominating if you're a channel member or if you're a, uh, a Twitch subscriber. Please start nominating people for the People's Choice Award. Currently, the People's Choice Award prize stands a total of $79. Um... And, uh, and uh, yeah, any uh, $1 for every new member on YouTube and $1 for every new subscriber on Twitch. So so if you want to donate more to that prize, get on donating. Finney's just gifted five new memberships. That means we've hit another goal. And uh, and that puts up the, the Kajiga. Just uh, another five more, doesn't it? To $84. Meaning it's now better than fourth place. Right, I'm going to go down and speak to people. Let's talk about the game with the, with the rest of the chat. Do, 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 right. Banana phone, where are we? It did not Hello. cost Potato Shagger any points, meaning we're not going to do anything else about it right now. Yeah, you're just going to get told that you're bad, Oregano. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> well, that would have happened either way. I don't really care. So, hey, Manchu, <laughs> hey, Strat. <laughs> just settling the last uh, drama of the, of the session. I'll potato. <laughs> I don't know if you're talking to us, Mancho. I can't hear you. I haven't said anything. No, no, I was, I was, I was right. That's down. why. Um, all right, let's take a look at the scores. So <clears throat> we have currently got who's been nominated. Um, so far, channel members who Fire Kaiser has been nominated. Fire Kaiser has been nominated. <laughs> So far, only Fire Kaiser has been nominated for People's Champion yeah. from uh, channel members and mm. uh, Twitch subscribers. So if you're watching and you're a channel member or a Twitch subscriber, don't forget to nominate someone. Then we can put a vote up in a moment. Right, yeah. but in fifth place, with a total of 55 points, mainly from controlled space, the uh, the vassal of the galaxy, uh, a.k.a. Pax's bitch for the game. Uh, washing, congratulations. Well done. You uh, played a fun game. It was a shame when you lost that mega structure really early on. But you can't, you've come back and stayed in it beautifully well. 
And then in fourth place, with 73 points, we have Satana, the largest robot in the galaxy, I'm pretty sure. How many robots do you have now, Satana? Uh, oh, less than you used to. Huh. Oh, maybe you got some planets cracked in. Yeah, Fire Kaiser was a bit of a nuisance. Yeah. Um, it's lots of Galactic Council electioning and just a good smattering of points. Good tight game, really, by Satana. Um, well done. Uh, then in third place, we have the Guardian of the Galaxy, Protector of the Weak, uh, Potato Shagger. Uh, we haven't had a custodian for ages, I don't think. Um, congratulations. Well done. 89 and, points. And almost an emperor. You you were moving towards it, but just missed it at the end, I think. I thought it would antagonize too many people. I was custodian last time. I might even say I'm playing. Uh, Bob was, Bob was custodian last time. Sorry, Bob was custodian last time. I apologize. Uh, we have had it recently. Uh, then in second place with 105 points. So it was relatively close, but still some quite some big differences at the top here. We've got uh, Anger who has pretty much the largest economy in the game, terrifyingly. Um, yeah. Uh, slightly ahead on Observer score than, than our first place player. But you basically kind of turtled up after taking your vassal. The uh, your mic cut out, Monsieur. Oh, it did? Can I think so. hear me? Slide. Yeah, we can hear you now. Cool. I was just saying that um, that Anger was, uh, was turtled up and did a really good Good, uh, good, solid game. Good, ma good macro. Yeah. That leaves our first place player to be the possibly undisputed king of macro, Asian of the Hive, and then uh, went and bullied anyone that could be bullied. Pax in first place with lots and lots of points. Lots of points. GG to Pax. Yeah. I think this has been coming fin for a while. Finally, finally. He won. The yeah, finally, is, Pax has finally won a tournament. Yeah. 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 So, so. Deserves. So now we have to ban Progenitor Hive, because that is a Progenitor Hive win, right? Right, Jern? I mean, of course we, we're going to be reactive. We're always reactive, right? Really? Even oh. though Overton did just as well, if not better. I mean, no ne next play, patch so. is going to be the, the... the. Yeah, no, we're not really called? banning it. No, it was, it was a joke, <laughs> Potato. Don't worry, we're not really banning it. Um, uh, I think we're going to unban I mean, the top next three time, is, right? The top no. three is full of Progenitor Hive. <laughs> no, no. Anger's playing fucking Overton, bro. And you yeah, can get Angus over to your 35 as over to. Oh. Yeah, his, his species tab looks no like something just... with Shino compatibility. Yeah, Even no, without no the AD. I'm surprised like Cyrax didn't like try it because he literally played over to in the Wimbledon tournament. But like, he, he, he really want to do he want to do Megacorp with me full on trade, but we didn't have the the the, the Fed up for like 50 years. Because the enclaves, yeah, the shroud enclaves were fucking hidden uh, all yeah, over no, the place. No swearing on stream. Sorry, please. sorry. That's Freaking right. hidden. Uh, and I never yeah. been in the uh, Federation anyways. Yeah, because like, then we yeah. were constantly at war with Crisis and um, Noct Crisis and Lee Spire and whatever. All right, Fire Kaiser, Singularity, Washing and Sven the Duck have all been nominated uh, for People's Champion. Uh, we're gonna put. Could the poll I make up. a uh, poll? I've, I've got the polls ready to go. Um, cool. Start the poll on YouTube, and we'll have the poll on Twitch. Everyone can vote in this, and the winner is currently. Oh, we've had one more gifted membership. Sorry, uh, the winner is currently going to be getting a nice round eighty-five dollary dues, because uh, that's what the uh, the people's champion come up to in total uh, today. Thank you, everyone, for donating. Uh, you've been wonderful. Let me just put it up on Twitch. We'll just have the poll up for a couple of minutes. So, uh, a, a pretty chaotic game, to say the yeah. least. Very there are double crises, back and forth. I'm surprised no one repealed of any of the crises. Because it could have been repealed. You can. Pardon? No, you can't. It's not showing up on It's not showing up on the screen. It's not? What? No. Where is it? Go look for it's, it. under, it's under crisis declaration. I repeal fire, repeal Kithin. It's the top two. Um... I looked in game and then I told like people in my voice chat that it's like it's not there and where is it? At some point in the game when we were trying to do that, it wasn't there. Like I'm not hallucinating because everyone else checked as well. Okay, that's odd. Uh, yeah. We'll have to check some of the saves I then, know. I guess. I don't. I, I I was looking at it in the game so the observer could see it. Uh, it's under. It was under. It's under defense and war. It's not in the uh, politics and culture part. No, it's part of the crisis declaration. Mm, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Currently, Fire Kaiser is winning with 51% of the vote for People's Champion on YouTube. Uh, and 
for, uh, but it's split on Twitch. Forty-two percent the fire guys, and forty-two percent to spend the duck. Um, but it, if these numbers stay the same, it looks like fire guys is going to get it for being a constant nuisance. Like I've never seen a more annoying uh, nuisance of a crisis player that just keeps running around and going, "I'll take one planet. I'll take one planet. I've lost my homeworld, but I'll just keep taking planets." He really wild. should have died. Yeah, he did it. he's st still alive and now has a vassal in Oregano. Can someone explain to me what the f what was he doing? Because I I keep he was just the... chain he was chain causing rebellion in his empire and then killing the rebellions. But Sven the Duck started attacking the rebellions whenever he created them. So he kept stealing planets from Firekai. So when Firekai <laughs> was trying to do his crisis stuff. Which delayed him quite and that a really bit. Slowed him down. I think that is why Sven got uh, nominated. Slow me down 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Like without that, Fire Kaiser probably would have had the crisis online early enough so that the the, the big cubes would have been terrifying mega threats. Yeah. Every time I look at the, in the south, I saw like the horrible border go that was going on. Like what the hell? Some variant of Matu's empire getting murdered. <laughs> yeah, I kept seeing Montu's empires murdered. I'm like, this is just insulting. Can we stop doing this, please? I don't, I don't understand where this is coming from. All right, we've got yes, literally a few seconds left, and Fire Kaiser is currently winning with 50% of the vote on Twitch and 50% of the vote on YouTube, 49, which basically means um, Fire Kaiser is the people's champion. Congratulations. No, Fire Kaiser still here? Playing weird builds I'm does pay off, I guess. Yeah, I'm still here. So your weird nonsense has entirely paid off. Uh, congratulations. The audience loved it. Absolutely loved it. As planned. As Thank planned. you all. Yeah. <laughs> also, that cloaked fleet was a real nightmare watching it. I was like, oh, oh. Especially when Satana didn't have any cloaking detection. We, we were a little wondering why you had double shields in your cloaked fleets, though. Yeah, things happen. I, that was a, I messed that up. I wasn't paying attention to the ship design. I want to know from Singularity, how did he manage to have all his uh, system backs with Cyrus war, Cyrax War? I'm pretty sure what happened was he flew in his fleet, took the star bases, then forced status quo. They hadn't actually claimed very many planets. I think they only had two claims on his planets. Uh, the capital was claimed as well. I think he just flew a fleet into the capital, grabbed it back, and then no. forced status quo. Did, did somebody say no? I don't know if Singularity can confirm that. Oh, Singularity isn't here anymore. You have the chat. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to say goodbye to uh, to Twitch and YouTube. Thank you thank you very much to everyone for playing today. Um, hopefully, we'll see you next month for number 12 uh, after the release of, of course, the next DLC, The Machine Age. And when I assume you'll all be you playing virtual empires. have already. Uh, I can't remember if we did. Let's discuss. I can't I can't recall if we yeah. did, Bjorn. Um, but we, we do have one planned in roughly a month from now. Yes, yeah. And if anyone wants to get in touch to donate to the prize pool for the next one, send me an email, multiplays at gmail.com. Uh, let, let, I'm going to talk to chat. Yeah, as I said, thank you very much to all of our players. I'll come back to debrief with everyone afterwards. We can have some feedback session stuff um, in a moment. All right, I'll be right back. All right, chat. It's just you and me now. Thank you very, very much to all of the lovely people uh, who are donating today. You've helped. Uh, special shout out, of course, to our lovely uh, community supporters that were donating the original prize pool. That uh, that includes do, 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 Dave Woodmancy, Sveroth, Mr. Barbe, who was one of our players today, actually, and SES Martyr of Individual Merit for their donations to the prize pool. You're wonderful. Everyone as well that's been uh, joining is, or go, donating, gifting, channel members, Twitch subscribers, helping to build up that, um, that People's Champion Award. You've been wonderful as well. I've been Montu. You've been you. When... When are you continuing the game from last time? Which game is that? That's probably going to be on Stellaris Thursday. It's going to be Thursday. I'll see you next live on Tuesday where I'm playing a game and I can't remember which. I think we we might play Endless Space on Tuesday, actually. I think we might play Endless Space 2 because we've not played that on stream before and it's a fun game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Monto, you've been you. I'll see you next time.